Look who's here. I'm so excited. Give me a hug. I've it's got my platform so I can reach you. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, we're the same height now. So, <laughs> hang on. Well, I haven't seen you then. I got it wrong. I thought we'd only done Zoom, but we did live. I do apologise. Oh, don't, don't worry. We did live up in the garage. Yeah, but it, up was, in the garage. it was during COVID. It was so during you were COVID. like way over there. And we, and couldn't we, had come. Come we had to come in with our masks yeah. on, way from a distance, be all those feet apart. So it's nice to be able to give you a big hug. Uh, yeah, well, we've never had a hug before. No. Have we? So, uh, and There's time for everything. Exactly. <laughs> and it's so lovely to see you as well. Thank you. Because uh, you've not done many sewing streets, have you? No, I've done a couple where I've zoomed in. Yeah. Um, and I think I've done two previous to this one. So. But none with me. None with you. My first time. I'm excited. Oh, brilliant. Save the best to last, John. Exactly. Well, it's not your last one, hopefully. Well, hopefully not. Uh, <laughs> Save the right. best one till the last of the first three presenters. Okay, let you know. Yeah, of course. Right, <laughs> now, what are we celebrating today? Oh, we're celebrating Sewing Street's birthday, aren't we? Your birthday at Sewing Street. Oh, well, there you go. Not yours. Crafter's birthday. companion. Crafter's companion's birthday at Sewing Street. For two which years. Which is why they've let me out of my Harry Potter cupboard. I was going to say. Northeast. Yeah, but the thing is, right, I know you're a hard worker anyway. Mm -hmm. I tuned into my Facebook yesterday <laughs> evening and there you were. Doing whatever you're doing to all with these beautiful box of cardboard and oh, it's not cardboard, it's cardstock and everything cardstock. like that. Cardstock. Um, yes, I was doing a preview for HSN for our paper craft shows last night uh, with Sarah up in the northeast on our uh, CTV channel and uh, didn't get here until midnight last night. Well, no, night. no, because I texted in going, mm -hmm. shouldn't you be on your way here? Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm just about to say, tell John I'm leaving soon. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you'll be shattered this oh, well, morning. Well, in Junction 23A, that was closed on the way down last night. We had to go on a little diversion oh no right shall we start then shall we talk yes. so we've got three and a half hours worth of goodies now so we're going to start with the early bird tweet tweet so the early bird is one that leanne has picked especially for you isn't it it is these are some of my very favorites john these are the things that um some of the things i can't do without the essential tools some very practical things for you and then some little try me's i think and some mindful things so what i've got in here are a number of really useful little kits. I love these for crafting on the go. So if I'm going on a train journey or a car journey and I need everything in one box, these little kits are the ones that I would take with me. Uh -huh. But I also find these great for gifting, John. These are great little gifts that we've got Did in here. Do you give them as a gift as the box or have you made them and then given them as, as a gift? As the box. So oh, I mean, I'm encouraging people to get mindful if they haven't tried anything mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they're feeling like they want to, or I think they should, which is also yeah. something I do, <laughs> then um, I'll give them something like this. Because everything you need in here, including the stuffing and the needle, You've got everything. And you keep saying to them, how's the little fox coming on? How's the bear coming How's on? How's the bear coming on? And send me pictures. Yeah. And then I want to see when it's done. And then what are you going to do next? I find <laughs> it, it's a great encouraging exactly, um, kit. Exactly. And great value for money. I find them great for teacher gifts as well because they're just great little try me, mindful mm -hmm. things. So yeah, totally. we've got three of those kits in there. You've got the little hare, the bear, and the fox. Lovely. Now, this is my. Everybody must have it, and you must have several. Yeah, definitely. Cannot live without this. It was originally designed as a paper craft tool, but actually finding it so useful in soft crafts. I use this to index fabric because you can write on it. Mm -hmm. So I'll put strips on it and I'll write the, the brand, the name, the designer, the colour, so that I know if I need to find that again, mm -hmm. where to get it from. Yeah. I use it for keeping my dies and my fabric still when it's running through the machine. I use it for indexing on my shelves. I also use it to clip bits of projects together. So if I've cut a number of patchwork pieces and I don't want to use up all my quilting clips because I'm using them for something else, I'll actually wrap a strip of this around that fabric and keep it still. I use mine to wrap presents with. No yeah, well, you know, you can. It's yeah. just so useful in the home as well as in all of your paper craft. So this is definitely, uh, you must have it. Brilliant. Now, uh, at the moment, don't worry, this isn't your price, right? We're going to reveal the price in a minute. But if you were to buy all of these things individually, it costs you £141.88. You don't get the crate, but everything else, £141.88. We will crash him in I want you to see what else is in the box yes now these I cannot live without so I love to patchwork yep uh, when it comes to quilting yep. I get very frustrated because even when I try and do a straight line it ends up like a donkey's back leg John yeah I'm just not skilled <laughs> I'm not skilled at it, John. Um, right. And so I tried to stitch in the ditch. I'm out the ditch. I'm never in the ditch. I tried to do little crisscross lines. They look like the most random Hessian design you've ever seen in your life. So when we... <laughs> at least brought, you're honest I about mean, it. On, not to me. You know, yes, because not all of us are perfect, no. are we? And we have some things Far that we're good it. at. Yeah. And we have some things we're not good at. Yeah. I'm 
I'm not good at that. No. The piecing, I'm all right when I've got my dies to cut my pieces yeah. so they're all the same size. Um, but with the actual quilting, no, not no. good. So these quilting guides for me make me look professional. What I used to do, John, is I would do the patchworking and then send it to be long arm quilted. And I always felt like a little bit of a fraud. Mm. And I know a lot of people still love to do that, but actually I wanted to do the whole thing myself. It yeah. was going to be an heirloom. So I didn't want to say, oh, I pieced that, but then somebody else did that for me. Fine if that's what you choose yeah, to do. Yeah, I do. Me, that's what I do. Is that what you do? Yeah. For me, I wanted it to be all of my work. Yeah. So having these quilting guides lets me do all of my work, but has it look professional enough that, I don't, that I'm not handing it over and thinking, don't look at that dodgy line. Yeah. And you get all of these different patterns that you can create as well. This is $24.99 originally. The other one's 17, was it 17 dollars $17.99 and $15.99. Mm -hmm. All included in your $141.88. All there. Now, these are absolutely incredible. I love these stencils. So many different ways you can use yeah. these. You can just draw through them if you want to. You can use your glitter paste if you want to. You can do all of that. Inking, if you've got fabric inks. My favourite thing to do with these is to draw through them with a heat erasable pen. Yeah. And then hand stitch. Through. Thank you, John. And then okay. hand stitch through them. And it gives you that kind of sashiko look. If you do a longer stitch, you can do a smaller stitch. And it comes back to that professional quilted look and mm. feel, but having all of these beautiful patterns. I've actually done one of these. In fact, oh, wrong side, your side, John. <laughs> yeah. This one, that one, on the back of a denim jacket. Oh. And it looked absolutely that biker incredible. Leanne, like like biker, yeah. you know, like edgy Leanne. <laughs> I know you can all imagine it, can't you? Um, brilliant for doing that, I think, with your heat erasable pen. Lovely. And because I've got the and I love to hand stitch through them. You needed some beautiful threads to work with them as well. Okay, so that should be 141.88. How do you fancy saving 50%? Oh, I'm being a bit grand, it's, it's your box, not mine. <laughs> uh, fifth, right, £70.94 for all of that. All of this you get for £70.94. I mean, that's 50% off. 50% off. But Leanne, yeah. I've been told you've been a bit of a diva this morning. You want more of? Well, it's been, it's been, it's been known, John. So what <laughs> kind, of, what kind of percentage would you like off then? Oh. How about? Can we do sixty? We can do over sixty. Can we do seventy? No. Over sixty, over sixty. She's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> Fifty-four nineteen. Now, what do we start at? One hundred and forty-one eighty-eight. <laughs> Over 60% off, $54.99. Oh, that's so good. Do you paid that's that's good, isn't it? It's her stuff. demanding it. Well, it's, my, it's got my name on it. I'm pretending that I'm not a diva. That I, was, I got myself all Cher and Celine this morning. <laughs> Damped my foot. I was a bit Mariah Carey, wasn't I? One of the two. <laughs> One of the two. Uh, anyway, keep going through for that $54.99. Yeah, exactly. The three pair, the three rulers, three quilting rulers on their own would be more than that. If you bought, if you're buying them individually, would be more than that. Over sixty percent off. Still on two-way split pay as well. Look, says twenty-seven fifty. Is it something a month? How brilliant is that? Now remember, everything comes from your warehouse, doesn't it, it does. up north? So it, they'll be ready to pack. Yes. From tonight onwards. Yeah, we'll be, be getting them out the door. Yeah. Straight away. Exactly. Fifty-four ninety-nine. Lots of you there. Keep going through. Keep going through for this. It's only the first of many, many, many things. Over sixty percent saving. Over sixty percent saving on that one. Oh, she's had enough of that one. Right. Okay. Uh, I've got to do today's menu now because that was the early bird. So here's today's menu. Uh, Crafters Companion, second anniversary show with Leanne Chivers. Crafters Companion, all the way till 11.30. And then Steffi Stern is here with some gorgeous makers felting kits. Now, I've got a couple of pictures to show you the new things. Look at these. Oh. Now, they're all in conjunction with the RSPB, was it? I love a kingfisher. Oh, I love a robin. Yeah, RSPB, yeah. Beautiful. Like this. They're felting, but in hoops, aren't they lovely? And then we've got a lamb. <laughs> <laughs> it's life-size. So His cute. little tongue. He's called Bruce, apparently. That's Hannah. Hannah's called you Bruce. Anyway, the three ways you can get in touch. First way is by email. Studio at signstreet.com. Studio at signstreet.com. Second way is Facebook Live, uh, with loads of you messaging in. Oh, uh, Leanne, hope you're keeping well, says Jean. Morning, oh, Leanne Jean. from Blackpool. Morning, says Donna. John, please say hello to Jean. She's your biggest fan. That's Goldsmith Jean. Jean. Yes, Goldsmith Jean. Hang on a minute. No, no, no. Have, have you got the hat key? 
She, oh, she, it's not you not got, she hasn't got it with she me. She did me hang... I've been, I had a nosebleed this morning. Did you? I couldn't believe it, yeah. Are you walking uh, here now? Uh, well, I'll, I'll I be hope walking so. off if, if I'm not... If John runs off, we know what it is. Yeah, exactly. But I, I normally have... She did me lovely monogram hankies. Yeah, she's I beautiful. Think. She's yeah. a lovely person. And she does lovely cakes in her shop as well. She does. Her mum makes them. Oh, does she? Mm -hmm. And she used to have big hair, she didn't you, in the, in the 80s? She had mm. I had this dream about her once with big hair. Did you? And I said, Jean, have you got big hair? And she went, I did have, not anymore. Anyway, hello, Jean. And hello, everybody. June says good morning. Loads of people messaging in. Uh, right, OK. Uh, then the third way is the website, www.sayingstreet.com. Uh, go to the website, click on the top right-hand corner, watch live. Then what will happen is... It's clicking on it now. There you go. You see the screen up there and the little white box there to send you messages and they're the ones that will come on our bottom later. Scroll down the page and you'll see everything that's coming up on today's show. Now, uh, nearly everything from Crafters will be crashing. Because they're a Leanne special for the second anniversary. I only come out for a crash. Do you? <laughs> or a second birthday. Or a second birthday. Uh, all that, all that. Now, we also have to talk about... Uh, it's not called Eau de Coat. What's your Eau de Coat called? Yeah, it's called... Um, not Fab Eau Fabricot. Fabricot, right. And uh, it's because of Leanne. That's here. Yes, that's today. true. Mm -hmm. So we can talk all about that later. There's loads and loads and loads to get through. So keep going, keep going, keep going. This is all loads and loads. They're all in a weird order. So just have a good old uh, shimmy through. Then here we go. Then we've got the makers here. The elephant is brand new. The owl is brand new to us there. Beautiful. I got, look at the kingfisher. Mm. Aren't oh, they look at just... The pig. Look, I, I mean, girl, <gasps> Was that woolly? a guinea pig? Yeah, uh, uh, is there a guinea pig? Oh, I'm yeah. obsessed with guinea pigs. Oh, well, you look there. I need to make that myself. That's uh, um, which is called what's called uh, Amagawuli. Amagawuli. <gasps> oh, Leanne's just seen it in real oh, life. Oh my word! I need to make this. I need this in my life. Okay then. I'm going to buy this. And Terry Mouse is back. <gasps> oh, I need that too. Yeah. Oh my God, that's absolutely. Incredible. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So there are all the three ways to get in touch. So make sure you do get in touch with us. I and sorry if I don't it. read all the messages out, but when Leanne comes on, lovely to see Leanne on today, says Sue. Everybody's loving you here, Leanne. Thank Crazy you. Lorraine. Oh, did you see Crazy Lorraine in her dress? She was her 50th wedding anniversary. <laughs> Didn't she you had see? a gold dress made. <gasps> well, not gold glittery, because she normally looks like a drag queen. It was all really, really classy. Was Very it? unusual. Oh, and Crazy Lorraine, watch out in for a delivery today. Anyway, right, OK, let's move right. on, let's move on, because we've got loads. The die-cutting machine bundle, please, Leanne. OK, we can absolutely do this for you. I adore our Gemini machine, and for those of you who maybe aren't expert at using a rotary trimmer or if you try to piece and patchwork and they're not quite matching up because you haven't gotten your bits together perfectly, this deal is definitely for you because your die-cutting of pieces that you want to patchwork will never be as precise or as quick for you to do. So it's time saving and it's precision. Mm -hmm. And then it makes the joy of piecing so much easier. So this is our second edition Gemini. It's still got all of the power, precision and performance that you had with the original Gemini. The motor in here... Yeah, because you've always said you'll never be able to improve the pressure from... I've got the purple one, yep. but the, the original, the OG... Mm -hmm. you, they always said right from the day one, you'll never get more pressure. You'll never get more pressure. It's yeah. impossible. Yeah. The machine was definitely future-proof for yeah. that. What we have done to change this and upgrade, improve your experience, if you like, is we've made an optical sensor in here, which is full length. That means you can use your junior plates in here in any orientation. So you can use a smaller plate yeah. for a smaller project if you want to. We've improved the mortar so it's faster. And it's quieter. quieter. Um, and then we put a number of little bells and whistles on. We've put a media stand on there. We've incorporated storage in the top of the machine for any tools or small pieces that you need. Oh. You've got the fold down platforms, which also have incorporated storage. Yeah. That's on the front and the back of the machine. So you've got that in there. This means that you're not having to catch your plates now as they come out of the machine. Because mine, I've got the purple one. So you have to be, you have to be, you have there, to be there ready at the back. Um, yeah. And catch them. And then the other thing is we've got confident click buttons on the front there now. So you can hear and know that that's what you're pressing. They're not rubber. What's it called? A confident, confident click. I've never heard that. Yeah. yeah. Con they're called confident click. Lovely. So they're not. You... Nothing's happening because it's not plugged in. At yes. The no. Yeah. But you know yeah. that you you can feel and hear that you've clicked it, so yeah. you know what you're doing, which is absolutely fantastic. We've included three USB slots at the back, which means you can charge your media if you're watching Sewing Street on your tablet, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. up on your media stand. Plug it straight in the back of there. It'll feed off the power. Charge your telephone. Plug in a USB lamp if you. Well, want I was going to say we have native lightings, which we've got. 
USB. Yeah, USB, yeah, exactly. use your USB lamp, use our Hoover if you want to, pop it in there to charge it. Yeah. So useful to have those in there, especially if you don't have lots of sockets exactly. around your crafting exactly, yeah. area. And then straight out of the box, and this was really important for me because with our last Gemini, we had rubber feet on there to keep the machine still. still. And actually, the weight of the machine is such that we don't need to keep it still. It, it keeps itself still. Yeah. What that meant is, and this is a hefty machine, if you're losing the strength in your arms, your dexterity, and you're not com comfortable picking something that heavy up, it could be really difficult to heave that around your desk and move it, move that out the way for the sewing machine. With the well, especially as lots of people haven't got enough room to, to have, have it on board. their desk. Because mine has to go against the wall, so yes. when I use it, I have to pull mine out to, pull to get the plates at the back. Exactly And I lift, right. I have to lift it. Sort of exactly yeah. right. So what I wanted to do was make this, and I've been suffering with my back recently, and I know heaving that around just wasn't helping. So I bought a brand new Italian leather sofa a couple of years ago. Oh, yes, yeah, very nice. Trepped myself, it's gorgeous. The lady in the shop said, well, how are you going to hoover underneath it? I said, probably never. Yep. She said, well, you need these slidey feet on it, and then, look, you can just push your sofa around with one hand. <gasps> John, I had an epiphany. I was like, thank you for the sofa, but my goodness, what would that be like on the Gemini machine? Oh, so nothing to do with the sofa. So but then that means you've now got to hoover under the sofa, though. Well, my husband has to hoover. Oh, okay, fine. Yes, yeah, so I've got some, I've got a okay, so, person so to do be, the job. Because of the Italian... Because of the Italian leather sofa that gets pushed around the living room, my husband hoovers under it yep. now. We've put the same concept of slidey feet on the bottom of your Gemini. But they don't move, then? They're they not... don't move. They're just a, a fantastic... It's the material. It is exactly the material that they put on the bottom of the So sofas. did Leanne, the inventor, go in as soon as the Italian sofa arrived? Did Leanne, the inventor, I brain... whipped one off the bottom and sent it to the factory. <laughs> so you know you've got a sofa like that. So I had one like that, but they <laughs> sent it back to me once they realised what it was, and now it's back under there, so we can hoover under it again. Yeah. But that means that this can move around effortlessly, even though that's a hefty machine. You can take it wherever you want on your desktop and move it out the way and back when you're sewing. And that is fantastic to mm. not have to be heaving that around your craft yeah. area. Push it out the way when you don't want it. Pull it back when you do. Now, you mm. might have noticed on the bottom of here, we've got four screw holes there ready for you. You might wonder what they're for. In this bundle, you get... This is the bundle that comes with the Gemini comes today. Comes with yeah. the Gemini. In this bundle, you also get this turntable. Now, those screw holes in the bottom are pre-drilled to perfectly fit this turntable, which actually, John, if, like you say, you're crafting up against a wall, yeah. makes it easier for you because what it does... Thank you. What that does, when you pre-screw it on the bottom, so it yeah. goes into those four holes, you can see that there. There, that then makes your Gemini rotatable. So when you're working with it, you can put your plates in the front and then do that and retrieve them as they come out. Put your plates in the front, retrieve them as they come out. So you're not having to reach and bend mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. You're not having to lift it towards yourself. It just makes the experience of that much, much more usable for you at home if that's what you have to do. So we've included that in the Normally we sell those you. separately they're and they're bound to be on the website, but they're in the bundle yes. that comes with this today. Can we just explain as well that this isn't a special <laughs> thing we've done. These come automatically with that oh, machine. Oh, all of they? the plates you need for every type of craft you could ever imagine is in this box. That is another thing that I insisted on when we were developing the Gemini from the OG all the way to this one. Nothing more frustrating than buying a machine, going to do something and then realising you don't have the plate and by the way you've got to go and buy an extra plate yeah. and it's going to cost you £20 and that, I get very frustrated when that happens mm. to me. So I was insistent that everything you need comes in the box and you don't have to worry about going to buy an addition. Yeah. It will work for you. So you get your two cutting plates, you get your shim for different cutting materials. These are improved from the OG. So these white cutting plates will last three times as long as the originals and this shim 10 times as long as the original. So that means you get more crafting and it is a consumable. You will need to replace them yep. because you're cutting into them. It's like a pair of scissors. So uh, you will need to, but they'll last three times and 10 times as long. But wait till you see the bundle that we've got, you see. Mm. Right. You get a magnetic positioning plate for paper crafting. You get a metal shim for fabric crafting yeah, yeah, yeah. and you get a rubber embossing mat for paper crafting. Right. That's so do I not do I never use this one for fabric? Never for fabric. Okay. And you really don't need the met the magnetic for fabric either. So the rubber and the magnetic, they're for paper crafting. Okay. These plates fabric. But most crafting. people who do want have a go or do the other. Yes. Like you do all, all sorts. I do all of the all crafts. Sorts, yeah. I crochet, I knit, I paper craft. Yeah. I sew. Jean from Goldstitch taught me to dress make. Oh, wow. I went to her classes because oh. she lives just in the next village and actually taught me how to make a skirt block and a top 
block yeah, yeah, so yeah. That, to my perfect shape. Yeah, so I, you... I've never had a skirt that fits as well. <gasps> How brilliant is Honestly, that? So, so if you want to go for lessons, crafted. you live up near, it's near Durham, isn't it? It which is, is, yes. Near Durham. Durham. Jean, gold, gold stitch, stitch gold stitch yeah. and fabulous cakes. Right, okay, so let's just before, because this isn't our price, right? What else do we get in this okay. bundle then? So, what so I've already put that in there. You've got that in there. Now we've got this fantastic builder block set for you, which is, um, a necessity for me. Mm -hmm. I just think, and we'll, I will have a look at how it cuts in a second and I'll, I'll talk to you about why. But we're getting this alphabet builder block set. And what you've got in here is all of the dies to create all of the alphabet so that you can personalize and customize. Personalization's huge at the moment, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. uh, and especially if you've got an unusual name like me, Leanne, no E on the end. Yeah. So Linda would Yeah, yeah, if you go to the garden center, not gonna they won't be spelt like that. No, no it won't exactly. be spelt like no. that. Uh, and my sister's called Marielle. We're not getting any Marielles anywhere. What was your mum thinking? Well, she just likes to be awkward, Linda. <laughs> right, but that, that's normally 69, 69 Now, I've also got this, right? Because I can talk, because I've got mm. the Gemini from when I was up there. They're not dies that cut out a letter. No. I set, in my brain, I was like, oh, there'll be a die for A, a die for B. They're all made of squares and half square triangles, right? And they do different sizes, six, eight, nine, 10, and 12 inch blocks. So you can, we haven't got it this time, we had it last time. It's literally, you can make letters, but it's not just letters, it's numbers and it's symbols. And there's about eight Hashtag, little blocks in there of yeah. art. So, so it's not just your alphabet. There's no, so much more in there. So much more in there. 69.99 normally. What's this? Uh, we're also giving you your elongated hexagons for yep. patchworking and nested. So you can do all of your different sizes. Yep. That's that one there. Yep. yep, absolutely. And you've got four different sizes in there. So that's four different project sizes. Lovely. We're it's all in the bundle. This all, all in comes the with the machine. Um, you're getting a plate storage bag. So this is one of these. I'll just bring this out. Yeah, bring the you. open one. Bring there. the open one out. So this is a really it's like a scuba. Um, I use frame. mine to bring my iPad in in the morning. Yes, it's brilliant. For Michael your tried to nick it back from me this <gasps> morning. Cheeky devil, Michael! Get a sharpie on a job. Yeah. <laughs> um, or hand embroider your name on there. This is like a, a neoprene scuba. It's yes. absolutely fantastic. It's quality. Now I use these. This is for storing your plates. Yeah. Of course, iPads are great. I actually have several of these, and I use them as project organisation. So a whole quilt that's cut goes inside, ready to be pieced oh. with the correct thread, with the correct pattern, with my builder block, with my dad. So I know exactly what I'm doing. You Project love organisation, don't you? Because in, in your builder block, uh, normally you you also keep your bot things underneath the yes. the, cutting, the, the, the dies. Yes, you, I do. Yeah. I absolutely am. Okay, so that all about the organisation. That, that comes in. That comes in. Does. There, right. Then you're getting two new cutting plates. So you're getting two of the cutting plates in there for when you need to replace. But already we're saying they last three times, three as, times long. as long as the old ones. So you might, they might sit in your drawer now for months and months oh, and months. months. You might not need them for ages, but they're no. there when you're ready for they're them. Re because they are ready. consumables. Because I live near the Crafters Companion e in Eversham. Oh, okay. So I can go in there and they have all of these. They up do. There. But, they, but you won't need to go because for months and months and months. I, I was going to say, how long ago is it? COVID, four years ago. I got my Gemini four years ago. I still haven't replaced any of my plates. You're being really good then. Yeah, well, you You're being see, a good plate You should user. see my... Um, Your metal shim. Does it matter? She keeps still promising works? me the fabric ones and never gives them to me. I'll send them to you, John. Okay, thank you. I'll sort that out for Sarah's you. Sarah's never sent them. She's always promised. Empty promises. I will deliver on that promise for Perfect. You, I'll keep you to that now. So um, those two white plates come in there, but also... Yes, fabric cutting plates. Right. Now, these are strengthened. So the metal plate that comes in with the bundle, if you are an, an occasional soft crafter, then you're absolutely fine. Or if you're doing light work, like a couple of layers, six layers, or you're cutting one or two layers of felt, if you're doing a plique, that metal plate is perfect for all of that. And you can cut up to six layers of cotton with the one that comes in the box, no problem at all. If you're a heavy lifter, when it comes to your patchworking and quilting, these plates will change and revolutionise mm -hmm. your life, which is why we've got them in the bundle. It elongates the uh, time that you need to replace your regular cutting plates because it strengthens the sandwich, but it also means that you can cut additional layers and harder to cut material. So if you're cutting your uh, thick real leathers, if you're cutting your four leathers, if you're cutting canvas, cotton duck, that kind of thing, these plates would be brilliant. But I've done up to 10 layers of quality 
quilting cotton yeah. in one pass with one die with these fabric plates. Uh, when you use your normal plate, like mine, like this one, you will get indents on them like this. Now, this has only been used the once, right, or twice, right? Mine looks like a scrunkled up piece of tin foil. Yeah. Still works. Works. But I'm, I'm waiting for my fabric plates. Yeah, well, I'm going to get you some, John. Okay, fine. Yeah, don't worry, they're coming from So, me. all of this. All of this. All of this I just showed you with your machine, right? And if you bought all of them separately, they would be £383.92. But it's second birthday. It's second birthday. So, Hannah. Okay, uh, over 30% saving. Over 30% saving, right? Now, I'm sure that when we launched this machine on its own, wasn't it 229 or something like that? Yes. When we first yes, launched it. Yes, 229 just for the machine. Yeah, yes. just for the machine, 229. Yes. That's exactly right. right. But you're getting all of that, the builder block, you're getting mm -hmm. the plate, the extra, the fabric plates, you're getting the swirly thing, uh, you're getting the, the neoprene bag and everything. Uh, Three-way split pay as well. Three-way split pay. Now, what I love about this bundle is you're going to use all of it. You know, sometimes you'll go in somewhere, mm. I'm not saying crafters, but you go in somewhere and they'll go, oh, we've done this lovely bundle for you. You think, well, you put that in there because that doesn't sell. And you put that in there, what's that got to do uh, with the Gemini? nothing more frustrating, is there? No, but all of this... Yeah. You're going to use it. You it's are? not like you're thrown in something that's not going to be used with it. It's all going to be used with the thing. They're all ready to go. They're in the warehouse up, up in Newton Aycliffe and they're ready to go to you now. Right, so we're going to do a very, very quick demo. This isn't a demo show today. This is a birthday show where we're mm -hmm. going to go fast and furious. But I just said to Leanne, could we just do a quick demo just to show how the machine... If you've not got this machine or you've never seen a die cutter before, how brilliant and how quiet it is as well. Absolutely. So I've got six <coughs> layers of cotton here. Right. And this is a good quality quilting cotton. Yep. So it's not your cheap poly, cheaper poly cotton. Yeah. <laughs> We don't do Am I being snobby when no, I No, not at all. That. No, we don't do it. Um, you know, when you get it sack for <clears throat> £2, it's not that. No. No, it's the good Riley stuff. Blake, this one, isn't it? I think it might yeah. be. It's the good stuff. Yeah. OK, so what I've got is six layers there. And I want to show you, not with the fabric plates, but with the metal plates with, that comes yeah. as standard in the box. But you're going to get the fabric plates anyway. They're in yeah, there, yeah. yes. So what I've done is put my cutting plate on the bottom. I've then got my metal shim. I've got my fabric and my die with the cutting blade facing down they're coming up later into in this the hour. fabric yeah now being able to i don't know about you at home can you freehand a circle i can't no no, no 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 um and any kind of cutting tool that exists out there that purports to be able to do a circle i never get a circle i get an oval and ellipsis or half moon or something that resembles a circle but isn't a circle yeah so having dice to be able to do this for you <laughs> is incredible this so low tack tape is very strong isn't it, it just is. opening you a low tack tape thank you thing. john like um so i like to keep that still that's especially important if you are fussy cutting. So let's say I want that floral yeah. at that position on my fabric. I can then hold my die still in that place so I'm able to fussy cut and pick out icons in my fabric if that's what I want to do. Yeah. I'm just going through six layers with this demonstration just. for you. Just. Yeah. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is put on the shim. So you always need the shim in there. And you always... It's essential oh. that your cutting blade of your die faces down into the metal plate and also it's important to say it's not a blade it's, it's not, not sharp a blade. it's not sharp is it it's just ridged around that edge isn't let me it? just show you sorry so i'm running my fingers all around the cutting edge no damage whatsoever yeah. you're not going to hurt yourself yeah so don't that. be frightened that if your kids get hold of them then it's not a sharp edge it's just a ridged no. edge but you've got to make sure the ridged edge is down the flat edge is up don't correct don't the cutting edge is down and it's, it's me the telling the inventor what to do <laughs> <It's> sorry <laughs> Leanne, no, no don't no i love it oh okay I okay i suddenly thought oh shush, because stop, you know what if that's the case that means it's easy to understand and everybody well, if i can understand <laughs> no, i don't mean it like that and that means it's easy I didn't mean it that way. Isn't it funny? <laughs> 29 minutes in, first big insult. So, what I mean is... <laughs> if you can do it, John, anybody, anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. You right. can do it too. Yeah. Right, OK. Then so you go. put your shim in there, yeah. then you put your cutting plate on top, and that just runs through the machine. So it's the pressure in the machine that does the cutting, not the blade on the die. It's not a blade. When you offer it forward... Yes. I just went quiet there for a second. I want you to hear... You can't hear it. Yeah. I tell you what, if you do a square one and you put it in straight, you will get a bit of a <laughs> as it goes over. Bit. Don't panic, that's not that. And if you're cutting felt, it goes <laughs> Don't panic, that's, no. you know. Absolutely not. It's, it's silent, but look, I, that's my uh, repositionable tape hanging on there. Look how I've been able to pick those out immediately. Look at the precision on those circles. Yeah. There is no frayed edge. 
There's no little thread hanging off there. There's definitely not a donkey's back leg. No. And we've done one, two, three, four. This is quilting weight cotton, by five, the way. Five, six layers effortlessly. And actually, John, I feel I could have done eight yes. there. Yes, yeah, easy. yeah, yeah. And with the, with the, with the fabric plates, you could even go more. Even you? more, yeah. yes. Just try it and see where it goes. And if you put it in and the, the machine doesn't like it, it will stop and reverse. And, reverse out, yeah. and you just need to take a couple of layers yeah. out. So when you come to doing your piecing, like in your builder blocks, like your alphabet sets, where you need your half squares, your squares, your hexagons, to perfectly match at the points, mm -hmm. having dies in a machine that will do this for you, Get those pieces cut quickly so you can get to the good job of the piecing. Ex exactly. But also, I know many, many people miss you when we do a demo and go, oh, that's a very wasteful way of doing it. This isn't the way you do it in real life. Oh, gosh, this is no. Just that, like, it's the same when any of us do it. We just yeah. get a bit of fabric. You can have pieces all the way over here with different shapes on and everything. Mm -hmm. And you only need to cut this to like a minuscule bigger than your die. Yes. Do you know what I mean? You wouldn't need all of this. No. If you were doing it for real, you'd literally, well, even that would be wasteful, but you'd literally make it the size of your die. You would. So it's a really, really a money saving and fabric saving. So, thing what as well. we did was <coughs> we tested that, John, because we did get feedback saying it's wasteful. I'm going to waste a lot of fabric. To your point, cut your fabric right to this fly's eyelash. Bigger. A fly's eyelash. A fly's eyelash bigger than the dye. That's all you need. And hold it still with your tape. Yeah. And what we did was an exercise where we, uh, a professional quilter, we had her freehand cut a quilt and then use our dyes to cut a quilt, doing the fly's eyelash technique. And the wastage on the fabric was less using the dyes than it was because it takes away any margin of yeah. error or mistake. And also, a lot of traditionalists will go, oh, no, you have to cut it with a ruler. You have to cut it with a rotary cutter. If that's what you enjoy, yes. then that's fine. Absolutely. But I did my... Remember I did the um, rainbow bargello for my window when we oh, were all I doing... Oh, I love that. It's and then I also gorgeous. did the Ukraine heart one. I cut all of my squares and my half square triangles out with this and because they're all perfect it's so easy to put together and not necessarily oh no when you do your letters right the dies have the corners cut off yes. so when you come to place them together there's none of that guessing no. where you've got to put it you let on top and it's so precise and then you literally cut so down your quarter, quarter inch line, and it's done the precision yes. is absolutely brilliant and so for me who you know i'm not going to say i'm a lazy crafter i'm going to say i like to look more professional than i am so I just feel life's too short for me to be doing all, and yeah. I'm not very skilled at it. No, no, but if that's work. what you enjoy, then that's do fine. it. That's fine. But Absolutely. Even, even if you're one of those traditionalist people, give it a go. Give it a go. Also, none of us are getting any younger. We were talking earlier about arthritis and things like that. Mm. I've got, look, I've got really bad arthritis in my little, in my little finger I've got now. To come look here. And it's just, you can do a few, and then after a while you're like, oh, it's Aww. throbbing a little bit now and everything like that. Um, the deal, $249.97, you're saving 30% on the deal. When we first launched this machine, it was £229 for Correct. the machine on its own. And you're getting all of that. Remember the builder block, $69.95 on its own. Well, the, 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 the roundy thing's about £9, isn't it? Then all of these all add up. Do you know what all these... And then the fabric plates, they're, they're a good £25. £24.99, yeah. £24.99, yeah. yeah. Uh, saving 133 pounds there. So make sure there's lots of you there, but make sure you check out if you've not had one of these before. The thing is, <laughs> we bring this to you every month, sort of thing. But every mm -hmm. month, new people are buying it. Every month, we have people coming in and, and getting it. Also, the backup service is Gemini John, based up north. This is brilliant. So if there's any, any issues, mm -hmm. and also please never think, oh, I can't ring about that. That's a silly question. There's no such thing. But the no such thing. Support team. At Crafters up there in Newton Aycliffe yeah. are amazing. The ladies they are. up there. I, I don't know if there were only ladies there when I was there. Yes, but there are only ladies. Only ladies. And they're just, you're going through the front door and they're just literally up there, up the staircase there. They'll answer anything. And if they can't answer to you, they will, they'll find out for you. Yeah, they come so and bang on my think. door. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if there's a problem, if there's a problem, they'll they'll come and pick it up for you and sort it out. And yes, Gemini like John sorts yeah. it out and we deliver it back to you. And Poor we, old Gemini yeah. John just used to have a, a, like where the studios used to be, just yeah, had the desk as you came in. Now he's got his own space. And he everything. has got a very dedicated space now. Right, okay, plates, right. Plates. So this bundle, what's this then? So this is, if you want some extra plates, if you want to really, it's, oh, I always shop consumables when there's a deal or an offer or a celebration. Mm -hmm. And even if I don't need them right now, I know when I need them in 12 months time, I've got them at a good price. Exactly. So that's what this bundle is for. So you're getting a neoprene bag. You can never have too many of these. So you're getting one in that bundle, that's fine. If you get one of these, you've got another one. We've talked about the different uses for them, John. They're just useful. Okay, now, if I've got, can I use these on my OG, on my original? Oh, yes. So, so if you're sitting there thinking, oh, I'm not, I've got, it's nothing wrong with, and I'm not saying, 
you have to buy this. You have, I, we're not like that here. No. We just kind of, if you want it. But if you've got the OG like I have, mm -hmm. then get the OG people checking out on this. Get this because then you've got all the... The plates? Because the pressure is exactly the same. Pressure is exactly the same. Can I also just say as well, Sarah pointed this out last time she was in, there is a, a, a dedicated group of people, nothing to do with crafters, who... If you what are you thinking? Oh, I really want the new one. But I've I haven't, I've only had my one for three years or four years. There's a dedicated site you can go to to sell yes. that your old machine on, and so you can then upgrade into yes, this one is. as well. So have a think about that as well. Yeah, absolutely. So oh, right, caution: the stock of this bundle's gone. We haven't even opened the blooming thing yet. <laughs> so you get your bag. You get two of your three times last last longer cutting plates. And can I just say these are white now because of the opt optical sensor in this new machine. Right. Because it's a light beam. So the light beam has to be broken for them. To oh, work. OK. So That's I can't use my machine. old plates in the new machine, but yeah. I can use my, these plates in my old machine. You can use them, but just put a sheet of copy paper in, which won't add any depth to them, but it'll break the beam of light. Right. So if you're trying to use your older clear plates in the new machine, and you can if you've stockpiled some, you want to get this bundle and you've already got them there, they'll work no problem at all. Sheet of copy paper or just your fabric. Make sure it's at the top of the plate as you put it through, so it breaks the beam of light. So now, is that it, so? If I've got children or pets or anything, if they put their hand in, it's not going to move, is not it? Not going to move. So it's safe as well. It's right. Safe. Okay. Yes. Two white plates. Two white plates. Bag. Your fabric cutting plates are in there as well, which is fantastic. So and then twenty four ninety nine. They are. And they're all in there. And that is great, because that's your big size. That is cutting three or four different die shapes. Right, ready for a this? Fabric, a fabric piece is a piece. You couldn't stun like that. Mm. No, no, totally, totally. Really and is. all the pieces are so perfect. As yes. Well. 39.97, what percent? 20%, 20% saving. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, they're going to go, whenever we bring fabric plates on their own, they fly out at 24.95 or 24.99, whatever they are. With them all bundled together, you've got them all there ready. Mm -hmm. You've got them there ready at 39.97 with a saving as well, because it's the birthday show. Uh, be careful, be careful. They will sell out. They will sell out today, those. Just saying, I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. Okay, there's 30 in baskets. There's 30 sitting in baskets. Check out, check out. Yeah, that's going to go. That's going to go. I'll yeah. keep you updated. Sorry, Leanne. Okay. That's going to go. Now. You can have that one then. Take that with you. Yeah. Sarah. Sa oh, yeah, tell Kat. I'll tell Kat. Tell yeah, Kat. because I would just be putting that in the car and take it back up home. That's yours, John. Thank you. There you go. I'm true to my word, aren't I? <laughs> All the time Sarah's been in, she, oh, I'll get them sorted. I'll send them to <laughs> just you. Just have those ones, John. There you go. Sorted. Yeah. Right. These are right. exactly the same, but the smaller junior size. I'm all in Paris now. I've got <laughs> <those>. <laughs> You've got your cute junior bag size. So that's uh, the same quality that you had with your larger one. And then inside, you've got your two junior sized cutting plates. So is there a junior Gemini 2 or use no. these on the normal the original junior. one. Right, original so if you one, want yeah. to use these plates in your original junior, that's what this is for. Yeah, perfect. And then you've got your junior sized fabric plates in there as well for your smaller project. But I can use them on here, can't I as well? Yes, because you can use them in here this way. Yeah. But now because of the optical sensor, you can use them that way. You don't have to worry the orientation the plate you put so in. So maybe there. you've got the, 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 the new Gemini and you're thinking, well, I only do mm -hmm. lots. It, it might be somebody who does lots and lots of little EPP. Yes. And they only ever need to cut little things. Little they bit don't of need a big plate. That kind Kind of thing yeah. absolutely it's brilliant for that for uh, smaller so jobs. it should be 52 90 whatever it was oh 39.97 39.97 now the big ones aren't going to sell out just to warn you please be careful these will go the same way at 39.97 the bag the two white plates and the two fabric plates in there loads of people got the big plates in their baskets please check out check out check out Quarter of the stock of these have gone now. Quarter of the stock of those have gone now. Look, we're 840 already. Right, now, oh, now, I've made cat. I've made a mess, right? So, <laughs> low tack tape, low tack tape, right? So, you always say buy one, and we normally have buy one, get one for free. We do. We don't have enough of these. These are going to fly out. This is a brilliant deal we've done, right? So now imagine if we've got three packets. Now, there's three in each packet, right? Mm -hmm. And each one has a dispenser. It's not like yes. when you buy the one from a high street store. Oh, and these are special low-tack tape. Don't be using parcel tape oh, or gosh, sellotape. Oh, gosh, no, 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 no. Right, go, go, go. Do it, do it, do it, because watch this, watch this. 
you get two of these packets for free. The reason I was calling Cat is because that one there. You, you is, helped me out. I helped. I opened that one. But you, but you will not get a one that's been opened by John. No. You'll get a fully intact one. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. You get. So you're paying for these two, and you get these. There's a. Oh, it's in there. Lovely. There we go. <laughs> so you get all of those. You get all of those. Uh, so you've paid for two. You get two for free. Yes. Oh, yeah, single figures already. £9.98. No way. Yeah. Really? That's quick. I mean, yeah. it is fantastic. I use it for indexing. I use it for cataloguing, for keeping things stale. It's just very usable. This is the good thing about that we have pre order you see. So mm -hmm. they can see, they're going to sell out, that you can see everything ahead of, ahead of when we're actually coming to do it. And everyone knows, like today, that everyone knows they're going to get a good deal on a crafter's day anyway. But today's the and special day on the second anniversary. Put my foot down with a firm hand. Yes. On. Diva. <laughs> Bailey. <gasps> Love, 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 love this. I right, like so traditional designs. Right, so Builder Block, tell me what Builder Block is then. Okay, Builder Block is, we had the original Builder Block, which was in the little drawer system. Yep. And that gave you all of the shapes you need to make, something like 60 different quilt tops. Then we brought the expansion packs, which is what we've got here. Now, Builder Block is a system where you get all of the dies to build a traditional block. And this is bay leaf. Yeah. So it'll build a traditional bay leaf for you. But then you can use those blocks to build a lot of different patterns yeah so you can see here we have got 10 different patterns there so this set of dies will do those 10 patterns of course it will do the traditional bay leaf yeah yeah because everybody you. thinks oh i'm gonna do a bay leaf that's all i can do with not this. at all and also look at the sizes mm -hmm. six inch block eight inch block nine inch block and 12 inch block but like leanne was just saying you don't just make that you're not no. buy, you're not paying 59.99 just for one block, right? Because you can Ten make blocks. everything that's on the back there. And also, I'm sure there are um, configurations that you've not even thought of. Exactly. Do, do, you, do your own. Be your own, you know, be your own designer. Of course you can do that. Because the maths are worked out for you, because those curves are perfectly cut with the quarter of inch seam allowance included. Mm -hmm. So you're not even having to work that out yourself. It means precise piecing every time. Okay, can I just tell you very quickly before we crash the price, when I was at Crafters Companion mm. and it was the middle of COVID, we couldn't get guests to come in. That's so right. you would zoom in to start with. I was. But Sarah was my guest each week, right? <laughs> now Sarah was the first to admit she's not a sewer. No. She's, was, oh, she wasn't a sewer. She wasn't a patchwork. She wasn't a quilter. And she said, well, I, I arrived one week and she went like with our mask going, oh, by the way, I'm your guest this week. And I was like, Oh, okay, so I'm doing curved seams this week. And I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, and I'm on a table this side of the studio. She's on a table right over there thinking, watch, and no, no offense nope. to her, but I was like, what's she gonna do? If you've it's, never done it before, she's gonna get one end off the uh, she's, because they cut precisely and because they cut the ends off, you match it perfectly. All you've got to master is the quarter inch seam. Yeah, exactly. So this should be 59.99. If you if you go to Evesham store. Today, mm -hmm. that will be 59.99, right? And we're going to take how much offhand? <gasps> this, don't you be going, oh, it was because of you, this happened. 40% <laughs> off. 35.99. Now, you're not just going to make that one Bailey no, pot. You're because... going to... You've got orange peel, haven't you? That's what it's called, isn't it? You just got, literally, you could make all sorts yes. of things. Yes, so if you think, there's four different sizes, as John pointed out, 6, 8, 9 and 12 inch dies in here to make a 6, 8, 9 and 12 inch block. Yes. And then you've got 10 designs there. So that is 40 different blocks you've got in mm. that one set. So if you think about that price, that's less than a pound a block for the templates to be able to do that precisely yeah. for whatever size project you want to create. It's incredible value. And I promise you, you will have a positive experience and then you'll want to die cut everything because the pleasure of piecing things that are perfect. Yeah, it does become addictive. It does. It does it's so much better than trying to fold But also, together. if you're not a quilter, mm. you can use them as um, applique shapes and things yes. like that. So you can, you can make- Just zigzag around the edge. Yeah. Yes, all of those things. It's absolutely incredible. Yeah, now remember, there's only one PMP for the whole day. So if you come in and buy something at a bought the early bird, then you buy something the next day, you buy something the next hour, it's one PMP. And it's also coming from their warehouse. So it's all ready to go. Yep. Yeah, Michael's been doing close ups above the like head. A, I was like a Dolly's dealer there, wasn't I? A what? A Dolly's dealer. You remember Bruce's Dolly dealers? No. Can you not play your cards right? Oh, no. oh I thought they were called Dolly dealers. Yeah. Dolly dealer. Is that what you wanted to be when you were I younger? wanted to be a dolly dealer when I was five. And you weren't tall enough? I wasn't tall enough. Couldn't or reach the top shelf? I would, no. 
couldn't reach the top shelf. I need steps for everything. So yes. <laughs> I don't have legs 99. to my armpits, uh, John. Oh? I don't have legs to my armpits. Well, you might have. <laughs> well, you just no. got very low armpits. They're very so. low armpits, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a few insults thrown back in here. <laughs> Over oh. 30 people got that in their baskets. Over 30 people got that in their baskets. I know there's, like, there's three and a half hours worth of deals, but remember, you only pay one P&P. So look, you can check out on that now. It's not like some places where you buy, if you bought that now, and then you come in next hour to buy, I don't know, some rulers or something, and they go, oh, yeah, that's an extra 3 95 It's the whole... So even if you bought every single thing we've got on the show today... It was still only cost you three pounds. Including the machine. Including the machine. Wow. Now imagine going to send see Vicky, the postmistress, in the in the little pop in shop going, Oh, could you send pounds. this for three ninety five? No, no, not definitely not. You can only, you can send a book for three ninety five now. Yeah. You can't even do a recorded delivery letter for that much anymore. Oh, got an email. Do yes. they come with instructions? Should we just open it and have a look? Oh sure. Oh, cat, she's opening it. Oh, she doesn't care because we're all going back with you. So there you go. Um, I mean, what they're going to do, John? Tell me off. Who are you? Well, I don't know. We could try. Yeah. Let's get this. Oh, you're going to rip it. I'm just going <gasps> to. Oh! That... Shit. <laughs> Anniversary show, and she's right. <laughs> So that's your little paper thing, and then it comes out in a drawer. Yeah. It's, I just think it's nice for you to see this, isn't it? And every set we show you after this is exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll tell you what, because I've got storage. I've got the two original square builder blocks which mm -hmm. sit on top of each other with but then I've got about eight of no, not eight, six of these, right? Yeah. And they sit on a shelf and they're all in their little drawers like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's brilliant. And then you've got a map which shows you where the dies go. So this little plastic thing comes off the top. There are your dies inside, yeah. beautifully stored. Every single die has a special place yes. to keep it safe. Also, what size does is you see what it says here what it says on because mm -hmm. she said she often loses this bit of yes. paper she's written that on the, Onto on the there. material and thing. the other thing is, is when you work this is a leanne trick now that i'm gonna do when you're cutting the pieces out store them put in there, there yes because, because it's there's hollow. plenty of room it's hollow Keep and so what there. i do is i take this out and i put it underneath right and then i don't lose it it's right. in there and then oh, I just go course, in there yeah, so yeah. that i don't lose the bit of paper maybe you should tell sarah that I but the person who asked about the instructions yes you do yes you do you get this whole booklet with this booklet comes and we give you every everything you need so we explain to you about the grain of the fabric and how to use it uh, in the best way we give you the different blocks or the bay leaf the raindrops we've got them all in there and then we tell you for a six inch block cut eight small corners four small petals so we tell you exactly what to cut in there um, and then we give you all of the directions for each single one yeah, uh, all of the sizes there. Uh, sorry yes <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, well, look, if you're speaking a different language, we've yeah. got the different languages in there for you too. But yes, all of the instructions are in there and we tell you exactly how many to cut for. Modern petals here, for example. Uh, for a 12-inch block, you need 32 small corners and 16 small petals. Yeah. Um, and then it just gives you other options. So everything you need, all included. Okay, now some of them are six, some of them are eight, some of them are nine, some of them are 12, some of them are all of them. Just check the instructions. Yes. Because then you can make a sample quilt, couldn't you? Just using that yes. one. Yes. Right, forty percent came off there. Forty percent. Now I've got. I'm not. We're not going to open this one. No, because it's all the same. All right. Okay. Give me the eyes then. Yeah. I'm not opening <laughs> this one, Leanne. Drunkard's pathway, <laughs> Leanne. Uh, right. Uh, so when she came in this morning, she was very adamant about what prices were coming off and everything like that. Matching. We're matching the price on this one. So it should be fifty nine ninety nine. Now, why should I buy this one then? For all of the reasons you should have bought that one. Yep. It, it's exactly the same. <laughs> you've got the precision, you've got the six, eight, nine, and twelve inch block, you've got all of the dies you need, you've got all of the instructions in there, you've got the precision that you need, and you've got your ten different designs, so your forty different blocks. But with a drunkard's block, that's nowhere near no. everything that you can do with a drunkard's block. That's not, that's not what, you, you can do way, way, way more. I've seen sampler quilts with like 24. Yes. Drunk, used from Drunkard's Pathway. Yes. Now, if they're, if they're available on the internet, and yeah. there is lots of free resources, uh, isn't uh, Pinterest. You, Pinterest to show you the different ways of using the Drunkard's Path, then you can use that map with these dies yep. and do it in six, eight, nine, and 12. Yeah, because exactly. it's the assembly, not yeah. the 
cutting that is the important yeah. thing you need. And also, because they've been cut so precisely, all you, people are frightened of doing curves. Yes. Because you're putting a pizza slice into a crust, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and people are frightened of that bit. Whereas, because these have been cut so precisely, they fit, you know they're going to fit. It just, it's just <coughs> magic clicks me. together, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it's literally, it's like wizardry. It really does just make it yeah. very, very simple. I've yeah. tried without and I can't do it. I can with the dies. Huge saving. Was that 40% did we say? 40% on there. 40% saving. Right, next one. Rob Peter to pay Paul. Love this one. This one and uh, a wedding ring are my two favourite designs. Well, that's because Sarah got so excited when mm. she did the first week of like pay Peter. Uh, the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, she then went, oh, I'm going to do um, a yeah. wedding ring. And I was like, she'll never mm -hmm. do a wedding ring, a double wedding band, because they're so complicated. So complicated. But these are the same. Look at the shapes of the yeah. dies in here. So yeah. I'll just move you over. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. The shapes of the dies. I mean, I would never be able to do that myself. And I would never get it pieced where it was precise and all of those points were meeting in the correct place. Yeah. So it just makes it effortless. And you know, John, even if you are a very experienced, very competent cutter with your acrylic templates or your rulers or your freehand or whatever it is you do the speed of this means that you get to the piecing quicker because you're doing your eight to ten pieces in one go yep. a cool top with no word of a lie can be ready cut in half an hour and so then you're ready to start putting yeah. it together. It just makes it so much more efficient. Mm -hmm. For me, the bit I hit, really don't like and I'm not very good at, yeah. I get out of the way. Right. And then I can okay, so easy. Bex just messaged in saying, mm -hmm. I had to stop sewing because I couldn't cut things out anymore mm -hmm. due to waiting for surgery on my shoulder. But I got a Gemini and it's fab. It does all the cutting out for me. I'm so happy to be cutting again. There you go. Isn't that marvellous? And that's why... The, the, uh, testaments like that I absolutely love thank you so much for sending that in because that was the whole point of developing the you know, the machine mm. that could do the fabric cutting because it re reinvigorates your love for a craft that you might be sad and missing and couldn't exactly. do anymore uh, 35 99 40% off again but again look all of those different ones in there from this one set of dies look and it's not like they're just a little bit different no do you they're know very different that one there looks like a fake um, cathedral window yeah isn't it? that one there it does but from that, you can get completely different looking um, blocks. You can. Also, I was just thinking, right, these do a 12-inch block, right? If you're entering, we're not talking about today, and we're not showing it today, but you know the art uh, designer block uh, competition? That needs to be 12-inch finish, which means it would be 12 and off. You could use any of these Absolutely. to do your cutting out. Just an idea. We're not going to show it today because obviously it's the birthday show today, but tomorrow I'll be showing it again tomorrow. Right, are you then going on to Winding Ways? I love this too. This is lovely. Yeah, it's well. lovely. I really do love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And again, exactly as you've seen with the previous one, it's in that beautiful drawer system. There, all of the dies have their place to live. You've got your instructions in there. Six, eight, nine, twelve. Six, eight, nine, and twelve inch blocks. And then you've got all of the different. We've given you ten different. Look workout at them patterns. though. How? I mean, and how difficult would they be? If you're cutting them out, had to work them out yourself. This one I absolutely adore. Yeah. I really love. This uh, right, thirty-five ninety-nine. 40% off. Pardon? The last of the builder blocks for now. Beautiful. Oh, she's, she's had enough of that one. Moving on, moving on. Right, now the next one is a these. set of four. Oh, sorry, Leanne. All right. Knocking you in the booby there. It's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. Blue-eyed, blue-footed booby. You know, it's a bird. <laughs> it is, it's a yes, bird of blue-footed booby. I was talking about the blue-footed booby, obviously, then. <laughs> right, so now these are dies mm -hmm. that you can make lots of different things with it. Now, if you're thinking, oh, they're lovely, but only want the clamshells, I've got them all individually in a minute, but the most, the best way to save your money, if you've got friends that you might want to give these as presents to, or you've got friends who you know have got a Gemini machine, or you may already have this one, or you may already have this one, put it in the present drawer, it'll be Christmas before you know it. If you bought all four of those together today at the Eversham store, it would cost you 144.96. They don't offer split pay there. Two-way split pay. Two-way split pay, right? The, the split pay will stay. I don't know where they're going to, but you're saving what percent? Over 55%. Leanne, deal. <laughs> right, okay. I love the it. The split pay staying, right? 64.98. That's less than the split pay was. Before we started, the split pay was £72, right? The split pay is now £32.50 or 39 49, 49, that's two pounds 49. Right, okay, so 64.98, that makes those what? 
Uh, hang on, four, six, four, twenty-four. Sixteen something pounds each, does it? Hannah's just working it out now. I should just do it in my head, but I'm overexcited today. Sixteen twenty-four each. That's very good value for money. It, well, especially as you're getting one, two, three, yep. four, one, two, three, four, yes. one, two, three, four. And if you do EPP, mm -hmm. these would be fantastic, wouldn't exactly they? Exactly what I was going to oh, say. Oh, sorry. So, no, but you're right. Mm -hmm. Because for EPP, to have these nested shapes, and especially if you're starting with EPP, and the very small pieces oh, are a little bit intimidating for yep. you, to do them yeah. a little bit larger and practice that, it's absolutely incredible. Uh, and you can use the shapes to... Do 3D yeah, yeah. So you as well do, if, if you, you want do EPP, to. Do your cardboard or your card or your with one and your fabric mm -hmm. with the other. What are these? So these are these little, just little dog toys, a little um, oh, I want, little oh. hanging, little hanging. You know, if you want to hang something on the on the kitchen cupboard door, it's an apple core, isn't it? So it's just like home decor. Okay, I've got a throne on my downstairs toilet like this. Just have like, you? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, Ali made it for me, but yeah. Anyway, uh, so at sixty four ninety eight, you get all four of them. Mm. And look at uh, how much saving? Oh, 78, 79 pounds and a few pennies saving. That's it's incredible. Great. I mean, they're great just for nesting and just for doing, you know, for putting your shapes together precisely. But actually, EPP for me is what I use this for. I love this design, the clamshell. I think it's absolutely glorious. I'd never even, I would never consider trying to cut that out myself. No? It just isn't going to work for me. If you do the Joe Carter, now, if you do the Joe Carter Panda design, which was in last oh, month's Simply it. Sewing, yeah. right? You could do your template out of that one, yes. your fabric out of that one, fold it over, press it over, and they're all done for you. All done. It's just, they're just a great, these are a useful tool yes. that you're going to go back to time and time yeah. again for small projects, for large projects, for EPP, for shapes, for applique, for 3D construction, if that's what you want to do. Oh, here you go. Yes, exactly. Charlie, look. And there's the elongated hexagon there. Yeah, and then the other elongated hexagon. And there's the hexi. jewel there. The jewel over hearts. here. Yeah. There's another one. What's the other one? Oh, the, oh the then the apple core was that one there. Yeah. But we usually, we, the, also with this, with this jewel one, oh, it's here. This cushion, we usually have that mm. cushion here, don't we? That cushion's beautiful. Imagine doing that in gemmed colours and everything. Be very, It very would rich. be absolutely gorgeous. I, I use these a lot. They're just a very, very useful tool to go back to time and again. Yeah. Really right, now clamshell on its own. Sorry, <laughs> we do one of those. Clamshell on its own. Now, I did say they were available on their own. Clamshell on its own there. Graphics coming in. Okay, now, remember I was just saying about the... Um, I'll do this first, right? People checking out on this already, and then I'll read that message. 19.99. You see, now, that's still a brilliant price. More affordable to buy the bundle. It is. But, 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 19.99. Right. Uh, Liz says, I had a problem with my Gemini, and it was out of warranty. Sent it to Gemini John. Was a bit concerned about it. Um, it was sent there and back. The rep they repaired it, and they got new plates. Very happy, as I find my Gemini is a game player. So that's like the customer service side. It's all very, and it's all very well. We, we're paid to be here, right? Yep. Well, I am. I don't know if you are, but I thought you'd do it for love. I do. But do you know what I mean? We're salesmen. That's yes. what, essentially, we are salesmen. So we stand here and we tell you the pr pros, well, just the pros, right? Um, these are people who've bought it. Yes. So it, take their word for it. Yes. I mean, you can trust us. Yes. Let's trust us as a salesman. But do you know what I mean? It's like, these are people who've bought it and they're saying these and, good and things. And their experience. Yeah, yeah. Yes, And it's exactly. so easy this day and age for people to go, this was bad, this was bad. It's really easy to write a complaint letter, it isn't is. it? I'm so good at them now. I'm very good at yeah? them. Yeah, but it's not so good. People don't write and go, oh, I've got brilliant service no. today, or oh, I've got this, or I've got that. So it's for people to text in and message in and uh, do fee-foos and everything and say good things about everything. Also, the fee-foo system that we have, we're not allowed to delete. If somebody sends a bad one in, we're not allowed to delete it. No. Nope. So all the fifus you see are, are real fifus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, nineteen ninety-nine. Quarter of the stock's gone already on its own. Elongated hexi next. There we go. Lovely. I love these. Do you know you can make a little purse with this if you want to? It's great. There's so many because these are a nice size. They can actually be in individual projects yeah. as well. Half price again, please. Here's me making demands now. 19.99. Who do you think you are, Leanne? Nobody. 
So you fly in, you, you, before COVID, you used to fly around the world, didn't you? Doing yes, I did, thing? yes. And I'm, I'm going back in May for the first time since COVID. Oh. So I'm going to the factory um, who makes our Gemini machine to see all of the people there and just thank them for the great work they did on the Gemini 2 because I haven't been able to see them. Um, and I, do you know, I've got my own bathroom there, John. It stays locked. So it's I'm been locked there. for four years. It's been locked for four years. They clean it for me going. But it's kept because obviously it's an English one because I'm, I'm a little bit sensitive and I can't, I don't like to use the traditional ones. I find that difficult. I've got stories to tell you about We're that. We're not going to do it now this morning, though. You might be so able to I'm not going to tell you the story because it's before lunch and you really don't need to know that. But anyway, a pretty catastrophic and damaging experience. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I can keep doing this. And they're like, it's okay, we'll just build you a loo. So I've got my own throne. In the factory, I'll show you the picture. I've got it on my phone. All right, you're not um, sitting on the throne. I'm not actually right. sitting on it, but there, it stays locked. Yeah, also, you need to, you need to know, uh, Leanne, is that you're not like. No, I don't want this to sound rude now, but you're not like all the other. You're not the like the other demonstrators from. They're they're expert. They're gorgeous, but they're, they're gorgeous and they're expert. But you are like a develop head of development or something my like that. My job aren't you? title is global head of product development. Oh, sorry, so global global I'm head. Global of head of product development. So, so, uh, so I'm not I'm not dissing any others at no, all no, no. because they're all they're brilliant. At their, they're all mm -hmm. expert. They do. But you are quite high up the ladder at Crafters Companion. It's not. You know what I mean? It's kind I do. Of, I so I manage I'm, I'm, all not, of... I'm not wording this properly. So I think, the, I think the difference is they are professional the crafters. Put the graphics in, get me out of they're, they're professional crafters. They're experts yes, yes. in the application. Yeah. Um, I've talked to you about the fact that some of these things I can't do very well myself. But what I can do is develop projects to solve problems. Mm. I enjoy crafting. I love to craft. My two loves are paper craft and... Uh, crochet yeah. and then I dabble in lots of other things so I've done some dressmaking with Jean I've done some quilting I've done some applique I've done some English paper piecing I try those things I'm not expert at any of them but I love trying I'm a I'm very much an eclectic gather of craft yeah, 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 yeah. I like to craft but actually what I love more than anything is developing products that solve problems well like the wheels on you on like your, um... the wheels on me so yeah or the bus go round and round. Um, yeah, so it's for me, it's problem solving and it's also uh, bringing experience to the masses for people who, like me, want to be able to do it, want to be able to do it well, but maybe don't have the skill or the time, or actually people who just want to do it quicker and yeah. faster. And Which is why you don't see Leanne experience. very often no, on the show, product. because she just comes on for special occasions, yes. because she's globally developing, you know what I mean? <laughs> do you get your own office? You've got your own office at Newton Nature. Mm -hmm. I used to go to Sarah's office and do all yeah. my Facebook lives from there. And people thought that was my office. Did they? That's so funny. With all the with all the glittery rose wallpaper behind me. Yeah. And, uh, the things on the floor, the, the um, dragon's den things on yes. the floor, used to give me away a bit. Right, Apple Core. No, oh, now it's limited on its own. And it goes. Oh. Oh, that's that's wow. Okay, do it. Just do it. Just do it. At nine ninety nine, nine pounds and ninety nine pence. That's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, single figures already. Right, let's just quickly do the bundle. Oh, yes. Oh, we've gone over the time. Sorry. That's your fault for talking to me. <laughs> there you go. No, not yet. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> there you go. I'm getting ahead of myself. 100, how much should it be? 144 pounds, this one should be. And 96 pence. Over 55% saving on that one. Beautiful. Now. Okay. This is what I was using when we were cutting the fabric, when we yeah. did our uh, layers of fabric, our eight layers of fabric with the Gemini. I think anybody who wants to do anything with a circle in any kind of soft craft format, get the dies. Yes. Because you're, ne you're never going to get a precise circle. If I'd love to see it if you can. If you can massive kudos to you i haven't met anybody who can cut a perfect circle no. uh now 24.99 well obviously that's going to go to uh 25 12 pound 50 50 percent off 12 pound 50 oh no leanne did you make this happen what yeah yeah she said because it's yeah. e because it's essential we all how need many circles, circles am I getting i'm just there? counting these for you one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah so there they are so they, they you've got nine have you got one open oh yeah there we go so you go from one inch up to five inch circle. Look. Oh, sorry, I'll put that back under there. So Let's see. put it under a plate. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> Six ninety nine. Now you can use them for applique. You can use mm -hmm. them for Suffolk puffs. You could use them for brilliant for that. For yeah, puffs. Suffolk Absolutely puffs at uh, all different sizes. Yeah, uh, reverse applique. All sorts of things like that. You could. Use I use these on. smaller ones to cover buttons. Yep. 
and so you get that lovely circle and it all tucks in nicely. Uh, so many different uses. I actually also cut out these pieces for applique and make things like uh, little snowmen and little robins because you can cut a piece off. So anything that you can do with a freehand cut circle, you can do it so much more efficiently with a die cut circle. And don't forget you can use cut these cut felt as well. Yes. They can cut cork. They, Sarah's Denim. got two sheets, hasn't she? Yes. Like, uh, you can even cut um, Coke can. Uh, aluminium. No, not Coke, uh, fizzy drink cans. Fizzy drink cans, aluminium cans yeah, we it. can cut canvas you can cut burlap you can cut denim you can cut cotton duck you can cut balsa wood you can cut wood veneer um, you can cut your vellum you can cut four leather real leather suede the list goes on and on these and are going to sell out at 6.99 these are going to sell out vinyl glitter fusible fabric all of those things right the triple plate pack the, the big size the big size uh, there's only four not checked out. I, I don't know what she's doing. Here. There's only four not checked out. Uh, right, we're going for a quick break now because we've got to clear this table and get all of the nine o'clock goodies out on the table now. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you back here in about four minutes. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your App Store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? 
then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. I swear those breaks get quicker and quicker and quicker. They do, don't uh, they? Now, if you saw something like this in a department store, you'd think, oh, that's gorgeous. I could never yeah. make anything like that. Look at the professional finish with all the um, yeah. eyelets and all of that and the different kind of styles of bag and everything like that. Well, you can make your own uh, with a special deal, with a special deal. So the main item of this uh, auction is the eyelet tool because that's what makes and finishes the, 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 the actual finished item, doesn't it? does. It? That's what yours will look like when it arrives. Let me move it out of the way, because this is one that we, there's already open. We've got it open, so you can see inside. And I love to show you inside here, because it really does make that look and feel very professionally yeah. done. You've got the tool, uh, which is a really robust... You, it's not, it doesn't feel flimsy. It's no. a good, quality, professional tool. You've got the little screwdriver, so that you can take on and off the correct pieces. And then you've got the set... Um, and the the dies the dies yep. to be able to knock the hole through yes. as well. Yeah. So you get so, the so correct you make hole. a hole, but you yes. can also uh, put the eyelets in Clamp using these. Yeah. Yes. So it professionally finishes on the yeah. back. Let me show you on the back of one of these. So you make the hole at the correct size, and then you put the eyelet front and back, and then look, you snap it. it squeezes it into place so all of the fabric is encased which means there isn't going to be any fraying and you can't see any little flies eyelashes or yeah. horrible pieces coming out of there because it really just feels like a professionally manufactured eyelet and it makes that very 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 achievable and then you've got all of the pieces in here you've got the gold the silver and that antique um, okay, and, and yeah, the yeah. screwdriver's helping them. And also, this don't be thinking, oh, I have really bad dexterity. Sorry, no. Because no, this it. is actually, because of the big spring, it's got that, the, uh, I don't know what you call it's it. It's supported, the... it's got that soft movement, so you don't need pressure in your hand to do it. Yes. You, you don't have to have the strength in your hand to be able to close that because this does it for you. It's a very soft and gentle movement. Yes, yeah. and, and, and it's you... not like you've got to bang it with hammers no. or anything like that. The, the, it's got a fulcrum. I don't know what it's all called, the fulcrum effect and all that yes. sort of stuff. So yeah. I, what I do when I'm using it is um, I've got a smaller hand, so I don't tend to do it like this. I hold it vertical and I use two hands and do that. Right. Um, and so that just makes that simpler for mm -hmm. you so you can just hold it with your fingers it really is great the little screwdriver is for this little piece here so you get all of the tools and that's to put the hole punch or the eyelet set inside so you screw it open pop inside the piece that you want to pop in let's yeah. just say i'm going to pop this in for now why not um that goes in there and then you screw this in just to and hold that it holds place. it in place yes so you get all of the little tools oh. in there oops dropped it yeah. out I'll uh, do it because I'll waste time. But you see, you get everything you need. Yeah, but now, $59.96, right? The bundle isn't just this. Now, I've seen little machines like this go for way over £80 pounds oh, on yes. their own. Oh, okay? yes, yes. And without the eyelets and without... Uh, you and get without the, the dyes. storage the box. Eyelets. Right, but then, but then, in this bundle, there's also the pattern or the templates for all of these bags that I just showed you. Now, this isn't a Gemini machine. This is not a Gemini machine. These are made from this, um, I want to say silicon. It's, it's, oh, you it's developed like, it. It's you a mylar. Yeah, it's mylar. a mylar. Right. So it's a really robust uh, template material, which it, it, it can't be ripped. The only way you're going to damage this is if you take a pair of scissors to it, and you're not going to do that. So we've got all of the... Um, little places here which you're going to use your heat erasable it doesn't even have to be heat erasable because you're going to cut on the line with your whatever your marking is you go through the pieces we tell john that's beautiful can i just i'm doing say, it like the picture yeah i mean mark we need to pull your drawstrings in a bit oh sorry yeah um now <laughs> now can i just say john <clears throat> i think this might be controversial but oh, i'm going to go. say it anyway sometimes when you see bag patterns and you see handmade bags I think to myself, I wouldn't wear that walking down the high street. Even you? Even me. Non-fashion consciously, and I think, I just don't know if I could. That, yeah. that feels to me something, that to me looks like something that is homemade. Yeah. 
how and there's, there's a difference a between homemade and handmade uh, but when you see these templates with these bags these feel like fashion usable items that i would be proud to wear on the high street mm. but actually if you're selling at craft fairs yeah. to be able to sell these you'll sell more because they look handmade not homemade we also have this sense? fabric we've got this fabric yes. coming up it's later on this hour i oh, will do it next we're next but it's like a faux suede it's a vegan suede yes. but just explain how this yes works. so what you've got is all of the um shapes that you need to be able to make the bag and for this one the correct size it's the correct size yep. and seam allowance included so you don't need to add extra seam allowance on or anything like that. For this bag shape that John was modelling, yeah. we can see here, this is the big outer size, and it says place on the fold. So it shows you the grain of the fabric, and it shows you place on the fold. And then you draw around it, and it tells you cut two from the outer fabric, cut two from the lining fabric, cut two from wadding, optional if you wanted to have it or not, cut two from medium weight interfacing, optional, depending on the, the structure fabric. that yeah, you want yeah, to have yeah. in that bag so we give you all of the um yeah this one's got this one hasn't got any wadding but it's got interfacing it's interfacing it's so interfacing. it's a lighter yeah. weight yeah. Yeah. yeah now we can see here this is the grain line and then this piece here there is the grain line so we're showing you where to put on the fold and which way the grain should be going all the way we're telling you what it is and how it should be used and we're also giving you the places to do your punching for your eyelets. How brilliant. So eyelet that? placement on there as well. But that's only one of them. Yes. You're getting all three of these. So you're getting that one. You're getting the, um, uh, where's the name? The drawstring crossover bag and the drawstring My backpack. Favorite. Something for everybody there. But it should be 59 96 which I think already is mm -hmm. too low a price. Myself, personally, but there you go. Uh, how much? Oh, 39.98. So basically what they've done is they've said, pay for this one and the eyelets yep. and then get these two for free. Yes. It's over 30%. You're basically getting two of those for free. This one, if you're making this one and you're selling a... Um, can I just also cover that off? Actually? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. Because uh, our angel policy at Crafters Companion for all of the things that we originate ourselves is knock yourself out. Is that, so is that what it is? Knock yourself knock out. Knock yourself out. Make and sell as many as you like. We actively encourage it and we want you to make as much profit as you can from making and selling the things where you've bought the, I the items from us. Unless, we want you to do it. Unless you John Lewis's and make 50,000 of them, then Tara will have a conversation with you. She might have a chat, yeah. but uh, no, I'm talking about cottage industry yeah. Yeah, crafting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really want you to do that because that's what makes you know for some of us the joy of craft mm. and how we pay to continue craft. Well, either to continue or if you're raising a charity yes, or a school charity, or a church skills. or yourself no, you know times are hard aren't yeah, they if knock you yourself can, out no, that's our yeah. angel policy now can i just show you in the t in the with each template you also because you get all of those instructions on the piece themselves but then we give you the full construction so you can see here highlighted in red we're showing you the separate template pieces so you know what you're cutting out then we say uh, what the seam allowance is that we've included for you. We tell you where to put it. We tell you how to fold it. We show you how to draw around it. We then show you how to do all of the assembly step by step all the way through so that you get a beautiful completed bag. So we hold your hand every step of the way. Exactly. And someone who just asked, they're 12 millimetre. The eyelets are 12 millimetre size, 12 millimetre size. So, so you get this. Yours will come beautifully packaged like yes. that. Sorry, Leanne. It's OK. And then you get the template for that bag, that bag. And we haven't even seen that bag, that cute little bag there. I love that one. The backpack is brilliant um, as a changing bag for new mums. Oh, is this it? This is brilliant as a changing bag. And to be able to just pop it on your back where you've got all of the things in then there. Then you've got both arms free for the baby. You've got yeah. both arms free for the baby. It's brilliant as uh, a changing bag. And you can you can also customise these because if you want to put, you know, if you've made bags before and you're an experienced soft crafter or even an intermediate a confident beginner you could put a different pocket on the front mm. of their slip pockets you could put some slip pockets inside if you oh wanted yeah yeah to. definitely a zipped pouch if you wanted to mm. do that um i made a separate take out zip pouch for baby wipes and nappies that go in there uh, because i'm a grandma now <gasps> so it's brilliant to be able to granny uh, Leanne. Uh, granny, Are you granny or nanny grandma oh grandma mm. oh. grandma I love it. Oh. It's the best job in the world. Is it? Mm -hmm, it really is. I mean, it's exhausting. I'll not fib. Exhausting because they're not eating, they're pooping or running around and making a mess. But... What is it about you glorious. taking shooting your toilet in China? Honestly, yeah, it is. I mean, right <laughs> in the family, what can I say? They're starting young. Uh, it really is. It's glorious. I absolutely adore it. Do they live nearby? 
So they used to live in Windsor and I live in the northeast. Um, my son was in the military. Uh, he's left the military and pursued a different career because he want, doesn't want to be a distant dad. All oh, life history you're getting now. Yeah. So actually, they've just moved back to the northeast. They've been oh. home for 12 weeks. They've bought a hall, yeah. a house, and they're a three minute walk from me. <gasps> oh, instant. Um, just, Childminder. Uh, yes, I was all weekend. I've been looking after them. They went to a friend's wedding, so I've had them all weekend. It's absolutely glorious. I love it. Aww. I just can't get enough of it. It's my, my friend Dulcie's from the northeast, and she's got, just got a film. She does costumes film like I used to, and she's literally just got a film that's based in where she grew up near concert around oh, there and fantastic. everything. Fantastic. So, That's uh, not far from me. Oh, well, oh. It's like 10 minutes from me. Oh, wow. So all around there, they're going to be filming all the way around there wow. and everything. But she said one of the locations is like her old school and another location is a farm that her uncle owned and things like that. And it's all a very How kind gorgeous. of emotional thing for her. Yeah. So That's I expect where I live. to see a lot of zombies around your way. Oh very gosh, soon. I can't wait. Right, so I can't take. I'll not be walking the dog. I'll not be walking the dog later on a night then. Jim. No, I, I wouldn't. Literally keel I, over. I they'll wouldn't all be sleep. in the pub. <laughs> Oh, please be careful. Loads of these Gosh. in baskets. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out on that one. Right, let's do... Okay. Yeah, let's do the vinyl now. The Matt Effect vinyl. Uh, not vinyl. Uh, is it called oh, vinyl? Can we have the bags back? Leather, leather, leather. Yes. There we go. Right, so... You get 25 centimetres of each one. So you've got the blush pink, the navy... Hey. Should we get one out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look. So, it's enough to make a bag. Yeah. Um, or, or, but, but, uh, so, it's faux leather. Yes. It feels like... Do you know what it feels like? It feels like, like a really, really expensive um, chamois or um, yes. new buck or something new like buck that, or something it? like that. Do you know what I love with this is this backing? Because, actually, with a cool line and a piece of cotton over the top, you can iron it to take out the creases yeah. you can wash it at 30 degrees no, no problem at all yes you can it's machine washable at 30 degrees with a non-biological powder um and then of course you can stitch confidently as well because it hasn't got that this is a soft touch fabric backing it's not that vinyl backing that pierces and yes yeah, yeah so you can do your top stitching on this confidently as well it isn't going to perforate it's going to look absolutely beautiful if i had to show you there there's some top look at the top stitching on here yeah look how beautiful that is it just finishes it off. It isn't piercing it. It feels gorgeous. Yeah. Um, it just is high quality. And it's not it going to fray as well if you've got really raw edges. And it's beautifully it. soft touch. It's yeah. really, it feels like quality. It really does. Right, saving over 25% by this year and a free pack of clips. Because obviously you want to clip this rather. Oh, I thought that was the price. 24.99. £24.99. So you get the pink, the navy, and the olive, and the clips. Right, OK, if you checked out before, because loads of people checked out before the crash happened, you'll pay, everyone pays the final low price. Every, so don't be worrying, thinking, oh, I got it when it was 34 96 No, nobody pays that. 24 99 And you don't want to be pinning it, you see, because you... You can pin it, but not where it's going to be seen. So no. if you're going to pin, pin within your seam allowance. Correct. But use your clips, because you get free clips with it. Twenty four ninety nine. That's really, really good price. That one. Loads in baskets. We're having a lot of people, lots of people putting things in baskets this morning, and then slow to check out. But you know, that's your your prerogative. Your shopping. Just don't want you to miss out. I always warn you if you're going to miss out. Uh, twenty four ninety nine. Oh, <laughs> God, she's finished with that. That's on your side, I think, isn't it? It is. Right. So which one, Han? Oh, all of it. No, hang on, that's twice. I've got that twice, that's what it says. There you go. There we there go. You go. There that's we it. are. That's it. I've got those. I must have those on their own or something then. So what you get in this bundle is you get the raindrop wristlet pattern. You get the cube crossover bag pattern. You get a touch of velvet peacock, which is half a metre. Then you get... Triangular D rings, normal D rings, and swivel clips. And but these are the rainbow ones. Oh, are they? Yeah. Let me show you. These are the they're like hen's teeth, aren't they? Look they're like what? Hen's teeth. Why? You hen's can't te find them. Oh, I thought you don't meant have... hen's had funny looking teeth like that. <laughs> no, you can't find them. You can look forever, but you can't find yeah. them. But they're quite big, aren't they? Didn't yeah. That big. They're a nice size, John. They really yeah. are. So you've got a good like for example here. Look where we've got to fit those three pieces of fabric on to do that. They're a lovely size and they're in that rainbow and they're all the same. I was going to say, we're used to seeing normal D-rings. Yes. We're not used to seeing the triangular one. Right, so if you bought all those together, that'd be £80.94. 
Oh, half price. So that'd be £40.50 or something like this, isn't it? Oh, it's more than half price. More than half price, rounded down to thirty nine ninety nine. So you're getting the pattern, the pattern, or the template, I should say. The template, yes. the template, hardware, and those. Oh, they're dies. Multimedia dies. So you'll need your Gemini machine for these then. Oh, there you go. Yes, there. So you can see we give you the shape. So the base panel die, the main panel, the wrist strap, and the strap. So you just follow, and the instructions are all inside. You cut them on the fold, and then they're precise, and you stitch them together. Wow. And I don't know about you, John, but cutting those pieces precisely to get a wristlet like this, that would be a bit of a nightmare. Oh, also, it's not just cutting, though, because uh, uh, on a fabric line, it's going to move anyway. It's going to move. Right? But, but also, uh, you could cut one, and it might not be the same as the other one. And right. then when you come to sew them together they're going to move exactly exactly perfect you do need a little zip with that one i just noticed there's a zip yeah. there you'll need a zip for that one you will but you can use zips on a roll if you've been getting that, that yeah you they're fantastic because... oh actually can you do something for me right of course i can we've only got cream white and black we have right is that all you've got because when no, i we've first got we've got gray yeah and we've got well we've got peacock purple we want we all the colors we want right? all the colors and also remember when lockdown properly hit in and i had to be sent home and i couldn't come that's to work. right and every tuesday morning i had to sell something for my dining room she sent me zips the first week which is wrote zips on the run and i was like who's gonna tune in on tuesday two and a half grand in 10 minutes <coughs> and zips i was like roll. oh because they're genius yeah yeah but i had ones that were peach with like uh, like yes. Pattern. I've, keep asking Sarah. We need them here. We need. Them oh here. well, we you don't need them. to ask Sarah. I'll sort it out for you. Straight to yes, straight to her. Straight, straight to the horse's mouth. Yeah. I will sort. I didn't out want to say that. Yes, that's well, true. Yeah. Uh, I will sort out all the colours for you, John. Perfect. Because no because the black when we have the black, the cream, and the yes. white on, they fly out. Of course they do. But on something like that, you, you want, want a nice blue and things, don't you? you? Do. Uh, receive my faux leather and patterns, and they are brilliant. Says Joy in Cambridgeshire. There you go, Joy. Thank you. Thank you. Right, okay, so that's that bundle there, which is half price, it's better than half price. Uh, we're going to repeat what? The low tack tape, because you'll need that in your machine. Now, these had sold out, but. Um, Especially with the velvet, it, when oh, you're yeah, using dyes. Definitely, mm. definitely. Um, we'll read, we can redo it because we, they sold out, we've got more in stock. They sold out in seconds, absolutely seconds. So I'm just going to move you out the way, Leanne. Right, now you know the price these are going to, because at the moment, right, you, you get, basically you're getting two, two. Nine pound ninety-eight. Nine pounds and ninety-eight for pounds. All you get those two for free. Eww. And you get three in a packet. That's my and price. they all come, every single one comes on a dispenser. That's twelve rolls. That's that's like Well yeah, look, it's less than a pound like, a roll. It's like seventy pence, yeah. something like that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Did you do the maths there as I well? I tried. Right? I don't know if I was successful. Yeah. Nine pound ninety-eight. Nine pounds and 98 <laughs> pence there. Uh, loads you missed out earlier. You get all of those, so you're paying for those and you're getting those for free. Okay, right, be careful, be careful, be careful. We've only been able to get another 100, which I know sounds a lot, but the amount of people who are watching this morning, they're gonna fly out. They are. Beautiful. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep you updated. We'll keep, I just, they weren't meant to even be there, so we'll keep you updated. Right, vinyl, fa vinyl fabric, I can see that. Now, no, right, I've, I've swapped it, right? So this morning, before you arrived, right, we were unwrapping, uh, not unwrapping, Kat had done it. Oh, can I just say, Kat, you did a brilliant job with the trolleys yes. last night. They were absolutely Thank fantastic. You, but, so this one here, this is glitter vinyl, right? This one here, uh, when we got, don't look, don't look, don't look. When we got the packet out, I said, oh, I'm, this is a yeah, so I said to Hannah, blimey, this vinyl's brilliant, you can't see a thing. And she went, John, there's nothing. There's nothing in the packet. <laughs> <laughs> nothing in the packet. This is what you actually get. But the box had nothing in. I was going, crikey, that's really good. Uh, that's vinyl. crystal clear. <laughs> <laughs> you get both of these, basically. Right, so what would I use these for? So I absolutely adore these. I've got, I think I've got a bag over here I'm going to show you. This for me is for see-through panels in your bags when yeah. you want to make a see-through yeah. piece. Um, and it's essential that you have a good quality one because if it's thin and papery, it's just going to perforate and tear. It isn't going to, it's cloudy. You can't really see through it. It doesn't feel quality. This is a good, thick, stitchable sort yeah, of yeah, vinyl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now here, so this is the glitter one. So oh, see, right, brilliant. A slip pocket on this uh, little cosmetic purse means that you can see, you know, that might be your little 
you know, your spools or if it's cosmetic, yeah. your brushes, whatever it is. Um, is it today we've got here. those pouches that join together? Is that in, in that pile there? So that's, no, that's not here. Oh, okay. Uh, that might be not on today, but I know we've done pouches. That... We have. Oh, there you but go. But we haven't got the sample, but we've got the No, pattern. no, 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 no. But I, I tell you who's got that. Becky Swan's got that. She needs so much makeup. She needs all three of those. Anyway, um, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> um, but that's where you can use it as well, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. That's so it's what see I was through. Thinking of, yeah. If you can see it, you'll use it. And so it's <laughs> if brilliant. You can see it, I couldn't see it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> if you can see it, you'll use it. So it's for doing that, that clear panel. And with the glitter in, it's just to give it that little bit of extra. Exactly. And it's not too much glitter, it's just no. that shimmer. Now you get a lot more of the glitter than you do of the plain look. Mm. Uh, is that the price? Okay. Hang on, isn't that 9 99 on its own? That's why there wasn't one in the box. Because you're not meant to get it. You're not meant to get it, basically. You will, though, you will. So you get the vi... Oh, oh loads, of, half the stock's gone. I'm not surprised. So you're paying for the glittery one and you're getting the see-through one for free. Now, my top tip for you is... Oh, yes. When you're sewing this, just make your stitch a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So it's like with any kind of... Um, non-movable material, things that aren't woven, yep. then you just want to have a little bit of a long stitch length yes. so that your stitches aren't too close together and you don't perforate. Do not use a leather needle. I've seen so no. many people about vinyl and PU go, oh, use a leather needle. That's no, the don't. worst thing you can yes. use because a leather needle's got a faceted end, so it's actually slicing a yes. hole through the fabric, which when you're doing leather, you need sort of things to stitch it, right? What it does with this, it's exact, it makes it like an old-fashioned stamp. They're not like that anymore, yep. they because they're on sticky pads, Correct. aren't they? But if you remember the old-fashioned, you, when you... Perforate. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's what it will do. And then, of course, what will happen is you'll make the bag look lovely. Yep. You'll put something in there and the whole the pocket, pocket will come away. Yeah. whole pocket will rip yes. away. So regular needle, universal needle, yep. longer stitch length. And uh, use a new one. I mean, you're supposed to use a new one for yes. every uh, project, but use a new one straight away. So it's, yeah. You and can a bigger, put a Teflon and a foot stitch. on if you want. Do I want? A Teflon foot. Yes, you're not allowed to call it that. But oh, you're you not? Well, one of them non-stick feet. Yeah. One of them. Yeah. Um, if you haven't got a non-stick foot, I will use a bit of tissue paper. Oh, you just about to take my top <laughs> If you haven't got a Teflon foot or non-slip foot, just get some tissue paper and put it on top and stitch through and then just tear it off because the tissue paper will then perforate. Just, just comes away. And then if there's any... This is my little tip, which you shouldn't really do. If there's any little bits of tissue still in the stitches, get a cotton tip and do it like that. Just dampen it and don't tell anyone you've done that. No. Mind you, my nan... Or you could have a little pot of water and just dip it in. Lots of, how many people have got a pot of water on the table? Well, if, well I mean... My nan. Maybe it's a gin and tonic. My nan used to be the cook <laughs> for the Duke of Westminster back in the Did day. Did she? Yeah, years and years. In service. She was in service. Incredible. That thing. But, um, but she'd make a cake and if it broke up, she'd go... <laughs> <laughs> She'll then never know. <laughs> As the same nan that used to wash her budgie. That's the same one. <laughs> right, OK. That, moving on. That's a euphemism I didn't expect to hear on a sewing street <laughs> show. <laughs> okay, right, OK. So... A actual get, bird. A, actual budgie. An actual budgie, right? We'd go round on a Saturday morning and, and we, they do not do this at home. And the budgie used to fly around the, yeah. you know, and she'd get it like this. She'd get some soapy water and she'd wash it in the soapy water like that and she'd roll it in a towel and then let it off of... <laughs> it was clean, it was happy. Didn't have any mates in its feathers. Didn't have anything, it had no feathers. <laughs> right, where am I going now? Where am I going? Th th Dor feather storage sewing templates, please. Here we go. Right, so I get all of these. You do. Right, so again, now this is going back to the Mylar. Mm -hmm. What you're not doing yes. that for? Mm -hmm. I'm just, just agreeing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just going to open it, Kat. Just going to open it. Well, because I think you need to see what you're getting, don't you? I uh, know. I do think it's important to see what you're getting. So she ripped half of it and then thought, well, I better just take the rest of it off with a pair of scissors. <laughs> I did. Right, right. $29.97. So that makes them a tenner each, doesn't it? That, which seems, doesn't seem enough, to be honest. But uh, that's not your price today. So you get, basically you're getting one for free. You're getting one for free, look. Which is fantastic. Yeah. So all, it's that mylar again. So it's that really robust material. The only way this is going to damage is if you use a pair of scissors on it. Uh, we give you all of the pieces. We show you the grain. We tell you how many to cut from how many different fabrics. We give you all of the spaces. You just... Trace through with a regular biro, a heat erasable pen, however you want to do it, do a chalk marker. Brilliant. You've got this spray 
Yeah, the, the, the pattern spray. Yeah. yeah the, the marker which, spray. If you're impatient like me, mm -hmm. rather than sitting there with a the pen going mm -hmm. like this, you literally put this down, you spray it over, yeah. it's like a white mist, isn't it? And then, then it you lift off. this up, mm -hmm. and all, so you cut round your lines, and you go like that, and it all comes off. Comes away, yeah. You can use that. Whatever that your ages. poison is, you, you still know, do it. Oh, there, just there, paper pattern spray. Oh, has it got coming up later? Oh, the paper pattern spray might be the sticky one. Oh. Oh, let's do it now. Let's, is that definitely the white spray? No, no. That's the paper pattern sticker. That's the one. That yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. Mark away spray. Okay, that's come. I'll do that because it's in a big bundle. It's in a Leanne special bundle coming up in the next hour. Stay so tuned. what was that one that, that you picked, picked up there? The pattern spray. Yeah. You know, the, you know oh. paper, paper patterns, instead of having to pin them down, you spray the back of your paper pattern and you put it down and it will not move. You next get hour. Next no, hour. No, next pins, hour. no next pins required. No pins required. But this one, this one, the, the, the spray, the white spray, this is brilliant. The Mark, Mark Away yeah, spray, that's yeah. the one you would need for this. Brilliant. Or use your heat erasable, use a biro, use a pencil. Oh, yes, yes, it's just, if you're impatient like me, yeah. You're just cutting on the line. You'll cut as many as you need, and then we give you all of the instructions again. We show you red marked the pieces that you're cutting out. We tell you exactly how many to cut of all of the different fabrics. And then we give you the step-by-step -step photographed words and pictures assembly instructions. I am listening. It's which right. makes it very, very easy for you to do. So we give you everything you need. And again, our uh, angel policy with this is knock yourself out. Yeah, make as many as you like. Yes. Uh, you don't even want a... a oh, it's a, it's a thread, does it? It's a craft No, we don't friend. care. No, we don't have to acknowledge us at all. You, it's, so you've used the template, but it's all of your work and yeah. the assembly, your fabric choices, your creativity. So, uh, yeah, just just knock yourself out. That's Brilliant. Policy. So you're getting uh, one for free? You're These getting are the one bags. For free. This, I love this. Having two of the zips like that to do this little... See, if we'd had that lovely turquoise zip on a roll... Yeah, no, what a look. I'll sort it out for you, John. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. And you've got them, you know, they can really fill up with stuff. Uh, they're, they're lovely. They're usable. Brilliant. Yeah. Right. Now, uh, Hannah just wants to recap the, this one because she's a bit okay. worried about stock for this one. This was the eyelet punch with all the eyelets and the three um, bag templates. No. Yeah, yeah, these are templates. These are templates. These yeah. are templates, yeah, these yes. Are templates. Fifty nine ninety six is where this should be. Beautiful. The old won't be opened. Yours will be nice. Yes, I'm just showing you what's inside. Yeah. You've got check out, check out. Loads in baskets. Absolutely loads in baskets. And you're getting two of these for free. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, I'll just take those back. Now, where are we going next then? Yep. I love these. No, not those. Oh, them. Is it them? With the fox? Right. Oh, oh, nothing like that. Treat. You'll get used to Hannah's words. That's all right. Okay. Got it. But this is the... Yeah, 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 yeah. This has been brought forward. This wasn't meant to be in this hour, was it? Right, so let's just talk about this, right? First yeah. of all, before we do anything else, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, you won't mind me saying this, but the, no. you'll know this as Odicote. Yes. Right? And we've always gone, oh, aren't they brilliant, those people at Odif made mm -hmm. Odicote and everything. And it was only when Sarah came on, she went, actually, Leanne invented that with the people, with, from, with the people at Odif. Uh, from Odif, right? Mm -hmm. So what it is, well, you can describe what it is. What, yes. What, do, what, do you, what is it? So it's a waterproofer for fabric. Yes. So I am obsessed with making... Um, we call it oil cloth. It's not oil cloth anymore because it's not coated with oil. But, you know, yes. the vinyl fabric. Yes, yes. And yes. I like to make wipe clean tote bags. I wanted to make, like, little bibs for my granddaughters. Well, it went through a phase where people would buy that fabric from John Lewis's to yes. have as a tablecloth in your kitchen. Yes. And it would cost an absolute a fortune. fortune. And you could only get beige polka dot or red yeah. polka dot. You couldn't get the fabric that you, you loved, loved, that you wanted. Oh, and then Kath Kitson started doing it by the meter, but you paid a lot for that. Yeah. And so you'd have to buy a big piece. And, and I wanted to do smaller projects. I wanted to do a little wash bag or a bib or something like that. Yeah. And so uh, we talk to Odif all the time. They're our good friends. Our sprays, stick away, stick and spray, mark away, all of those things that you see are made for us by Odif um, and are, you know, products that they do for us. We're good friends. So I was talking to Francois, the owner of Odif. In um, French. 
No, in English. His English is exceptional. Uh, you're, and you're not as good as your friend. Uh, bonjour is about where okay, I'm Okay, that's as far. It wouldn't have got yeah. very far then. No, would not have got very no. far. That's it. <laughs> um, and so I was saying, you know, wouldn't it be amazing if we could just make our own? I'm buying it by the meter. It's really expensive. Sometimes I don't want to like the colours. I want to be able to take a piece of Liberty fabric and make a beautiful bib, but I want it to be wiped wipe clean, or I want to make a really lovely little she, she takes house. takes restaurants with her because you know what she's like. Exactly. I've got to put it around my neck because it's all down my she front. I, mean, I was scraping my breakfast off here earlier, John. My winter bix was on there. I was like, oh, that didn't work very well. Um, so, yes, absolutely. And um, Francois said, well, what, what are we going to do? And I'm like, well, we just need to be able to waterproof it. We need to be able to put something on where the fabric is kind of water resistant, if you like. Um, and then it soaks into the fabric and changes the treatment, but still remains flexible and sewable. And so, you don't spoil the fabric. You want and you the don't colours. Spoil the fabric. And yeah, I want yeah. the colours to stay vibrant. I want it to still be movable, flexible. I want it to fold. I don't want it to feel rigid like those ones that you buy on a roll because mm. that has been laminated. Yeah. So it has got that firm feel to it. I want it to be soft. And so we said, well, look, well, let's get the chemist on to the job. So uh, we had several different versions. He would send them to the office. I would test them. Not quite right, Francois. Backwards and forwards several times until we got to this fabric coat which is Audi coat and it works a treat now what you do with this is you apply it and I use an old store gift card or if you've got an out of date credit card or something like that debit card that's what I use to apply it yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, best yeah, way yeah. so you just scoop it out scrape it on with a card on the fabric you don't want it to have you don't want it, it needs to soak in so you don't want to see lumps of it and you don't want to see streaked lines mm -hmm. you're going to put it on so that you can see it no more and it looks damp let it dry fully. You do it like my nan used to do butter on a sandwich. She'd put it all on and then I she'd take it, it off. Put it off again. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. And you will do several coats. And the amount of water resistance changes depending on how many coats you do. And do I have to leave time between doing the first coat let and the dry. second? But, but in, even in between coats? In between coats, let it dry. So don't be trying to uh, fabricate something you need to make that afternoon. No, you, you need, need to... In, in advance, yeah. yes. Definitely in advance. Now, when you're putting a thin layer on and you let it dry, it's just a couple of hours, so it's not long. But yeah. yes, maybe do several things. Plan your project, do several things yeah. at once. Let it dry. Optimum water resistance is three coats. Right. So it just depends. If I was doing a shower jacket, we have done for my uh, granddaughter... That was three coats. If I'm doing a bib, it's three coats. I'm doing something like binding a book. I just want something to be splash resistant. One coat, two coats, you choose. But it means that you can make water resistant and your own laminated fabric, but that doesn't feel stiff and rigid and restrictive. It remains soft and flexible. Yep. has all of that waterproofing pop property. This is the job for you. Okay, so then this is a bundle of three things. So that's one of the three things. What's this then? Uh, fabric stabiliser is incredible because this just keeps things still. So it makes it stiff. It gives it some rigidity, if you like. So if you're wanting to... Oh, so is it like is it like Best Press? Is yes. Is it like a, a, a yes. non-flaky starch? Correct. So it's uh, transform your fabric for easy cutting. So yes. let's say you've got a fabric like a, a satin or something like that, and it's just moving. It's, you, it, you can't catch it. It's moving yeah. away from you. How's it going? It moves away from you, you know what I mean? It's like that, you're like, yeah. try to catch it, you can't. This will give it some rigidity yep. so that you can cut and you can be precise. You can do your pattern pieces around it and they're not a different shape to the shape, yep. shape you thought they were. Um, and then it just washes away. And, and also, if you're going to use your Gemini yes. and you're doing half square triangles and you're not used to sewing on the bias, sometimes, no matter how, the, the Gemini will cut it perfectly. But if you then stretch it on yes. the machine... That's not the Gemini's fault. That's, that's your, your fault. fault. If you've sprayed this on your fabric and ironed it on beforehand, yes. right? Not straight away. Let it dry. We don't. It's not even wet. It's like spray starch it, iron yes. it. Then get your Gemini to cut it. That bias then will stay stable until you've stitched it. Then once it's in the quilt, the first time you wash it, all it's goes, all gone. Isn't it? Yes. Right, so that's that. Just and then the mark. third thing here. Fabric shield is absolutely brilliant because this protects your work. So um, it's almost like... Scotch Guard. Yes, it's almost like Scotch Guard. Um, other, other ones are other available. Other ones are available. But, you know, when you've done a lovely quilt or something like that and you just want to spray it so you don't want splashes or dust or marks or, like, if you put a teacup on it and you get a That's tea right. stain on it, something like that, it will give a shield, yes. an invisible shield, which means when you wash it, those stains are going to come away. Exactly. So it's like, it's like when, it, when you know when you go to buy a new pair of shoes and the cob, not yes. cobblers, the shoe shop always says, oh, you'll need this, this with it. it. And you think, oh, I've got that at home. Stop it. Yes. But, but it, it's for fabric. It it's is. for fabric, so it's brilliant like that. Right, should be 29.97. 50% off this one. 50, half price. Half price. You get all three for 14.98.
They're essentials, aren't they? Yeah, absolute essentials. Can that I say, I point. use this on, um, we got a lovely jewels jacket for my granddaughter. And it's beautiful, but you know, she's just, if there's muck on, there's mud, she'll find it. Yeah. She is a, she's a free spirit and we absolutely encourage her. Does she take after grandma somehow? Maybe, a yeah. little bit, yes. <laughs> uh, She even got my hair. My son oh, will be like, oh, how did I get a daughter that looked like my mother? Bless him. Oh, um, she'll grow out. She it. will, hopefully. <laughs> so um, I spray her clothes with this because it resists. Yeah, yeah. And you can't see it. So if, you know, if you've bought something lovely for them and you don't want them to stay in it and you want it to last, I attack all of their clothes yeah. with this too. Yeah. So it's, re it's very, very usable. Do you know what? Uh, to be honest, and this isn't me being salesman now, but I would multiply this mm. because that will do an awful lot of fabric, mm -hmm. but it's always good to have in the sta in your sock. Make sure you put the top back on yes. because it is a gloopy, I can't open it, but it's a gloopy like. It is. It's like, a, um, yeah, it's, it's not viscous. It's not runny. No. It has substance to it. Flat. A top tip from me is if a um, piece of cling film, yeah. once you've opened film. it, film, piece of cling film over the top and then screw the lid on and that creates a seal for you so that keeps it perfect. Brilliant. This you'll use all the time. All the time. Because, because you know what, if you've got a shirt in the morning that is very cre and you can't get the creases out, you can use that for that as well. Yes, you can. Yeah. <coughs> you can. Okay, and, and apparently over the last few days, Hannah and her, whoever she's been on with have been talking about stabilizers, how important they are and everything. Uh, also, I've got, I've, I've already let the cat out the bag. I'm launching a brand new um, embroidery machine soon. Ooh. And this will be brilliant to stabilize your fabric. It will, yes, absolutely. Well. At 14 98 loads of them. Uh, what are you saying, Han? Oh, too many people. We're gonna ask for some more. I won't let cat have it yet, because we're gonna ask for some more. Uh, is that that one? You sure? <laughs> no, not you. I wasn't picking on you. I was picking on her. <laughs> <laughs> and I got very defensive then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So, what are these then? These are exceptional. Uh, fine. Apart from that. <laughs> so this is everything you need to make these. Oh, different I remember. Projects. There's, there's a panel in there. There's a panel. We're going to open it. And right. Have you a look. open that one first. So we'll open this one because. So hang on. I've got a. Uh, make it, uh, no, hang on, makeup case storage, sewing storage, and cylindrical zip pouch. I'll show you them all in a second. So, this is the cylindrical zip pouch. This right. is the one we're looking at now. So right. that's is that the one the you've un undone there, then? Yes. Oh, you've taken, oh, no. There's something left inside. Oh, thank you. So, it's a cylindrical, so it's a circle. Oh, my, all of the things. Didn't do a very good job of that, did I? Um, so, you've got that lovely thing. It's a bit like a train case. So you've got the little handle on the top. A what case? Train case. A vanity case. Like a train, yeah, a vanity case. And you're not as old as me. A van we used to call them vanity, vanity cases. We would call them train cases. Oh, take on the train? Yes, you used yeah. to take them on the train with all of the, like, the bits in that they needed. Yeah? You know, anyway, when it, when it was powered by that, When it was powered by steam, <laughs> 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 rather than horses and carts. Yeah. <laughs> and so you've got the all of the zip, you've got all of the things inside the fabric. So this is just a beautiful little project. You've got a red polka there, you've got your red floral there, you've got your peach lining, you've got your zip that goes all around the outside. It's wadded inside there as well. So everything you need, you're going to have to find three different fabrics. Your wadding, your zip, your thread, everything you need. Is in the pack, is in the Everything box. you need is in the box. And what we've done is print it so you don't even need a pattern. So we've printed it on a really great quality cotton. And then we've printed the pieces on there. So you're not having to go and find your polka dot piece, your floral piece, your red piece, your zip end, cutting that, your pouch handle. Everything is done. Lining, outer, little zip, pouch, the insides, the tops, everything done for you on a great cotton. You've also got the correct wadding yeah. and what you would do with that is when you've cut out your pieces you put your piece on top and then just go around for your wadding so you've got that in place you've got the right length of zip in there all you need is your thread and then we've given you um, the full instructions on how to assemble and you've got that for all three of the kits okay so that there is the uh, like we just said is the cylindrical zip pouch mm -hmm. this one here is your uh, sewing storage mm -hmm. which if you look inside here all the panel to make all of that. All of that. And it's got a bit of wadding. And you've and, got the button. And you get the bias binding as well. And the bias binding and the button. Get everything. Lots in that one, don't mm -hmm. you? And, then and that the Velcro. One, oh, oh, bit of one touch fastening. Yeah. And then yeah. we've also got the makeup case, which is like a makeup case. Oh. And so you've got the zippy 
uh, the strippy lining inside. You've got your wadding. You've you got the zip to make the couch here. If you preferred the stripey, you could have the stripey on the outside and the heart on the Yes, of course. You could just make it inside out, yeah. 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 You've got the pouch to bake in the lid there. You've got the little zip to do that so you can keep your brushes separate from your pieces. And then the zip goes all the way around. Everything you need and all of the instructions. Now, first of all, brilliant for beginners because mm. you don't want a big project. No. Sometimes you just want to sit down one afternoon and make something, don't yes. you? Yes. You haven't got to source the fabric. You haven't got to work the pattern out or anything. It's all in there. You get three kits. Now, normally, these would be $44.97. If you bought these separately on a normal day, individually, it would be, I'd be going $44.97, please. Today, first numbers are two. Over 35% saving there, $28.98. And top tip from me. Oh, yes. And I know I shouldn't probably be saying this. Oh, I know what you're going to say. Because, you know, really, we should want you to come back and buy another kit. Um, however, when you've cut out your pieces. <laughs> I'm glad them, you're saying this. When you've cut out the pieces, put them onto some tracing paper. Go around them, make yeah. yourself a pattern. Exactly, because you've got the instructions. You've got the instructions, and then you can make them from any fabric you like yeah. for everybody. So, you know, just be a crafty, frugal crafter. I've said it, so you can do it. Just put your pieces onto a piece of tissue, and then you can continue making them. Is Sarah watching today? Well, you might have a job when you get home. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. I've said it. There you go. That's what. I, if I was you at home... Let's just, uh, that's what I would be doing. Yeah, no, I agree. I was going to say it. And then yes. I thought, when you said, no. like, oh, thank goodness I'm off that one. I, if I was you at home, that's what I would be doing because I'd want to make some in my own fabric choices. Exactly. And if you are making for selling for school fairs, for charity, etc., it would be really mean if we said buy the kits to make them all. Just, you know, put them on a bit of tracing paper, get the pan. There you go. There's your box back. Uh, 28 98 Okay, over the half toxic baskets, please check out, please check out, please check out on that one. Uh, right, now, to these two little packets of clips here. Oh, oh hang on, there you go. Right, so two packs of clips, how many? One, two, three, four, five, 20 clips. Oh, hang on, there's no graphics, hang on, wait a minute. I'll blame Michael. Oh, Michael. Oh, he's very confused. There you go. Here they come. So, £9.98, 20 clips. Uh, how would you fancy just paying for that one? Go on, then. You've gone very quiet. I, I, I'm just having a minute. OK. <laughs> 4 99 <laughs> I love a quilting clip. Yeah, exactly. I organise my ribbon with quilting clips. Pardon? Yeah. So, you know, like when your ribbon drawer gets an absolute flipping nightmare and it all gets knotted in with each other, I, I roll them and then clip it with a bit of paper on for the colour and where I got it from. And then my ribbons are all nicely in a little in lines, each one held still with a quilt and clip. Is your whole house like that? I'm terrible. Yeah, I like to be organised. A place for everything, everything in its place is my motto. Yeah, yeah, that's fine in your sewing room, but what about in the lounge and things? Everywhere. Like so, what happens when kids come round to play? I'm, I'm twitching, I get a little bit, yeah, and then when they go, I have to put it all right again. But I've got them, so we've got a box for the Lego, a box for the building bricks, a box for the musical instruments, a box for the crayons. So it's part of play, like when you know they're going home in 20 minutes' time, let's part of the play up. is, let's tidy up, yes, let's play get, tidy up. Who can get it in the fastest? Go! <laughs> <laughs> right, well, sorry, Han, where am I going next? Oh, I know, lace, lace. Here we go. I'm sorry, no. Oh, is it all four of the individuals? I love these. Right, okay. So all four together. Have we got the samples? No. Eh? The uh, we have got. We've yes, got yes, yes, yes. That's what I needed. Thank and you. And uh, this is much Thank bigger than I thought it was much. going to be. It is, isn't it? Oh. Thank you. Now these are dies. You need these for your Gemini. I'm off to glass and They're fabulous. They're like little wands, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I love them. Pull my Careful. earpiece out. Careful. Do right, OK, injury. so tell me what they are then. Right, so these are lace flower dye. So this is a dye set. I think I might need to open one so you can oh, see. Which one do you want to open? open? Which one uh, you are going to make a huge save of this. You bought, oh, so hang on. So it's this, this, this and this. And this. There's no mention of the felt in the, um, in the graphics there. Uh, you, if you bought all that individually, seventy nine ninety five. Let's crash it before we open the open the packet. Then you can all check out while we're showing it to them. 
Oh, hang on. Carry on going through. There's an issue. There's an issue. We'll carry on. Carry on. Carry okay. on. Okay. Which one would you like me to open? That one. Okay. So, um, what you've got inside is your die. Oh, I'm just going to rip it, Just John. go for it. I'm just going for it, John. Let's get in here. It's when you need your crafters companion scissors. Yeah. Um, right. So, what you've got inside is your outside die shape. Right. And then you've got your lace piece. Right. So, that would cut, for example, on this one, the outside die is going to cut the pale lemon. Yeah. And then you would cut six of the pink and felt, and they perfectly place over the top to get that really. Do I cut that and that? Yes. Right. So this is the outside, and this is the inside cut. So you can start to layer it lots of different colours oh, if you want to. See, yeah. So you could have it as solid petals if you don't want to have the lace insert. The choice is entirely yours. But if you want to have that lace effect, this large outside one would be that pale green you can see underneath. Yeah. And then six of these two dies together. And then a pleated over the top gives and you that lace effect. And you've got the circle for the middle. The perfect circle for the middle. Or you could just have this. If you wanted to do like yeah. a bold applique die, yes. then just use that as your applique die. And if you want to make some hanging ornaments for the tree for Christmas and Christmas colours, two of these and sew them together and mm -hmm. then put that over the top and it's going to look beautiful. Gorgeous. One on either side if that's what you want to do. Yeah. So lots and lots of choices with these. Uh, using your felt, what it does is give you this beautiful fretwork, lacy cutout, which would frankly be pos impossible with a craft knife. Oh, yeah, definitely. You're not going to do that yourself. Are you ready to crash now, Han? Right, OK, so you get all four of these plus the felt, uh, saving 40%, do you say? 47, 97. So you're getting four lots of dies and the felt, 47, 97. 40% saving. Can you see the lace on the fox's tip? The lace on the head of the fox there. Yeah. And I love this. I think this is gorgeous. This um, we've appliqued on a jacket for one of my granddaughters. Oh. It really looks lovely. Oh. Yeah. So you can do it not just for home decor, on clothing, yeah, yeah, on yeah. bedding, on a lampshade. Use a glue if that's what get a plain lampshade. Put it on there. Use a fabric glue instead of sewing it. The you know the possibilities are absolutely endless. We've got the little teddy bear. Uh, he is great to make an actual teddy bear by just doing two of them and stitching them together oh, and stuffing them with wadding wow. and then putting the little pieces on there if that's what you want to do. And then these butterflies as little wands um, for fairy costumes or for a plique onto something else. Or you if you made a mobile. Yes, a mobile. You know, kind of over a child's cotton beautiful, things. Absolutely beautiful, wouldn't they? I just think they're gorgeous. Absolutely. Now you get all of those, all four of those dies, plus your felt. Forty-seven ninety-seven, right? Okay, got to go for a break. Look already. Okay, we've got more of these because these are sold out. Got more of these. So you've got your fabric coat, you've got your fabric stabilizer, and your fabric shield. Oh, right now, how many people had it in their baskets when it sold out? Okay, sixty people had this in their baskets who missed out. I've only been able to get another thirty. Oh, I've only. I, we're totally honest yeah. with you up here. I only got, look at the price, 14 98 You're paying for two of them. You're paying for two of those. There you go. Cat can tidy up as we're going along. Oh, okay, I'll give you a quick glimpse of that before we go. Right, check out on this. There's only 30 of those. Oh, there were only 30 of those. No, right, okay. When, we're going for a break now. We're going for a break. When we come back... Cut. Yeah, this is like, there you go. This is, oh, my microphone, Leanne's, what will we call it? Sewing goodie bag. Sewing goodie bag. This is what we'll be starting back the next hour with to go nowhere. See you in four. Hello, I'm Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as a quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. 
I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one p and with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Now you've seen what brilliant bargains Leanne's brought you this morning. Wait till you see this one. <laughs> Wait till you see this one. So we've called this one Leanne Sewing Goodie Bag. As you can see, it's not in a bag, it's in a crate. You don't get the crate. So, Leanne, take us through. I'm excited. I mean, there's so much stuff in here. If you bought all of this, it would cost you 110.88. And it's now it's on two-way split pay, remember? So <coughs> whatever price it goes to, you still get the option of two-way split pay. I'm excited. Go. I've just got all of my favourites in here Lovely. and I wanted to share the love. So we've got one of these kits that we had in the previous um, hour. Yeah. Uh, we popped one of those in and we popped the little bear in. And actually I can show you because this one's open. Because you rip the box You've open. got everything you need inside. So you've got your template for the bear. Now this little template 
is so that you can get all of the embroidery in the correct place when you've cut it out. So you've got your stuffing, you've got your threads in there, you've got your felt and you've got your needle um, and you've got the little thing, the little key ring holder. So everything you need in there, it's a really great little kit. We've got that. Oh, oh sorry, John. That's right. Um, just threw that at you. Yeah. <clears throat> this, I cannot live without. I absolutely love a snap fastener. Love a snap fastener. So this kit is brilliant. Um, for putting in, you know, your, on your denim jeans, those kind of snaps that you've yeah, got on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant for doing those for your bags, for clothing. I've used them for snapping, like, home decor. I made a storage, like a busy wall for one of my granddaughters where you snap on the little pieces. Oh, wow. Like little key rings. And yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. I've used it for that. And how much is that normally? Twenty four ninety nine. I mean, it's just, you, you won't realise, you'll wonder why you never had it before, before. you've got, you, exactly. you got it, if that makes sense. This is essential because this is your mitre and your bias binder tool as well. It is brilliant. So you're going to um, be able to cut and mitre your binding around a quilt with this precisely, mm -hmm. with precision. And I've tried without it, it's impossible. And the instructions, are, you don't need to worry about losing the instructions because no, they're, they're all printed, printed on, on the ruler. Yeah. I launched this when I was up, yes. up with you uh, up in... Um, it's uh, genius. Uh, yeah, brilliant. It really right? is genius. Um, these are our mermaid, and these are your applique. They're curved, they're like duck bill scissors, the yep. curved, for going round curves so you can put them flat. Um, cutting round a curve with a regular pair of scissors, nightmare. So this is an exceptional tool. Uh -huh. And they're electro plates, so you get that Aurora Borealis looking to them. Yes. She's then, got so much in this box, she's like, it's not like just picking the next out, she's rooting through I'm it. I'm rooting through it because yeah. I want to, you know. Because you get all of this. All you of get it. All of this, uh, this is a fabulous little set of dies, and these are our stitch dies. So these are all pre punctured uh, with the stitch holes so that you can applique or assemble little pieces with those. Cutting those from felt is absolutely incredible. Right. Then I've got for you one of our applique sets here, uh, this little bird, which I love. This is great. Cut a couple and stuff and make little hangings with those. Oh. Do them in your, you know, your lovely Liberty Cotton lawns if you want to. It doesn't just have to be felt uh, because they're our fabric dyes, so you can cut them from felt, from fabric, from denim, from canvas, from whatever you want. Gorgeous. So those two are both for the Gemini machine, that one there, yeah. Then we've got in here our embroidery stitch guides. I absolutely oh, love, 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 love these, John. So what you do is you iron these on and then you embroider over them. Oh, wow. And can I use the template more than once? Uh, the, 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 uh, not template, the, the actual um, the, the transfer. Pattern, the, the transfer. I've done it twice in the past. So you see you've got them there. You iron them on and then you stitch around them. Oh, wow. Aren't they good? So you've got all of the different designs. You've got your alphabets for personalisation. You've got the back orders. to front, obviously, because when you stitch them, when you mm. iron it on, they come through the other way. Correct. Can you manage? Yes. Yeah. And then... I no, no, to... these are all OK, because it doesn't matter which way around those. It's the letters that have to be... The letters, yeah. And then here we go. And we iron them all on. And then um, just embroider over them. We give you the full instructions as well. So we tell you how to do it, and then we give you all of the different embroidery stitches wow, and make that's your customised designs. Yeah. They need to go back in there. Yeah, okay. So because I've done that, you've got some embroidery threads. Oh, see. Good. That's why I'm rubbing. And is it Sarah's signature ones? Sarah's yeah. signature ones. These are beautiful. You will split them into a couple of strands. So if you've embroidered, you know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and you'll split them up and you do your embroidery with those. Lovely. Um, I've included for you some pretty ribbon because we all need a little bit of ribbon in our lives. Well, because you, um, you have to clip it together in this you ribbon do, drawer. You do, you do. And it's, it's, well, this is organza. I love that one. However, this next one's my favourite. A seam binding ribbon I adore, especially for Hong Kong seams and for beautiful, uh -huh. little, mm -hmm. um, beautiful little hangers that feel quality. So you've got some seam binding ribbon in there. You've also got some beautiful lace on a roll. And I just love this because of the... I'm obsessed with nice packaging. How lovely is that little wooden spool? Oh, can I just go back? Can I just go back a minute? The yeah. seam binding ribbon yeah. is gorgeous. Look. Yeah, it's got a beautiful sheen on it. Yeah. Nice width. I couldn't quite figure out what it... I knew, I knew when you were describing what it was for, but that's a really, really... That's it's a good lovely. quality. It's that's beautiful. I've not seen that before. Um, and then we've got all of this beautiful lace, but we've got it on the wooden spool. So that's a re I love... I'm obsessed with nice nice packaging like that. On. So when you finish that lace, when yeah. you, you used that lace more, up... Oh, OK, fine. <laughs> Wrap some more on it. That's what I do. Lovely. I do them. I love them. And then finally, I wanted to give you a really lovely template set. 
um, to use. And they're the mylar ones that we've been yeah, looking yeah, at yeah, during yeah. the course of the show. And this is for uh, either jewellery or makeup roll. It's for sewing tools. I did mine for my crochet hooks. So I've used this and I've done it. It's got my crochet hooks, it's got oh, my stitch markers yes, and yes, a little yes, zip yes. pouch here. I've got some little draw, um, darning needles on the other side with a bit of felt. So you can use it for whatever you like. It's a great roll upset. It could be for jewellery, for makeup, for crafts. And you say jewellery, I did out John's 47th and 50th <gasps> birthday costumes, you know, the big thing. And when we did his 47th birthday... Do you know that we're obsessed with Elton John in our house? No. Yes, my son's whippet is called Elton. No. This is a true story. Oh, you'll love that. After Mr John, I went to the O2. We were in the third... Me and Peter, because my son's obsessed with him too. We, he was brought up listening to oh. him. We are huge, huge, huge fans. Now I'm feeling like... By association, oh, I yeah. feel like I've met him. Oh yeah. yeah, well I'll tell you all about his house when I. When Thank I you. But um, where Amazing. was going with this story? I don't know. Oh yes, oh, yes his so, costumes. So the jewelry, no, the jewelry, jewelry. So, jewelry. so uh, when it was his forty seventh birthday, we'd done the costume and everything, and I delivered it. And he went, oh, uh, 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 and he sent his housekeeper down to the safe, and when she came back, she had like about eight of those rolls. And she unraveled like this, and <gasps> they were all full of jewelry. And I went, why have you got so much costume jewelry? And he went, and it wasn't costume jewelry. Was it, it all was diamonds? Real emeralds, real <gasps> diamonds. Real, Big, 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 you know, like... Of course. Anyway, Michelle on the bottom. Can I just say the scissors in the goodie bag are the best scissors I own for cutting a plique? I've got three pairs because they're very good at hide and seek from Michelle in Great London. What a brilliant bundle, Sophie. Now, if you bought all of that, it would cost you £110.88. pence. So how much have you taken off this bundle, then? Um, well, it's a lot. OK. I will crash it. It's, just... it's well over 60. Rip. At least. 39.99. How many percent is that? Over 60 percent. Over, over 70. Over 70 pounds. pounds is is same, over yes. 70 pounds. All of that for 40 is incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, where's the split? <laughs> 20 pounds split pay. 20 pounds split pay. That's ridiculous. 19.99. Do you know what I love about this box? I like. I, for me, this box is a. A try me box if you haven't done it's some tools it's some try something different like the little inons with the embroidery mm. if you haven't done that before the bias binding tool that's just very very useful the snap fasteners are useful then something different with a template i think it's a great eclectic try but also i mean if even if you're not going to use i have a present drawer in my house yes where if i get I things too. and i'll just i'll put that in the present drawer because mm. i usually end up taking out and giving it as a gift to me and everything yes. but the things you don't like you might go well, i'm definitely having those but everything else go in the present drawer yes and you've got so many presents there secret santas everything everything you know 39.99 two ways to play now how many did you say i left 12 left 12 left once you've all checked out well done well done if you get one of these uh, now, I don't think, I don't think, you know, we've brought like the two, the low tack tape back. I don't think there'll be any more of these. I d we'll double check. We'll double check because there's way too many people got them in the baskets now. So literally, I'll double check. Uh, well, Hannah will double check. I can't, obviously. But we'll, we'll, I'll do it if you want. We'll double check. We'll double check. But we don't think so. If you have got it in your basket, please do check out. Right. Mini patchwork templates. Oh, now, you see, I've these. never seen these. <gasps> when we were unpacking this morning... Have you not seen them? No. John, no. I love the jelly roll. Oh, and the jelly roll. Right, OK, so is this what you use them for? Yes. These are incredible. You are, you're going to need these. I've this seen is gonna, something else as well. This is going to be one of those things where you're going to say, I want them. Oh, oh. What you don't, there goes your Don't trip on me. You would trip over it at some point. Don't trip on me step. No. Okay. Right, OK, so... These are two and a half mm. inch... Quality. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to crash because there's sorry. way too. No, no, no! Don't apologise. There's just so many people there. Okay. <gasps> I'm not surprised. Uh, Twelve forty nine. Half price. Half price. Half price. Now explain what they are. Okay, so these are really high quality, two and a half inch acrylic templates with the seam allowance included for all of the different patchworking shapes. Okay, so, uh, so some are two and a half, some are four and a half. Yes. But mainly two and a half. But basically they are oh. all sized to perfectly... Oh, no, the they're, four and half, they're four and a half to fit with the two and a correct. half inside, of course. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. correct. And they're perfectly sized to work on your jelly roll. I'm okay, gonna, I'm we'll do that it. in a second. Oh, we'll do it in a second. She's going to open Is this it included or is it um, separate? It's, it's separate. separate. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I just need to show you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, come off there. So, look, if you're doing your 
templates. These are, I have to just show you, yep. perfectly sized oh, to I your see. jelly. Oh, so that, Do I you, see. Are I've you got with it now. me now? Yeah, I've got it now. So, means no fabric waste. No. And so these are all of those sizes to work. Now, even if you don't buy these pre-done rolls and you're just cutting your two and a half inch strips, brilliant because yep. you cut your two and a half inch strips and then these all perfectly, look at that, yep. perfectly comes to the side. So actually all I'm trimming now is yep. done. And I've got all of those shapes. How brilliant is that? £12.49? These are they going to go? And I just... Uh, must show you as well, look, this larger hole here. Yeah. This is Oh, hang on, Michael, that's you. Oh, that's what you said. Can you see that there? Can you see the bigger hole? Sorry, no, no, because when, when he <laughs> says push into that there, I presume he means you. He talks to himself. Yeah. <laughs> look, you've got that. I sounded like Michael Jackson there, didn't I? <laughs> so uh, we've got that larger hole there. <laughs> I did. I don't know where it came from. It just came out of nowhere. Oh, baby, you're cha channeling, channeling him. Channeling right, him. Right, what's if the I big start, hole for then? <laughs> if I start, well, if I start shouting Shimon, you know that there's a problem. <laughs> so this, this larger hole here yeah. is so you can keep them on one of those circle clip oh. and hang them on the end of your craft bag so you don't lose them. So you put them Brilliant. all through like the key. So ring. you've got you've got your little dots here for when you're marking, marking. up your seam allowance. So the yes. big dot, the big hole. Let's go. Go on, go on, go on, oh. go on. Right. Should we do the deli roll, the design roll, while we're here? I'll just convey this to Kat. I'm not sure. There we go. Sorry. They're fantastic. They're incredible. Oh, Kat, one's fallen out the packet there. So, uh, right. lovely. Now, this, what I love about your fabrics is yes. they're Indian cottons they and are. they're really, really gorgeous quality, aren't they? And when I first saw them, when I came up to work with you, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, these these will be, because they're so cheap. Mm -hmm. And we can't say that. They're affordable, right? They're affordable, China right? Cotton. Mm -hmm. But the fabric, mm -hmm. when we do the half meters, mm -hmm. they fly out because mm -hmm. beautiful colors, but really, really good quality cotton. Yes, Indian cotton, we have it done in Mumbai. So it's dyed beautifully. The quality is exceptional. Uh, they really are quality quilting cotton. It's not like your cheaper no. China-based poly cotton or anything like that. It is really beautiful, uh, high 14, quality say, 14 99, we're already a fantastic price. How many? Half price, £7.49. Seven pound forty nine. You get eighteen strips, and that's that colour. That's the colour there. The only one we've got today. Yeah, the only one we've got today. There Look, we beautiful. And that's using those acrylic templates to get that shape. It's just absolutely glorious, isn't it? Gorgeous. Yeah, way too many people got that in their basket. I'll just roll that one back up, or cat will. Right now, I've got the sprays. Got yeah. Get off. Oh, is that one not as well? That's okay. your special. That's your Leanne oh, special that coming up in a minute. Right, so what we've got here, I've got three different sprays. Mm -hmm. So we've already talked about the stabilizer. fabric stabiliser. Mm -hmm. Right, we mentioned this briefly earlier, mm -hmm. the paper pattern spray. What's that? That is amazing. So when you've got, you know, like your dressmaking patterns and they're done on the tissue paper. Yeah. And then, I mean, I've done, I was obsessed with dressmaking for a couple of years. I still do a little bit, but... I was hyper-focused on it for a while. And I had some beautiful patterns and some vintage patterns where I was making lovely aprons and things. When you pin those a few times, you start to tear into it, yes. don't you? And you can ruin it. Which them. is why you see a lot of designers now are using slightly thicker. Yes, paper, absolutely. Yeah. So it starts to ruin a little bit. Yeah. So I don't want to pin them. So this paper pattern spray, you just put on the reverse. You let the propellant evaporate. And then it has the a what? propellant, which is what gets it out of the can. Okay. And that evaporates, and then it only takes a few seconds, and then it's ever so slightly tacky, your paper pattern. It will not ruin it. You just smooth it onto your fabric, and you need no pins. It will not move. You okay, it's not going to mark my fabric. Not going to mark your fabric. And it's not going to ruin my paper and pattern. And it's not going to ruin your paper pattern. So you don't need weights, and you don't need pins anymore. It keeps it beautifully still. You go around it. You can move that fabric up. You can hold it in the air. You can cut around it. You can do whatever you need to get that perfect, precise cut. The paper will not leave the fabric until you bring it away. And then you can still fold it up and use it time and again. You just keep putting more on them when you need to reinvigorate yeah, it the yeah, next yeah, yeah. time. It's absolutely genius. How brilliant. And then... Spray and stay is a non-slip for our acrylic rulers. So those two and a half inch little acrylic templates we mm -hmm. had at the back had no reverse on them. The spray and stay... Spray that on the back of any of your rulers, um, on your templates, whatever it is that you're using on top of fabric, and it gives it a non-stick 
My uh, my next door neighbour Chris, when mm. I was working at Crafters, right, she loved this. Yes. And she just kept saying, "Well, oh, you can just get me." Like I was coming home every week with the candles. With another candles. And then one week that Sunny sent me, oh, you're, sell you're selling this on air. And I like had a whole dining room table yeah, full, full of it. it. I was like saying, Sunny, oh, I can't get it back to you. I can't get the post office. So Chris, Chris next door, on. having it. For but you don't actually need it that often because you, you spray the bottom of your ruler. It sticks, but it's not It's not going to stick stick. It, does, no. it just makes it non-movable. But then it doesn't come... You can use it lots and lots of times. It's not like yes. you don't have to spray every not every time. time. You'll use it, no. use it just until if it starts feels like it's moving, do it yeah, again. Yeah. A little refresh. I also use it on the back of my cutting mat. So you know when you've got your cutting mat on your table, and yeah. sometimes when you're doing your rotary trimmer, it can come away from yeah. you. I put it on the back of my cutting mat, wow. and it just keeps it to my tabletop. And it doesn't mark your tabletop. It will not ruin anything. You can put it on your best dining table, your glass dining table, your oak dining table, whatever, your marble dining table. It will not. How many ruin. dining tables have you got? I mean, only one. But I was <laughs> thinking of Elton. <laughs> Twenty three ninety seven. If you bought them all now. Oh. Okay. Under twenty pounds. Under twenty pounds for all three of those. Beautiful tea, you've got your grip adhesive, your reusable adhesive, and your fabric stabiliser in there for £19.99. Beautiful. Keep going through for that. Lots of there. Lots of there. Right, OK, let's move on. We haven't got time for faffing dilly da. Oh, hang on, I'm just... I'm, what's Don't... next? I love this. Right, this is... I. You know when you're just proud when you're proud of something, John. Yeah. I'm proud of this. Oh, are you? I am. I remember when I didn't work for you at this point. Did I you went not? into the Evesham store and Did saw you? these. All. Catherine, uh, which called what was her surname? Rudd, Catherine Rudd. Which yes. Called, she was unpacking them and putting them on the shelf, and I took one out of the packet, and she was like, "What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Taking that out of the packet? Yeah. I just want to have a good look." Of course, at it. he want to have a look at it. I absolutely love this. I'm so proud of it. If I can get it out of the box. Yeah, because it's so to... well designed. <laughs> can you imagine? Do you want me to do it for you? Right, here we go. So hang on, so it's a rotary cutter, a 60 millimeter rotary cutter. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's tight. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Come Michael, grab the end. <laughs> There's the web image. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Is it glued in? Did you do this on purpose? No, Crash! Oh, thank you, Michael. Right, okay, so look, so you already get replacement blades inside your packet, but what we've done is put extra replacement blades in there. So basically, you're getting those, they're a tenner, aren't they, though? They are. So you're getting those for free. Another two in there. Yeah. And then you've got them in there. Yeah. This is great. Also, keep this little plastic thing, because this is great for disposing of your dull blades. Yes. Because even though your blades are dull, they're not really dull. 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 Yeah. Dull blades. <laughs> <laughs> they're not really... Not sharp anymore. Yeah, oh, um, And so I put mine in there. Yeah. And then that's how I dispose of them. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Right. right. So this is left or right-handed. Yes. Because um, this is the thing I was saying in the box while I was opening the box. Because it comes as a left-handed one. Yes. But it's so easy to swap them around, isn't swap, it? So easy to swap it around. So what you've got on here is um, a handle that is locked in place. So your blade will not engage until you release the lock. And then your blade engages. And as soon as you let go, the blade goes back. Yeah. So it's safe. If you drop it or if you lose your grip, the blade isn't staying out. You're not going to touch it. But also, yourself. so many people are the ones that don't bounce back. Mm -hmm. When they've used it, I'll just do it like that. They, they cut their fabric yeah. and then they put down that. Then they throw a bit of fabric over it. Then later on they go, where's, where's my fabric? fabric? And they pick it up and the blade's sticking out. Yes. So automatically your blade goes away. Automatically yeah. the blade goes away. Um, 60 millimetre, great for patchworking because mm -hmm. you travel further, don't you? Yeah. To change this, so this is currently right-handed. Left-handed, left I beg your pardon. Yeah, yeah. This is currently left-handed. To change it right-handed, you unscrew this. The blade comes off that side. I'm not going to take it off because I don't want to have a no. catastrophe here. Then you pop it on that side, screw that back in place. Oh, yeah, like, just like that. Just like that. There you go. Yeah, and the screw blade's on this side then. And the blade's yeah. on this side now. Yeah. So it's right-handed or left-handed. Yep. Um, and then you've got all of that. The blade's, of course, super sharp. You get two blades in the pack. That comes in the box. And then yep. an extra two refills. So you've got four blades in For there. For $24.99. And that's safety lock. Yeah. And really ergonomic in your hand, this. If you've got some dexterity issues, this is a lovely curved ergonomic shape. You've got finger grips there. So it is confident in your hand when you're using it. It's yeah. not a slip away. You know, you feel safe when you're using it. And you might already have a 45 millimetre one. So the 60, mm. like Stuart was saying this, he hadn't used the 60 one until, uh, well, last year. And he said, 
when you've got lots and lots yeah. of long, like, width of fabric cutting to do, you're across there in no time because it's a bigger wheel to travel faster, isn't it? Yeah, that's why 60 millimetres is my favourite because um, I, I would only use a rotary trimmer for cutting patchworking. Um, I, I like scissors if I'm going around a pattern. Yeah, I, I, can't, iron, yeah. I can't really get round it with a smaller yeah. rotary. So I want to travel faster. I don't want to be yeah, like yeah. edging up it and then getting a little bit of a sword edge on my fabric. I just want to whoosh, yeah. through it and that does it for you. There you go, 24 99 It's a 60 millimetre. <clears throat> you get the two blades with it plus two extra blades for 24 99 <clears throat> oh. oh, I'm excited. Foundation, paper, that. piece of pad. Thank you, Michael. Right, okay. Have you seen this before? Yeah. I love this. Oh, I love it so much. It's just incredible. And can I just say the effort that we had to put in to get this paper perfect was, it was, it was a palaver, John. Oh, was it? Why? It was, it was, because getting a paper that you can sew through, which doesn't immediately just fall apart, but that is fine enough for you to be able to tear away and not leave any in the seams yeah, yeah, we were yeah. talking about before is no mean feat because it's not just a tissue paper it is a special paper for the foundation paper piecing where you've got that lovely um that shine on the back and then the mat on the front and when you place this on and you saw through it it isn't all going to tear away and fray it's going to stay in place and also it's not adding it. any bulk either it's not adding any bulk it's lovely and lightweight but it's very robust okay so what's the idea behind the pad then so the pad is all of the different designs that you've got here and can i just say this is also done um in conjunction with um Joanne Hart, there's an name, I couldn't remember, yeah. there it is there, with Joanne, who's worked out all of these patterns for us um, and has done an amazing job. Foundation paper piecing is you lie your fabric on top of the paper. Let's say I'm doing this one. We'll start with the pick one. So you line it on there, you stitch along, and then you fold it back and do the next stitch, and it creates your whole block for you. We give you the instructions. Let me just show you there for the butterfly block. So we show you exactly how to do it. You can see the papers on the back. This yeah. all gets constructed. You reveal the design as you go along, and it makes it so much easier. So it's a 10-inch finished block. Yes. That's the question. I have the FPP pad. It's wonderful, says Liz in Derbyshire. But you get a... F so it tells you all the cutting out you need to do. Yes. In what colour, you if you're going to do it that way. Mm -hmm. But then, how do I get several butterflies then? Yes, you do. So you get one, two of each... Two, three. Oh, two, three. Three. Three of each design. Right. Is that four? Hang on. Hang on. <gasps> four. So you've got four of each oh. design in there. Yeah. So for every one block, you've got four pieces, which is absolutely fantastic. So it's great value for money as well. Right, we haven't questioned the price yet and half the stock's in baskets. Should we do it? Better than half price. £11.99. £11.99. Ah, oh, no, brilliant, isn't it? So you've got in there, you've got a bird, a flower. Tulip. A oh, it's a tulip, sorry. Um, a heart. Yeah. Oh, actually, I can show you the heart, sorry. Mm -hmm. You carry on going, I'll show you the heart. You've got your heart, and then we've got... Oh, I love that. It's so nice. You've got your birdhouse. Yeah. Oh, it's about to sell out, about to sell out. You say a birdhouse. Birdhouse. Oh, no, that's the butterfly. That's the butterfly on the cushion there. They're lovely, aren't they? They're nice big ones as well, but They're simple, aren't they? They are simple. Very simple, uh, but very, very effective. And a toad still. So you've got in here uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different designs, four of each design, 24 sheets. To make a lovely quilt, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Right, it's gone. Right, yo, folding cutting mats. Both there, A1 and A2. So how much would they be if you bought them? 79.98 if you bought them together. Uh, yeah, if you bought them normally together. Okay, you're very quiet, Leanne. Sorry, I am. I'm just because I'm... <laughs> No, I'm I was not having used to a, it. I'm frightened. I was having a conversation in my head. I oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm opening these up for myself. And I'm thinking, I've got to show everybody how fabulous these are. So I'm going to take them out of the packet. Okay. Um, I cannot live without these, John. I'm taking. We'll put them back in the packets. I just want to be able to show you, and I want you to be able to feel because these folding cutting mats, especially if you're 
short of space at home yeah or if you're traveling with them you don't want all of that space but the bigger cutting mat you can afford or accommodate at home is the best cutting mat to have right right rather than a small one yeah. so it doesn't take up as much space these folding ones are genius because they're great for storage the good thing about these john and i want you to run your hand over there you cannot feel that john oh uh, that was going to be my next question, is what happened, but you just... You cannot. So your blade will not skip how over. How does that happen? It's magic. Oh, is it? Leanne magic. It's a little bit of whew, fairy dust. But that's weird, because there's not, even, there's there's not no even a bump ridge. or anything. No. So when you're cutting in this direction, let's say you're cutting your fabric across the fold, your blade does not skip over it. And it won't go in that way either. And it won't go in that way Because normally I say on a folding one, mm -hmm. oh, if you're cutting, make sure you cut on one side or the other, but you don't have to on this one. You don't have to on this one. Uh, now, in this bundle... Oh, we've already crashed, sorry, I hadn't realised. Um, you get this one for free. So you're paying for this one, the triple one. Look at that. Now, when you first get it home, because this has been folded up and in the packet, if it's got a little ridge in it, all I want you to do is lay it flat, lay it flat for two hours, this will go down and it'll be perfect in your I bed. don't need to put books on it, James. Don't need to put books on it, just let it do its books. thing. I books on books it. Books or books. Um, it'll do its thing and then, look, can you feel that? Yeah. It was not your blade. That is skipping. so weird. Isn't it good? It will not skip over. You cannot feel it. That's just incredible, isn't it? Forty nine ninety nine. So you're paying for this one, but you're getting this one as well. Yes, and you've got to feel that to understand what I'm saying when yeah, I say it totally. will not skip over it. Forty nine ninety nine. You've got all of the markings that you require on there. We've got the inches. We've got the degrees on there as well. It's an incredible. Is it self healing? Oh. It's self-healing. So all of the properties of self-healing, it'll last you for a long time. Yeah. I'm sure you all know that if you've got a self-healing mat where you've used it and used it and used it, you've got some grooves and some little fabric threads in there. You just put some water on it and then rub and those rub out it. and yeah. it comes back again. You can do all of those magic tricks that you do with a self-healing cutting mat with these, but you don't have to have the space to store it. And with having the fold there, it allows you to have a bigger mat in a smaller, a space. smaller space. Because you can also, if you are only doing little things, you can use it half and half like that. If yes, you're doing your absolutely. Little EP, 100%. Just use it half like that. Mm. Or if you're taking it to a class, mm. do that, couldn't you? Forty nine ninety nine. You're getting the little one for free. Oh, less than twenty of those now. Fewer than twenty of those. I'll take those. Oh yeah, that's this one here. This is a bundle. Which Lovely. you'll use your. Let me move that out of the way. There you go. So, this is a bundle now. I love this. Do you want me to throw it? Coming out. Yeah. There's my scissors. Oh, no, it's gone. It's got all the scuppings on. We should have uh, got our scissors out earlier, shouldn't we? You watch your fingers. Don't do this at home. No. Right, so let me explain what you get. If you are still there, Charlie. Oh, it hasn't updated yet. Right, so you're getting what I call the guillotine cutter, for which is br absolutely brilliant. But in the bundle, you also get the shape cutter. There it is, there it is. Not into um, proportion. Um, now, the thing that's brilliant about the shape cutter is I've got this one, is everything you need to know is written on the shape cutter. So if you... Very durable as well. <laughs> Right. Okay. I mean, I'm not subtle, John. No. Right. So this <laughs> so is, I should have kept the mat out, shouldn't I, really? <laughs> right. So what you do with this... It's marvellous. So can I, and also, I was frustrated with these shape cutters. Um, I own um, two from a well-known brand. Right. And I was always frustrated that this bit wasn't big enough for me. Right. Yeah. This bit. You get them six inches wide. Yep. Or maybe a 12 inch. You get yep. a 12 inch or six inches wide and you can get it this long or a little bit longer. When you are not just a patchworker, when you're a bag maker and you're doing bigger tote bags or um, fabric where you need a bigger piece, like backings for quilts and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. you actually need a bigger ruler surface space, area, yeah, surface yeah, 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 yeah. area yeah. as well as the precise ruler. So I, this was the selfish development for me. I just wanted a big space yeah. uh, and I found it very very usable and so many people have said thank goodness because I can get a full 12 inch block in that and get a 14 inch block I can do my big tote bags I can do my quilt bags because I've got all of this brilliant measuring space yeah but not do. only have you got inches on here you've got your centimeters mm -hmm. but you've also got all your angled lines on here your 60 degree your 45 degree your 30 degree you've also got it in different colors look you've got it in the pink and in the black there 
so you're going to see it on any fabric that you want to. And basically, your blade, I'm just going to lift it up to the upstairs camera, but your blade is in there and it doesn't engage until you press down on this, which means now you know we always say, don't cut towards yourself with a rotary cutter. This way you can cut backwards and forwards. So if you have got dexterity issues, you're not holding a rotary cutter, you're literally just pushing that down. And as you push down, it slices through the fabric. And then you measure up, how, say you want to do a five inch strip. You literally put your fabric underneath till it goes to the five. When you slice down here, that is gonna give you a perfect five inch mm -hmm. strip. But then you can turn it on its angle and you could do triangles, you can do diamonds, you can do hexes, you can do all sorts of things with it. Mm -hmm. So that's that one, first of all. But can I just have a look oh. at that blade a second, John? That's a 45, 45 millimeter. Yeah, 45 45. Millimeter. If you're buying replacement blades, it's a standard 45 millimeter. Yeah. But then, this. teamed with, let, I'll take this out for now. There you go. This is absolutely incredible. I love the shape creator. Now, what this does is work with your rotary trimmer. So I'm just going to take this um, protective piece off because. Um, oh. I want to show you what it is because yes. I could talk oh. you through it, but I want to actually show you what now, it Kat, is. Now, Kat, I've not done any of this. Let me just get this Hang off. on, you switched off, Hannah. I'll just sit and watch it. Right, okay, just so you know, if you bought this on its own, it's $59.99. Take that in mind, keep that in mind. Okay, thank you. So what we've got, and then have we got one on the back? No. So you're going to take off that protective film, and then what you've got here with your shape creator, you see the little diamonds top and bottom? I'm hoping you can see them. I'm going to, I'm going to put it on here. There, that's better. You've got the little diamonds top and bottom, yep. which is where you position your blade, and then these are perfectly cut, so you run your blade yep. all the way down there to the bottom, so it keeps your blade straight to be able to do lovely straight cuts. Do we do a bigger? Do you do a bigger? I think smaller the one. I've one. Got is I thought no, the bigger I, one. Yeah, yeah I've one. got the one I've got because it's down the side of my filing cabinet. I'm yeah. sure it's bigger than it's that. It's bigger yeah. than this. So yeah. this is the smaller one. So it gives you all of the instructions you can see there. So we've got for cutting fabric strip, for cutting squares, bias strips, for cutting circles. I know. And I had mine for ages and ages and kept thinking, I don't have to cut a circle on this. So on each of the corners, we've done the perfect round here. So all you do is take a square piece of fabric, fold it into four, Put the folded edges here, go around there with your rotary trimmer, open it up, you've got a three inch circle. Yeah. And so you've got a three inch circle, you've got a four inch circle, a one inch circle, and a two inch circle on each of those. So no edges. waste of space at all. No waste of space. We've given you all the instructions here for triangles, diamonds, and hexagons too. You've got your diagonals, you've got your center position, you've got your seam allowance and your um, lining up on there. And then each of these keeps your rotary blade in a perfect straight line yep. so that you don't get any donkey's back legs. It's exceptional. Right, now what did I just tell you? This on its own costs 59.99. So now, you're buying a bundle of both, right? Buying a bundle of both, 59.99. So basically you're paying for this and you're getting that free. And you're getting this completely for free. Brilliant, 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 that, isn't it? And <clears throat> people who buy, so if people who buy this think, do I need that? And then they get this and they're like, oh, I can't live without it. No, no it's, exactly. It's fantastic. At uh, 59.99, so you're basically paying for this. My, my little advice here is keep the box. Keep this in its mm. box at all times yes. because you don't want to be carrying it. It's got a big handle here for you to carry it, but don't, uh, what a lot of people do is they see it, they pick it up like oh, that God. and don't do that. And also, if you do pick it up there, if you happen to pick up like that, as soon as you press down, to the blade's going to engage. So, just, so I just that. let it and then slide it under my bed or, where, or my mm -hmm. desk or wherever, my, wherever I'm working, whatever. Um, and then that one there, I just keep it standing where my where, uh, I've got between my um, wall and my filing cabinet. Yep. I keep my cutting mat, and I know you're supposed to keep cutting mat flat, but it's literally so tight, and my shape cutter fits in there as well. Uh, brilliant, because you're getting that for free. <coughs> Lovely. Righty ho, folding ruler. That's that one. There you go. I love this. She's unpacking everything now. Yeah. Look, because you've got to see it. You can tell. You can tell, but it's, it's best to show, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Uh, Twenty nine ninety nine. This is. So. This is your twelve inch 
square ruler. Yeah. Um, and we've got all of the measurements around the outside. You can see you've got your grid on there as well. Um, everything you need to be a regular square 12 inch ruler. Yeah. But it will also fold in half perfectly and become your triangle ruler also. How brilliant is that? Oh, uh, look, oh, she's only crashed. Look, <clears throat> 29 99 down to 11 99 Oh, very popular. Very, very, very popular, that and one. And feel that, John. You can't feel where... Oh, no. So that just... <laughs> because it's definitely got... A... <laughs> Isn't it good? Apparently it's like when you go to the zoo and they've given the animals a new toy. <laughs> That's what they're saying in the gallery. But, it, but that way, yes. you can tell there's definitely a hinge there. Mm -hmm. It must be the same inventiveness yep. as the cutting mat. Yes, it? it's great because you fold it away and it just feels like a triangle ruler yeah. with that perfect edge to go up, up against where you, you know, it's perfectly straight and smooth. And you can fold and unfold as many times as you like. Why did you do it half pink, half clear? Just so you could, I don't know. Is, it not, is this not a Leanne creation, then? No, just... Oh. It's nice, though. Is that... Oh, again, okay. what? Is it what? Is that dark fabric, light fabric? Could be. All right. Dark fabric, light fabric. Fold weight. It's going to sell out, anyway. Shape cut. Oh, yes, the Dresden shape cutters. That's that one. So this is the same technology as that junior shape creator I've just shown you. I'll yeah. not open these, but exactly the same in terms of the grooves are cut into the plastic template for your rotary trimmer to yeah. go through. And you've got your edges um, for your circles on and there as well. And the reason longer here is so that mm. you don't, you can get your full proper cut Correct. on it so you're not cutting into the plastic. Yes. Should be 19.99. Oh, brace yourself, I'm saying. <laughs> Brace yourself, girl. Five ninety-nine. Um, I don't know why that's so affordable. It's very affordable, isn't it? Isn't it? Do you think that might be a mistake? Dresden plate cutter. This is sweet. Do not let Hannah have this on any account. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, they're saying use a 28 millimeter rotary cutter with this one. Mm -hmm. Dresden plate, including half Dresden plate blades and various central circle designs. Oh! Mm -hmm. Got the circle on the corner for your three inch circle there. How brilliant is that? Of course, half the stock's gone at 5 99 I've got the orange peel now. They're great, aren't they? Yeah. So, again, the same technology. You've got the groove for your rotary trimmer to go around. Especially useful when it is a curve. Uh, also, I just need to point out on this one and that one. They've got all the different sizes. Look. Yes. So, if you just want a two-inch blade, you cut that. But you want a six-inch blade. This one's got all of these different sizes. Yes. So, you can do one, <coughs> two, three, four, five, six different sizes of... Um, that orange peel shape, and you've got the placement line there for your fabric already included, and the sewing allow the yeah, seam so allowance. Yes, it's whether you put it on a fold, whether you put it on a cut, so you can have a seam down. Seam the down there as well, and then your blade goes in, follows the groove, and you get it perfect every time. Uh, Nineteen ninety nine. Have we got brace yourself again? Five ninety nine. Five pounds and ninety nine pence. The orange peel shape cutter, brilliant, isn't it? I don't know why they've gone so low. Because it's our birthday, John. It is us, your it's second a anniversary. We're yeah, exactly. sharing the love. Sharing the pennies as well. How brilliant is that? Quilting rulers. Oh yeah, the uh, the yeah 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 yeah. Right, a bundle. Now this will be fun. Have we put them in the right order? No. What have you got for... Oh, I, anyway, I'll show you what they are, right? Yeah. These are... Well, we're we showing... getting them all anyway, so you're going to be able to do yeah, all of exactly. them anyway. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not going to have room to put them all out. No. Um, these are your quilting rulers. Uh, oh, oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. <laughs> no, still not enough room. There you go. Look, you're getting all of these. So you've got here geometric wave, jewel, medallion, uh, decorative petal, uh, mandala... You've got hearts, you've got uh, 
six in one patterns there. I always called this one the duodenum, this mm -hmm. one here. And you've also got the uh, six in one quilted set three. So set two and set three of your six in ones there. And so each one of these, the smaller ones do four different designs. Yep. The two larger ones do six different designs. Right. So if that, that's four, eight, 12, 16, 24, 32. Is that right? No. 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 Four, four, you've got eight, six, four, 24. So thank it's 24 you. there. 24. 36. Thank you. Yeah. Maths wasn't my strong point. No, there you go. Um, uh, I'm a creative. Yeah, that's fine. Good <laughs> excuse. Put, just put them out what you can do. Okay. We're so, not going to say which one's which. You no. have to find that out. When you, oh, that's heart, obviously, that one underneath there. These are all of the different quilted designs you can do with all of those rulers. It really is exceptional. This is what takes it from homemade to handmade for me, John. And this is what I was saying about at the very beginning of the day, where I want to be able to quilt and I want to be able to do it myself, but I haven't love got the skill. One. I love that one, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I haven't got the skill to do it. So having something like this, which allows me, this, uh, very all Achilles that, mm. I love that one. Um, really lovely. And I feel like I've achieved, but I've achieved it effortlessly because it's just so simple to do. Now, you'll need a ruler foot, won't you? For you this. will need a ruler you'll foot. You'll need a ruler foot. Most machines come with them now. We haven't got them on today's show, but if you either look at our Crafters Companion section on our website, but definitely on yours, yes. you'll be able to get the ruler foot you to will. use this. And it depends on your machine whether you need a low shank or a high shank. Yeah. Yes. Right. Uh, do you want to save? I can't I believe I'm going to say this out loud. 70%. And we're not saying brace yourself again. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is your 70%. 44, she's got a fours and nines muddled up there. 44.99 and it's on, still on three-way split pay. Still on three-way split pay. No interest charge whatsoever. <clears throat> and also no fee for using it. 14.99 you pay for those today. For all of those, imagine practicing with those. What I would do is when you get these home, unless you're an experienced ruler worker, do exactly what Leanne and the team have done, is just make yourself some 12 inch um, mm -hmm. wadded squares and just have a go with them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and that gives, that gives you the skill and gets you into the movement. Yes, because uh, the muscle memory and things. Uh, absolutely, like these rulers have got that anti-slip on the back. Oh, already? Yes, already, so you don't need to spray them. They already uh, have the anti-slip coating so that they don't move on the fabric when you're putting them through there. It keeps it nice and still. Brilliant. Uh, 44.99, so, uh, 70 percent off, 14 pounds 99 on your split pay. How brilliant. Look at them, they're endless. Beautiful. Aren't they fabulous? Gorgeous. I love this. And do you know what I love with these as well? If you are doing some plain quilting and you've got some special effect special effect threads like like a gold or a lame or a variegated, variegated. look really lovely beautiful right i'll just pass this over to you mm -hmm. I'll pack that away so now who do we know was it cat Cat's mum, I think, saw this bag. No, no, Becky Swan's mum. Becky Swan's mum saw this bag and bought it for all her friends for Christmas because she loved the bag so much. Really? She got all the bits in it. She just bought the she bag. She just wanted the bag. Yeah. Isn't that fantastic? Do you know what? These totes are useful for much more than just sewing. So um, my sister has one with a cleaning equipment in. Oh, really? Yes. I use one for crochet. Yeah. I'll show you why in a second. Um, I know of people who've got them for their makeup as well. Exactly. Got makeup well, I would say it's like when I was working films, the makeup girls used to come down to the set. Mm -hmm. So you'd make them, you'd make up your artist in the wagon. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to set, you'd, you'd have one of these for each artist and you'd have like the brush and the... Mm -hmm. And then so in between takes, when you yep. need to go and do your touch-ups, everything, you'd have one of these with everything. Per person. Yeah. Isn't that fantastic? Fantastic. Now, these are incredible. So it's really capacious. You've got a lot of storage space in here. So you've got great sized compartments for your larger things. You've got all of your slip pouches in here. You've also got your clear storage pockets in there for things that you want to see all of the time. So they're in there too. When I turn it round here, you've got all of your uh, elastic places to put. This is where my crochet hooks can oh, go. Oh, but, but um, crafters also do like... Um, 
when you do colouring in and things, yes, to call it markers in, and but stuff. Yeah, but that'd be Pencils brilliant for pens. all of those, wouldn't all it? Of if they didn't come with a, if they didn't come with a stand, you could you could use it as a whole artist. It's a whole artist yeah. tote. You can use it for whatever you want. You've got all of those in there. If you want this to be a larger space, that Velcro comes back, so it can be a divided pocket or a full pocket. It's entirely up to you. And am I right in thinking it folds up if you're not using it? Correct. So when you uh, inside, you've got these little loop pulls. So you pull the base up. On both sides, and then it goes flat. Oh, so if you're taking it on holiday or something like that. Yep, goes flat to go away. And then when you open it out, you push those down. Can you see that little flap there? Yeah. Push that down, push it down on that side, and then it's rigid in the base. Your touch fastening comes across there, and that pocket is divided. And then you've got a full pocket at that side. Okay, so now Grab the handle. bag isn't 67 93 because we've done a bundle, and in the bundle we've got... Mark away, that's your spray through your template. Oh, that we were talking about er yes. earlier, so that comes in there. Mm -hmm. The scissors that, excuse me, everybody, oh, sorry, I'm just going there. Scissors that everybody loves, right? Uh, you've got Sarah's uh, embroidery threads. You've got more, now they look different, those clips. Just in a different packaging. Is it? Mm -hmm. There you go. Clips. Uh, Tape. Tape. And your fighter ruler. So if you bought all of that, it'd be sixty-seven pounds and ninety-three pence. But today, on the second anniversary price, you're only paying for the bag and the scissors. Everything else is free. Uh, saving over thirty. I was about to say, is it half price? It's almost half price. Like, almost half price. That one. All of that you get. All of that. Just checking. Yeah, all of that. No, no, because some things are big and some things are small, aren't they? Look at the little mm. ruler at the bottom. <coughs> Michael. 34 98 for the whole bundle. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Right, now these sold out with so many people in baskets earlier. How many more have you got? She can't remember. We'll soon see when it goes through now. The templates, the little plastic templates... $24.99. No, you see, even at $24.99, that's a good deal. It is it? a good deal because they're absolutely fantastic. Is that uh, non-slip spray? Shall I show you how to do it while we're on the job? Have we got any of that non-slip spray? Oh, hang on, the non-slip spray now. This is one. That's this that one. one. Mm -hmm. Shall I show you? Yeah, yeah, I'm just... Because I, think, I don't know if there's any of that left. I think some, it's good to see it, isn't it? Yeah, I'll get there it. There you go. Uh, $24.99. Not today. For the rulers, there's all of these, right? The templates, look. Aren't they brilliant? Uh, use them with your jelly roll, your design rolls. £12.49. No wonder they sold out. How many have we got, Hannah? Right, we could only get 30, but... Uh, 24 have oh. gone. Uh, when you all checked out, 24 have gone already. Well, I'm just going to show you. I've got one of the templates out, so you can see four and a half quarter square triangle there. Turn it over so that you can't read it. It's back to front, so you're doing it on the reverse. And then with this spray, and this is your spray and stay, this is your uh, a non-slip coating. That's perfect for adding to rulers to add more grip. Yep. Give it a good shake. What's it called? The propellant? The propellant. And then just give it a spray. Let, <laughs> let the propellant evaporate. And you can see it moving there. And once that's dry, this then will have that anti-slip. It's already there. Uh, uh, oh, look. Hang on, there's a bit of black. How fabric. fabulous is that? Look. Can I have that bit of black fabric? Top. There you go. Oh, thank so, you. I'm just going to put a little bit more. Yeah, ruler's rad sell out. Just let the propellant go yeah. on your fabric. Yeah, the fabric moves before the ruler does. Yeah. See that Before one? and after. That one's going. Yeah. That one's not going this anywhere. This one is not but going But it's anywhere. not going to mark my fabric, look. No, no mark. doesn't ruin the ruler It's not tacky. No. No? No. What does it feel like, though? It just feels like a peach skin. <laughs> it feels... You know there's something there, but it's not really there. Yeah. Like a peach skin. Like a peach skin. It's like... Right. Triple pack space was this one. It's like... It feels like, you know, that moleskin fabric? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. that four suede fabric. Yeah. It feels like that, but it's not rubbing off. No, it's not sticky. You're not it's tacky. It's genius, isn't it? So that's in that, that's in that bundle there, 19 99 should be over £20, that one. Should be over £20. Righty-ho. Now, 
Okay, the goodie bag that we started with. There's, oh, right, sold out. There's now 10 more, that's all. 10 more of these Le Leanne's special birthday deal. I love these. 110 88 is how much it'd be if you bought the whole thing. Goes to 39.99. Do we go through it again? Yeah, go on. We've got that fabulous little kit with the teddy bear and then everything's in there. You've got your thread, you've got your cotton, your needle, your stuffing, your felt, and then you've got your embroidery template. So you can see where to put all of the pieces and the little key ring and the piece of ribbon. So everything you need inside there, the little kit, which I absolutely adore. We've also got our snap fastener kit in there. We've got our applique scissors. We've got our iron-on embroidery transfers. The embroidery cotton to go with. We've got a stitch and cut, oh, beg your pardon, set of dies. So it perforates all of the holes. Brilliant for felt and making decorations. Applique dies for a bird. Make stuffed animals uh, with that as well. Yeah. Your mitre tool we've got in this bundle. We've got our seam binding ribbon, which, which is gorgeous. Absolutely loved. That looks like if you get a suit from Savile Row. It's a Hong Kong binding. Yeah, it's a Hong Kong binding, but it's like it's like the really, really expensive tailoring. Yeah. Uh, but you don't have to just use it for that. You can use other things, but you could mm -hmm. use it for this beautiful, it absolutely is. beautiful. And we've got some organza ribbon in there. And we've got a spool of beautiful oh. lace on a fancy spool because yep. I'm obsessed with it. And then we've got a Mylar template pack to make a storage roll. Now, we're calling it a sewing template. Uh, for Four the left. Oh, gosh. Keep going. So do it with makeup brushes, do it with your crochet hooks, use it as a jewellery roll, whatever you want to store. And then you've got a little zip section on one side, you've got your slots in there, and then you've got a piece here where you can put your needles and things if you want to. It's just a really great set, and you've got all of your instructions in there too. Fabulous. Yep, that's gone. Right, now, are we going to get the, the Gemini out as well? We're doing that after the break. Okay, fine. Right, oh, so, <clears throat> this is a bundle incredible. of... Uh, Father Christmas. Oh, it's not a bundle, a separate. I thought there was a bundle, sorry. So which one do you want to go first? Right, we'll do Snowman first then. You need the Gemini machine for this. They I'll are dies, this one. I'll show you what. Actually, you can open it after the break. Oh, 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 no, I'll open it now, open it now. I was going to say, because we're going to be doing the Gemini mach machine I'll use it, break. yeah, we can yeah. do it then. So this is a die set. They're a good size. I want to, because this looks like a tiny little snowman. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. wanted to show you, this is a good size. There's my hand. You can see that's a nice size. We're going to cut these from felt. And when you cut these from felt, what it does is cut the shape. It also perforates the stitch holes so that you can hand stitch these together. You can applique them or you put them back to back and make your and stuff them and make your hanging decorations. Okay, half price. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. I'll put the tiger down just for that. Right. there. $4.99. Now it's never too early to think about Christmas. $4.99. So that's your snowman. Then we've got Father Christmas. Yes, and the sizing on them is all the same. So if you imagine that sizing in this design. Yeah, because that picture's not doing it any justice. It's not doing it any justice at all, which is why I wanted to open it yeah. for you. They're a nice size. $4.99. Uh, June says she uses her... Oh, uh, 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 hang on. She uses her purple bag for all her crochet paraphernalia. Crazy Rain says her friend Chloe's studio is full of crafters' companion. Looks like a shop. I can imagine. So many messages. Anyway, there's your Father Christmas, four ninety nine. Then we've got reindeer. <laughs> Not two that time, Michael. And then we've got you get two in this one. You get Holly and you get Christmas lights you in do? this one. I made a little garland of this to wrap around my Christmas tree. So I did it and then I put them on a long piece of ribbon. Oh. I stitched the ribbon into the top so it's like a little hangy light holly, light holly, light holly with some lovely, um, with the felt and it looks so pretty. And this year I'm going to get some little LED string lights. I'm going to wrap it around and put a little LED behind it. I was about on. to say, I bet, I'm surprised you didn't put lights mm. in it. And we've got festive bundle felt. Oh, have I done reindeer? Sorry. Yes, we oh, did. Oh, yeah, sorry. I just took it the wrong way. Right, here we go. This is festive, festive felt, this one. Saving 30% off the price tag. And these £10 are £10.39. The so, for example, they're that pale pink, that's his little cheeks. Yeah. If you can see that. You've and got white in there, so I Yes, and the that's snow, the Santa's though. beard and yeah, his face and his hat, in there. Yeah. yeah, so you've got all of the colours you need. And then your brown there for your reindeer. Mm -hmm. Orange for the nose. Green for your holly. Mm -hmm. 
at £10.39. And you know, can I just say with this felt, this felt is perfect for this kind of stitch and cut die because it's got, it's a little firmer. Yes. And so... Oh well, yeah, you didn't want floppy you felt. You don't want floppy today. felt for this because you want it to have some, you want it to be stable and not rigid, but you want it to have a little bit more substance to it really for when you're putting that together. Lovely. Right, we're going for a break now. Check out, check out single figures. When we come back off the break, we'll just recap the Gemini machine, show you how that, that those dies would work. And we've got some other bits and bobs in the next hour, oh, next half an hour. I've only got half an hour of the hand left now. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you back here in four minutes. Hi, everyone. I'm Eval McItamney. I'm a patchwork and quilter. And what do I do the rest of the time? The rest of the time, I actually own and try and manage village fabrics in the town of Wallingford. How did I start my sewing and journey? Well, I've been sewing since as long as I can remember. I started out dressmaking with uh, my mum and my big sisters. And since then, I've tried my hand at most things and have finally ended up with patchwork and quilting. And I think that's probably due to one of Elner Burns' Quilt in a Day books. Let me assure you, you don't make a quilt in a day but it's been a passion of mine for the last 25 years and I'm still at it, so there's hope for us all. So what do I enjoy sewing? Well, I like to do a bit of most things, to be honest, but my favorite thing is anything to do with my Japanese fabrics. So as you can see, we've moved to a different part of the shop and here we are in another of my favorite corners. And I really enjoy combining the lovely Japanese fabrics with some hand stitching and um, hand quilting. So I've moved to the permanent Christmas room at my shop here. And as you hopefully can tell, this is quite a large shop here. So most of my time is uh, involved in keeping this running successfully. So I don't really have a lot of time for claims to fame. So what I suppose I could say um, is that my claim to fame is actually managing to manage John Scott. Um, I'm sure he'll take that the way it's meant. So um, love you lots, John. My top tip is that children's colouring in books are a really valuable resource whenever you're crafting. You've got nice, clear outlines that can become templates for your applique work, or you can transfer them and use them as quilting patterns. I can't draw, but I can create lots of things using bits and pieces from things like children's colouring in books. Give it a try. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items, you can spread the cost over two, three, four, or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. So you didn't 
see this during the break. She was going like this. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Just sprinkling magic dust on things. We don't need magic dust. We're so interesting. <laughs> Anyway, Leanne, uh, we're just going to re recap the machine because yes. there's so many of these gone today and loads still in basket. So it's the Gemini 2. Yes, it's the Gemini 2. Now, you haven't got... The pressure is exactly the same as the original yep. Gemini. So it's got all of the power precision performance that you would expect from a Gemini machine. That has remained unchanged because it was perfect before. What we have done is given you some extra bells and whistles mm. to make your user experience uh, more improved. So we've included the fold down platforms which catch your plates as they go in and come out of the machine it means you don't have to catch them out the back mm -hmm. those platforms have got included storage inside so you can lift that up and actually John the experience for opening that when you sometimes get these little trays that open up they're done with a little plastic catch that catches in here and I tried a different machine that had something like that and I had to literally get a kitchen knife in to get it no open. Yeah, and None you don't that. want to be doing that. Nope. So ours is magnetic. You've got a little magnet uh, in there, and it's very I easy yeah, 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 for you yeah. to be able to get that up and put that back. So it's not going to be difficult for you, no kitchen knives required. You've mm. got one at the front and the back. We've then also included a media stand for you on the top there. That's to put your tablet or your telephone or, you know, you're watching Sewing Street and you're crafting along making a quilt at the same time. Yep. And included storage in the top of that machine for your tools and your regular use things in there. So we've included that for you. We put our confident click buttons on here. So these are, you can hear that, that confident click technology. So you know I've that you've pressed that before, it. Yeah. Um, and then we've got in the reverse of here, three USB slots so that you can charge your media as you're using it. So if that's your tablet, because you're watching Sewing Street, you have it plugged into the back of your machine, your telephone, USB lamps, you know, if you want a daylight lamp that would go in there. Whatever it is that you want to charge, you've got your three USBs and you've got your rocker switch for the power to go on and off when you're using it. So uh, that is on the reverse of the machine. Inside the machine, we've changed the mechanical sensor to an optical sensor and it's the full length, which means it's a light beam that gets broken, accepts your plates and takes it through the machine. Um, the other thing that I've done, we talked about at the beginning of my Italian leather sofa and the slider yep. feet. We've included the glide feet. So this is a hefty machine. If you pick it, it's about seven kilos. So it's not going to glide off the machine while it, the table no. while it's doing it. It's no, 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 no. It it it's only if you add friction. If you add movement yourself, and you can do it with one finger, yeah. it really is incredibly easy to do. And it will move so you can put it out the way for your sewing machine, bring it back when you want to. Uh, cut with it so it just makes the maneuvering of a heavy workhorse mm. item and it needs to be for the quality of the inside yes, yeah, yeah. you know for it to be or have a power precision performance it needs to be a hefty thing makes it easy for you to move around Lovely. you get included in the box all of the plates you could need because one of my bugbears is having to purchase an extra thing. So you get two cutting plates. They're white now to break the white beam. These will last you three times as long as the original plate. Mm -hmm. You get the new improved shim, 10 times as long as the original shim. Your metal cutting plate for use with fabric dies, your magnetic positioner for paper craft, and your rubber embossing mat for paper craft. They're all of the plates that you need. Okay, so that's what comes with it anyway, right? The bundle we've put together now, it should have been, how much is the bundle? <coughs> £383. So if you buy everything that's in this box, sorry, Leanne, I'm sorry. just going to um, yeah, bring sorry, that box in. Pardon. Sorry, no, no, no. Apologies. No. There you go. So you also get all of this with your machine. Yes. So now, if you don't want the slidey uh, legs, uh, you've also got a turntable. That This is really, really, really... I'll move over so you can turn it over. Really easy to install because the holes have already been cut in the bottom of the machine for you, haven't they? Yes, you've got the drilled holes. I'll show you on this one. You've got the pre-drilled holes in the bottom of the machine yep. to fit that turntable. So you don't even need to work out where it goes. When you put your turntable on... This is what it looks like. And you can see there's the pre-drilled holes where yep. you just screwed it. You even get the little screwdriver in there to put them oh, in. Oh, wow. Yeah, Fantastic. So everything, you don't need to find anything. Everything that yep. you need is in that box. And when you apply that, what that does is, and like you were saying, John, you have to craft up against a wall mm. or your machine's up against a wall. You can put your plates in the front 
and rotate it and collect them as they come out the back. Yeah. So you're not even having to reach over the machine to get what you need. It will be delivered to you. So it makes that crafting experience better. You've got that rotation where um, you are not having to lean, stretch, move, especially if you've lost some of your dexterity or your strength. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you have to craft sitting down and so you can't stand yeah. to go and retrieve that. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You put it in here, turn it, retrieve it from the back. So that's what the turntable is for. So that's just one thing. Then you get your die of your um, extended hexagons. You also get this. Now this is worth, is it 59.99 this? Uh, do you get the alphabet? 69.99. You get the alphabet, you get the nut, you get numbers, you get uh, abbreviation, you get uh, eight block uh, patterns in there as well. Then you also get extra white sheets. Now, you're, you're saying, why do you need those? These are just there for future use because the white ones that you've got have been made so they last even Three longer. Times as long. Three mm -hmm. times as long. Mm -hmm. Then. You must have our, if you're going to cut fabric with yes. them, you need the fabric place. You can, right, you can do this, right? You can use this one because that's what it comes with. That I still <laughs> use that on mine, but this makes it so much easier. And use you can that. put more layers and it extends the life of the rest of your plate. There you go. And you get the lovely neoprene bag that all goes in. So when we first launched this machine on its own, it was £229. So today, if you buy it for £249.97, you get the machine and you get all of those goodies with it as well. Okay, that's 24997. Lots of you got it in your baskets. Make sure you check out. We're only rushing because we've only got half an hour in this hour. So we need to get everything sorted, right? So that's your Gemini. Oh, sorry. Right, that's your Gemini. £133 saving on that. £133 saving. Okay, we will see the machine in action in a second when we do the applique dies. Right, so I'm going to do this first of all because you'll need some low-tack tape. Oh, Hannah's losing her voice. So this one here, you get 12 rolls, 12 reels, right? Uh, you get, you only pay for these two. 20 left. We got extra of these. We have to get extra of these. There's only 20 of those left now. If you want those, you need to come in for that now. £9.98. So you get paying for two. Get, I mean, when I say two, you're paying for six rolls and you're getting six for free. Well, there were six there, but Leanne's just I've the next one. Yeah, because I need it for my next thing. <laughs> so that's that one there. Yeah. Now I'm going to do this bundle here, which is your Gemini Applique Dyes Animals. Right? So I'm just going to shove you over a little bit, Leanne. Sorry. It's all right. Shove. 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 She's from the north. She knows what I mean. <laughs> right. So we've got At The Zoo, Farm Friends, Animal Friends and Felt. £63.96 if you bought all those together. That's not your price. Okay, while, the, while we're waiting for... Which one are you going to open? Which one do you like? Oh, which one do you fancy? I don't mind. That one? Yeah. Pig. Oh, sorry, we haven't crashed yet. We will be, we will be. So you get three of those. So you get 26, 46, 56, 63 dies. Oh, so at the moment they're a pound each and you get the felt for free. But watch this. Mm. Half price. Half price. £31.98. Right, so... So I just want to show you what you get is all of the dies in each bundle. And then the dies have all got um, an... An, an instruction. So main body, head, horse's tail, cow bull and horse's nose, front legs, pig's tail, sheep, dog and cow markings, hair for the sheep. Right. So you know exactly which each of those are. And then th we show you the maps for how to cut and assemble all of the different animals. Oh, it's very design. clever. So they all come from the same basic shape. Yes. You've embellished it to make it into a different animal. Correct, yes. Brilliant. So these are our multi-craft dies, so not quite as deep as... Um, the quilting, the builder block dies, right. a little bit thinner in depth. But and that's still just, okay for fabric. Then. Still okay for fabric and from your felt. So let's just take that pink one and say we're going to cut a couple of pieces to do the, the pig. pig. So I would need a body. Um, and then I would need his head in the same colour. And I'm going to need two little ears in the same colour. And the ears are those, those shapes which are... Can I see it? Oh, yes, there. Is that a Thank little you. one or a big one? That's a little one. Cow, pig, bull. So it's, where's the big one? 
Oh. Has one fallen off? Has it been opened before, do you reckon? Hang on, that's a horn. Is that, is that it? No. That's the little one. There yeah. must be a big one somewhere. Must be. Must have dropped off. Yeah. It's do, be, do little ears then. Do little ears. We'll do these. You'll get the idea. Oh, well, they are the little ears anyway, look. Oh, yes. Yes, they point down. Have to work out how you get where the course. I don't know. We'll find. We'll work it out. So you get all of the pieces there, and then what else do I need? Pink. I've got a little fizzle there down there. I've got need legs, uh, and the legs are front legs. the shape. Front legs. So I need that in pink, uh, and I need that in the darker pink. But you need tail. Darker pink. I need a piece of that. Yeah. So I'm going to have a piece of that off there, and then I need the tail in a lighter pink. Um, so that's there, that's the foot, and then his nose, which is that, for his little oink. Oinks in the dark, and then the the little bit, the tail, thank you. And then there's a smaller piece that I need for his oinks. A what? Oh, his nostrils. Them. Okay, so they're all going to go face down in there okay and do you know what i've done with these so i've got a set of these and can you remember fuzzy felt yes so i've cut all of these pieces out in felt and then lined a board with felt and the pieces are all in just a little box and my granddaughters make up the animals put them on and off no she's born does she so she just, just makes? little fuzzy felt characters and it's great to be able to do that so just make sure they're all pointing down the blades uh, well not the blades the cutting edge because there is no blade they're not sharp let me just prove that it's not cutting yeah. anything they all go in position like that and then we just make our sandwich up now i'm not going to put the metal shim in there because i don't think i'll need it um because it's just the thin dies what i am going to put in is my magnetic positioner the metal is really just for when you're doing your eight to ten i can't pick that up john because it's magnetized to the table there we go thank you oh i never didn't know you could do this yes yes for your felt so you don't have to have the metal in there at all because uh, the metal really is just when you're Cutting several layers of yeah, cotton, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the hard job. I this never knew that. one layer of felt. So you can just put your regular sandwich together for this and pop it through. What I haven't done and I should have done it's, is yeah. tape them. So I'm going to hope to the cutting and felt gods that they don't move. If they do, forgive me. You should tape them with your repositionable tape. Yeah. Let that go through. Fizzle, fizzle, fizzle. So the fizzle, fizzle is the cutting edge going through the felt. Which that box doesn't go off the edge of the but table. But you can't hear the mortar. No. Whisper quiet. So you could, if you are, if you suffer with a little bit of insomnia like me, what you can do um, is use this in the night when, when the rest of the house is sleeping. Yeah. So that has cut these pieces perfectly into my cutting plate. And I can move the dies and I've got all of the pieces left. And then all I would do is assemble. So I'm following my little map. I've got my body. I'd need to cut another one of these because I need two feet, but you're going to get the idea. And I'd need yeah, two yeah, legs, yeah. so I'd need to run that through again. I don't. We'll, we'll, we'll pretend you've there. done it because I don't yes. want to. Um... Yes, we'll pretend. So that leg is going to go there. So you see, we'd have another leg. Yeah. Then there's his little oink. There's the little. You need um, another one of those as well. Need another one of those for his nose to go on there. There's his little ear. Need another one of those. Which is going to come down. You'd need another one of those. And here's his little tail coming in there so you see how he's coming together beautifully it's so easy to do with that set of dies and with the felt um, and when you're cutting these I wanted to show you that you do that without the metal shim you don't need it with that was ones. I didn't mean I've never ever seen that yeah that's you brilliant. don't need it uh, and that's why you get all of the plates in the box you want the least amount of pressure and only use the plates you need don't put extra plates in when you don't need them because yeah. the power and the machine is such that it is uh, exceptional. Brilliant. Where's the envelope okay. to take from this? There you go. So that's how easy they are and how easy they are to assemble. You literally follow the map and each of the sets has the same technology. So you get the basic pieces and then we give you the maps to create all of the different How models. brilliant. And you get all of those. You get all of those <laughs> for 31 98 And that's a nice size, John. No, it's brilliant. Mm. So you're getting the three packets of dies and the decimated felts <laughs> in there. <laughs> so 
Yours won't look like that. Yours will be the finished, you know, the full thing. Uh, all of that for your 31 98 better than half price, that one. 63 96 is what it should be. Righty-ho. Oh, Kat's going to have to pass out when she sees the mess of that bunny. <laughs> right. I've got another die set here, which is called Cut and Stitch Friend. Thank you and hello. Right, so you get all three of these in this one. That's what I was getting. Love these. Right there. So I'll just move over your way a little bit. There we go. So we've got hello, friend, and thank you. Again, this picture doesn't do it justice. It doesn't does it? do it look, justice. Right. Look. So what this has done, this I'm going to have to show you the dies and slides. Oh, oh, because it's just very, it just helps. I think it helps you understand at home what you're getting and what you're going to do with it. So look, this isn't, and like you say, this doesn't do it justice. This yeah. friend one. Where's he gone? There. there. So because what you get inside here is, and here's another. I've got another friend. Yes, there. So I can show you the difference between. You got two friends. I've got two friends, and that's the only two I've got, John. Oh, is it? Yeah. So uh, the difference between these two is this one is. I hope I'm one of those two. Sorry? I said, I hope I'm of course, one of those one two. Of course, one of those two. That's all right, then. Of course. So this is cut in and this is layered up. So you right. can see this has got like a drop shadow of felt behind it. Yeah. This is straight into the fabric. You've got two dies here. So this die, outer die, would cut that out yellow. Right. And then this is your Oh, it friend. just cuts the holes. So it just puts the holes in. So I was wondering how that's worked. So all it's done is it's just cut the holes in the, the holes linen for you to then put, put your, your needle thread through. through to make it absolutely readable and perfect but then if you want to do that and you want a layering piece yeah you cut out the layering piece and then you cut in the holes into the layer and you, you do it at the same them. time you can do it yeah. at the same time absolutely you can make sure you use your repositionable tape to stop of them course. moving oh, yes, yeah. and then you get all of these little applique floral pieces to build that up as well so you're not just getting the friend you're getting all of the accent <laughs> You're not just getting a friend, you get an just a friend. Uh, uh, do I get instructions in the packet as yes. well? Yes, uh, instructions are on the reverse. On the outside. It's really on the outside. easy. Okay. Yes. Thirty-eight ninety-seven is how much you should be paying. Paying. You're buying two and you're getting one for free. Nineteen ninety-eight. So you're getting that. I'll move these. So you're getting that, 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 and that. There you go. For nineteen ninety-eight. Up as we go. There you go. Fabulous. Build a banner. Oh, now this is brilliant. This. Well, now I know we've got one of these as already open, but never mind. Build a banner. So I can tell you what you've got in here. So you've got a die to cut the different shapes. You've got a big one. <clears throat> for the pennant, then you put in a different shape, whether you have the V, the scallop, the upside down V or the curve. And then you've got Mylar templates inside to do all the letters. Yes. Is that right, isn't it? Yes, that's right. 60% off. And whenever you see this little camera with a step by step, you can follow through and there's video tutorials to show you how to Is use that you? Free, not me. Becky. Oh, OK. Not you. Not me. Not anymore. 9.99. <clears throat> Nine pounds and 99 pence for that one. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the one with the pom-poms and everything. Where's that? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Cat was holding it, saving it from me. Right, yo, that's that oh, one. I like this. So what's this, then? So this is if you're making little... So you know your felt. If you're die-cutting... Um, like a little brooch or a little key ring holder or anything like that. Your little felt pom-poms are to put in the centre of the flower. You've got your little lobster clasps, you've got your brooch backs, you've got your ribbon to hang with. And then if you've got your felt, you can free cut a felt. You can use your flower dye if you want to. Um, so you've got key rings, lobster clasps, brooch yes. backs, bo felt balls yes. and ribbon. And ribbon. Uh, it should be 6 99 Half price. Member, member, if you've already put to add it to your order, you don't pay any more P&P for it. Three pounds and 49 pence. Hello, Carla. Hello. Felt bundle. <clears throat> So what have we got in there then? What colours? We have, have got all of the colours of the rainbow. So you've got lovely pinks, greens, blues, oranges. You've got your like your burgundy colours in there, your corals, mustards, turquoises, mint, uh, sunflower, navy, <laughs> violet, <laughs> sage, olive, turquoise.
turquoise. It's just an absolutely glorious colour. And it should be fifteen ninety nine. Let me see that one out the way. Fifteen ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Seven pounds and ninety nine pence. Yep. No snake. Right. Yeah, now these are available set. We haven't got time to do them separately now, but they are available. But the most affordable way to buy them is like this <coughs> in the bundle. Um, so you've got uh, apple core, clamshell, elongated uh, hexes, and jewel. Jewel, that's a good one. I couldn't remember. Let me just take that one out of the way. There you go. So they should be $64.98. Oh, it is $64.98. Sorry, $64.98. Of course it is. You just switch, yeah, uh, Hannah, you switch this off. It should be $144.98, sorry. Uh, at $64.98, which works out to about £14.8, should we work it out, something like that. Beautiful. On the split pay at £32.99. 55% is what you're saving, and it's still on the split pay. Uh, and these are our multimedia dies, so these are the ones that will cut 8 to 10 layers of quilting cotton. So, what are the other ones you said? What were those ones? Multicraft. Okay. So, these are multimedia, which is the deepest fabric cutting, dedicated patchworking. Right. But dies. could I, if I'm doing, a, if I'm making a quilt or thing, and then I want to make a card, mm. can I use those to cut cardstock? 100%. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so you just vary the sandwich. Yes. And we give you all of that, the instructions in the booklet in the Gemini. Brilliant. Yes. 64.98 for all four of those. Oh, Drunkard's Path. Someone wants to see Drunkard's Path. There you go. Very, very popular builder blocks we had earlier. $59.99 this is meant to be. Brilliant. And you can't... Well done. You don't just do what's on the front of the box, you see. You can do all... In all fact, ten. there's way more than that you can do with Jumping Path. Way more than that. We give you the maps for um, your 10 designs, and you can do all 10 designs and four sizes. Yeah. So there's 40 different blocks in that one set. And then and then when you make... Uh, all, all you have to do to create these is make loads of these and just sit with them on your desk yes. and turn them. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me. Find your own. Yeah. Find your own. Uh, completely, completely. Yep. Thirty-five ninety-nine. All of them cut to precision. Absolute to precision. And then bay leaf. <coughs> this was the most popular of the ones earlier. Oh look, I've just found the piggy piggy's tails ended up on the table. Oh. <laughs> just very quickly can show you because this is the one we opened. Yeah. It comes in that beautiful slidey drawer. Then your dies are all in a beautiful soft touch place to keep them all lovely and safe and secure um, with the map so you know exactly where they should go. Put that in the base. Yep. And then you get your full instructions in here as well. So we tell you how to create your blocks. Blocks. We tell you about cutting a cane to the grain. We show you an example. And then we show you all of the different block types. We tell you how many to cut for each of the different sizes and how to assemble them. And they go all the way through for all of those 10 different patterns that we showed you. You. Brilliant. Uh, 35 99 Right. Uh, the machine, we have to just finish on the machine next. We've only got a couple of minutes left. The machine, now this bundle for 249 97 is incredible because if you think when we launched this, it was 229 just for the machine. And today you get all of this as well as the normal plates which come as standard. So <clears throat> we can't say we've added those today because you get those anyway as your standard, which are your two white plates, your magnetic, your uh, embossing one, your metal one and your sandwich shim. All of that comes as normal, but then on top of all that, you get this. I think I might have lost everyone. Yeah, my thing is gone. Uh, so you get uh, elongated hexes, die. Yep. You get the really useful turn table. Turny table. Thank you. You carry on. Annie. You get your uh, fabric cutting plates in there as well, which will extend the life, how many layers of fabric you can cut and extend the life of your plates so that it minimises the warping when you're using the fabric plates. You get your two white cutting plates, which last three times as long as the original cutting plates. You're getting your alphabet 
build a block die set. This is not the letters in here. These are all of the shapes to create those letters yourselves. And you can do them in five different sizes, those alphabets. So each letter, each icon, each heart, every single shape in five different sizes. You're getting that whole set. And a neoprene bag to keep your plates inside. I think the whole bundle itself is something like £383 if you... A 92 pence. pence, yes. Well remembered. Uh, well done, 249 now. How many are sitting in baskets? 10 sitting in baskets. Make sure you check out, check out. Loads of already checked out in front of you. Uh, I'm not going to say we're going to sell out because we can get this. Uh, at the moment, we yes. can get it all the time, can't we? I just want to show you this, though. Yeah. <clears throat> because we didn't show these when we did the little animals, did we? How cute are these? Aren't they just adorable? There's the lion there. The Panda. monkey. Monkey on that side. I thought she was pointing <laughs> at them. Sorry. So we've done Michael Jackson. We've done the monkey. <laughs> Cats, dogs, frogs. Yeah. Unicorn. Oh, no, we've got a frog coming up in the next hour. I'm obsessed with the guinea pig. I'm oh, buying yes. As soon as I leave here, I'm shopping the guinea pig. Absolutely cannot wait to make that. Uh, Leanne, it's been a dream. I've loved it, John. Thank you. When are you oh. coming back? As soon as you'll have me. Brilliant. Yeah, I'd love to. Perfect. Yeah, no, we're going for a whole year. <laughs> no, not a whole year. No. A couple of weeks. Yeah. Brilliant. All right, then. So you have a safe, because I know you've got to I'm go to straight all the way up back north, north, I do. Uh, it's a safe journey Thank to you. Thank you, John. Make sure you stop at the service station to have a nice coffee. On I will way. do. And don't That's you go anywhere because Steffi's here with some gorgeous uh, more felted animals. You've got brand new ones. You've got a lamb. We've got everything. See you back here in four minutes. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband, and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now, and by stitching I'm talking about counted cross-stitch, or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers, and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine. And it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques. I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. 
Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. I used to have some swimming trunks made out of this. <laughs> Steffi's here. <laughs> Say hello, Steffi. Hello. How many green machines can we cram onto one shelf? <laughs> Looking behind you, there's a green machine that side, there's two that side. Anyway, Steffi, it's lovely to see you. Yes, you too. I hear you've been in the wars. I have, yes. I've got a poorly foot, but it was all planned. Um, so I had it was planned? It was planned, yeah. I, I didn't, didn't have an accident or anything. Yeah. Like this. I, I had an operation. And so I'm sitting down today with my foot slightly raised. And, oh, is um, that? and yeah. when did you have it done then? Um, oh, it's just under two weeks. Oh, it should be better by now then. <laughs> well, got to get the cast off in a week. Hopefully, oh. fingers oh. crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Oh, well, it's lovely to see you anyway. Yes, thank you. And, oh, I like your blouse. I've just noticed. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Were you wearing that when you came in this morning? Um, yeah. Oh, well, I wore well, lots you wrote, of layers. Oh, you had lots of layers <laughs> on. Yeah, exactly. Right, so what's this then? What's this thing I've got here, first of all? So this bag, you know how people who craft like bags because you can put your project in and then put them to one side. And um, so this is what we would call a project bag and it okay. fits um, some of our kits perfectly. But not only have you got the bag, there's actually stuff inside. Well, loads this of stuff inside. Now, obviously, this, this is Steffi. It's not Leanne Chivers. Just so you know, she's not from Crafters Companion, it's the makers. It's because we've had to do a half and half. Right, so what we got in here then, Steffi? Obviously a pair of scissors. Yeah, you've got a pair of scissors. Um, you've got the edging tool, which I think I brought that last time. It's yeah. actually a useful little tool to get very neat edges, um, needle felted without stabbing your fingers because you've got a Oh, yes, 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 short, that, right. Talk edge. Um, we've that, we've gone got... colourful with our needle I was going to say, I've not seen they're, a purple one before. Well, well, you might not get a purple one because oh. they, it, could be, it could be red, it could be green, it could be yellow, it could be orange, but it's definitely a colour. So okay, so it's the luck green, of a draw. It is the luck of the draw. So it's the same as normal, Yes. but you've just done a coloured hand. That's right, exactly. Is it still wood? It's still wood. Uh, everything's the same, but it's just... And have you sat at home colouring these in then? Yeah, absolutely. Good, right? <laughs> okay, so that's that. You also get your um, stabby mat mm -hmm. and your needles there. One coarse, one medium. Oh, three needles, mm -hmm. one fine. That's Plus right. your two compostable mats. That's it, compostable mats. And I thought I'd show you, I've used this for absolutely ever. And it does get discoloured, but it felt down really solid. So these mats are very durable. You can use them over and over and over and over. And um, I quite like it when they get a bit, um, when they look a little bit. I like things yeah. when they start, they start yeah. So, I like it when they're so brand I've, new. I've used it all brand new. But then I also like it when it's worn. That's it. I've probably used this for over a year now. So this is definitely a product that will Oh, you last work on it uh, every day? You've worked on it every day? No, if I've worked on it every day, I think it would be rock solid. Like I was going to say. But yes. And then what's this? Stick it. Um, so I like... Um, you have to be like a maker's um, a maker's pro to know these things. Okay. Um, so 
when we, we, we often use glue in eyes, yeah. and um, you don't, we, as needle felters, we don't use a lot of glue because most of it is needle felted. But when you do need a little bit of glue, it needs to work with wool and often needs to work with wire and wool or silk clay and wool. And yeah. this is absolutely perfect. It's the best glue on the planet. So I, uh, uh, in I your literally, opinion. I use this every day in Steffi's world. This is the best glue on the planet. There you go. Now you get 10% off. It's brand new. We've not had this before, have we? No. So you get the bag, mm -hmm. you get the, the, the pad, you get the needles, mm -hmm. you get the scissors, you get the edging tool, you get the colorful random at choice, and you get the glue for thirty-five pounds and ten pence. Can I just say something about the scissors? Yeah. So the scissors might be a different colour too. <laughs> <laughs> this is like your lucky day. You don't yeah. know. It's, what colours might they surprises. be then? Well, some of them have got like a printed pattern on them, um, but they're all exactly the same style, exactly the same size. And I know that um, you know the, uh, people who do sewing and so on have these little uh, scissors already. But these you could you could just reserve for needle felting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then your maternity scissors, so you keep doing it while you wait for your baby to arrive. <laughs> Anyway, all of that £35.10 pence seems very, very good. You have got 10% off. You've never seen it before. We do do special here. And can, can, can I just show that if you were to... Oh, um, yes. If you were to put your... If you were to go somewhere and you needed everything in one bag, you can just put your stuff in there. Now, if you, if you don't want it in a box, you can cross these two handles oh. wash over. Cross these two handles over and it keeps things safe. Now the box is a little bit too tall for it, but if you just put your needle felting in there, you've got it secure and you can just take it and put it maybe in a larger bag. What's it made of? Because it's like a stretchy. It is like a stretchy. So you can, it's really great for wool because you can just stuff wool into it um, because you know wool is squishes down a lot. So um, it is a stretchy fabric. I don't know, it's a woven stretchy fabric, but you can wear them as swimming. I just think it's people. lovely as a little bag. Bye. Put your wallet, your glasses, and your keys in there. Well, in the in the office, our, um, my uh, my lovely colleagues, they thought you could have loads of them and then put a um, put a like a pole through it. Well, you, you look could... a bit stupid going shopping with a no, pole. No, no, keep it at home. Have it oh. in your project bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I up. think that I agree That's with that. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And you think, oh, what am I going to do today? Ah, take that one. Oh, are these <laughs> your imaginary friends at work? Uh, no, I have got real friends and colleagues. I feel really weird being over here because we used to stand right next to each other. I might come over in a minute. Let's do the kits and I'll come over. Right, so that's 30, 35 pounds and 10 pence. <clears throat> right, that's uh, very, very popular. Very, very popular. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening today today. My voice is going. Right, so now we're going on to sewing mouse, right? This is flying out. This is flying out. Uh, he's been on before. Look at him. Look, oh, hang on, look at him. Look. Half the stock has gone on pre-order. Yeah, do I get the sewing machine? You get the sewing machine and a do piece of fabric. However... However, it might not be that fabric. It might not be that fabric. You're actually right. <laughs> and what's <laughs> more, what people have been saying is they've been making the mouse and they put the fabric that they're using at the time for sewing into the sewing machine. So they have a companion sewer. <laughs> You're not impressed. No, I am. <laughs> I just, I just think it's weird that you spend all day buying like baby Wellington boots, baby sewing machine, <laughs> baby fishing rods. That's because and all. I've never grown into an adult. No. <laughs> uh, anyway, look now. He has he got different fur. So, so it is made with the wool inside the kit, and and it's a particular technique where you twizzle um, the wool, and it sort of curls up, and then you felt it down as as it curls up. Oh, yeah, look, that's good to do. see that one's doing a tartan it. blanket. It's, it's a different one. But I will also just say that I have run workshops on these sewing mice and they are so easy to make and people absolutely love them. If, if anybody's watching who's made a sewing uh, mouse before, do tell us because I know you all... But hang on, that's not just straightforward felting though, is it? It is, yes, everything's felted. But how's it curly? So, oh are we going to do that? We're not doing um, a demo. No, we're not doing a demo on this one. Um, well, you could chuck me the, the mouse and a bit of wool, and I'll show you. Chuck. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I need I need that long. You need that one or that one? That one. This isn't going to go fly through the air, is it? <laughs> it will. Go on, give it a good whack. Oh, hey. Perfect. So basically, what you do is imagine he had a little bald patch still. You take a little bit of the wool, like a tiny bit of a strand, and then you. You anchor it just by adding it into his, um, his body. So you make a naked mouse first, so to speak. 
So you just felt that down, so it's basically attached now. Yeah. And I'm just going to shorten this a bit so I don't have to twizzle it, it too much. And then you twist it in on itself. And can you see how it's curling up and making and making that those little curly oh. curly shapes? And it's those that you stab in. That's it. Super easy. That's so clever, isn't it? I know. And then I thought when I opened it, I was going to find curly wool. No, this one is, is different. You can make your own curly, um, curly coat like that. And you just felt it on. And that's how all of it has been covered. Oh. It's clever, isn't it? Mm. And the glasses. You make, the you glasses make your own covered. glasses. They're designer glasses, which you design. Okay. <laughs> with a wire I get a piece inside. of wire, do I? Yes, you get a piece of wire. And then there's silk clay in there to make his little ears. Oh, and that you also can cover his feet and his hands, which hasn't happened um, on, on this particular one. So there's a, there's a bit of a sad story I, I need to share. Oh, um, no. Oh, I know. So this isn't actually a mouse I made. Um, we went to a show in Scotland and our van got broken into and all they took was a box of all of my finished samples. That's no. all they took. I've been absolutely heartbroken. But I will be honest, my lovely felting community came to the rescue and they literally inundated us with finished samples that they posted to us. Oh. And even people came to the show that I was at and they said, you can have this, you can have this, you can have this. I don't know what, what, which emotion was bigger, just the upset about the lost samples or just the unbelievable um, generosity of, of these lovely felting oh. friends who just... I wonder, uh, stole, I wonder it was I think I the think van. the door was faulty and they just grabbed the first box that they could get in because when you open a door, even though the van is locked, um, it sets off an alarm. So I think they just, uh, they just grabbed the box and ran. And, um, I wonder so, what yeah. they thought they were getting. <laughs> Can you imagine their faces when they get back to the, <laughs> wherever their jaunt is? You know, they take their masks off and I they know. open up and go, oh. <laughs> I know, the masks off. <laughs> but then there was that, there was that drag queen, wasn't it? What's he called? Lavoie. And his whole van, he was on tour, and his whole van of all his costumes and his props and everything got stolen. Oh, no. So he put it out. He was crying. And oh, yeah, I was. Dribbling and everything yeah. like that. No, well, but he I did a Facebook dribbling. and an Instagram thing, mm. <clears throat> and they, someone saw the van in somebody's drive. Oh, my goodness. And he got everything back. They'd oh. just taken it. They'd taken the whole van, lock, stock, and barrel, oh, and everything. I see, yes. But he got the whole lot back. So, yeah. uh, you know, how lovely, though. I know. Was. So lovely. But it's so sad when you go to a show and you haven't got a single. Because the, the samples sell, sell the product. Yeah. Yeah. So people can actually see what they're making, but we are we've been rescued. So a lot of the that even some of the products that are out there are not I haven't made. Oh, but okay. but it just goes to show our kits work, and you can make something that you don't actually notice I haven't made. Okay, uh, <coughs> I love the instruction at the beginning. You start with a naked mouse. That's from Kate in Merseyside. <laughs> exactly. Eight left. Eight left. No, eight, no, left no. eight left. Eight <coughs> left. Want back. Right, we're going to do now. These are new. These. They are. Right, so we, I'll tell you the three I've got. I've got Kingfisher, Robin, and Bar now. Right now, these are. Just tell me what these have got to do with the RSPB. Okay, so basically, these are under license with the RSPB, which basically means that we're supporting the charity. But more to the point, you're supporting the charity with every kit you buy. So. Yep. We are allowed to use their logo, the, the whole kit, the contents and everything has been approved by the RSPB and the model that you're making on the picture is actually an RSPB image, oh. a copy of it at least. So, so now, so then, um, do I felt it like a, when I do a landscape picture, is that do, how I yes. do it? Yes, it, it takes minimal amount of wool, which means you have absolutely loads of wool left in the kit as well because you probably would have thought, what you're putting in this kit, just air. <laughs> yeah. But so it, which one am I doing first, then? Owl first, then. I should also just say this is our most environmentally friendly um, product that we stock because the RSPB is very, very keen on eco-friendly and looking after the um, environment. So as you're, as you're going through it, I just chip in. The box is made from FSC. I, I won't say anything, you just talk. I'll, I'll talk. So the so the, the box is, the, the actual packaging is made from FSC, um, paper um, and it's also um, has got recycled paper in it and the new paper is FSC right the hoop the hoop you get is made from UK beech wood which is FSC um, obviously you know about our eco wool mats they're uh, made from recycled wool and fully compostable the wool itself is GOTS certified which stands for the global organic textile standards 
and the dyed wool is dyed according to the Ecotext standards, which is uh, non-toxic dyes have been used. And we don't end there yet. No. Fa fabric is organic. What fabric? The fabric in there. You haven't haven't seen it yet. The fabric. The fabric in there. I think you point. Is that the fabric? You're yes, pointing I'm pointing at yeah. the fabric. That is organic um, cotton. Yeah. And then you get um, water soluble paper in there as well. You Ooh, need that, that. Um, so that you have a, a, um, a can trace the template. And um, the needles are made in the EU. So needles what? The, the felting needles are made in the EU. So low carbon footprint. The, the eyes are made from glass and wire. So um, this, is, this is basically it. I, 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 and to, to top it all, which uh, you can't see on any of the samples because I brought the wrong ones, but you're actually <coughs> using the cardboard box to seal off the back of the... Oh, so you'll use the cardboard box yes, to except, finish the back yes, off except that. except I haven't done it on those. I no. have another set where that has been. And made. you also get completely and utterly mm. full... Look at the structure. <gasps> I mean, look how many pictures are on there. There's the cardboard box going on the back, look. Mm -hmm. So you can use the packaging, basically, for that. Oh, and there's your template that it you is. draw onto your That's fuse. right. And, and, on the, and on the bottom of the template, um, it, it ha there's a colour chart, so you can identify your colours. So it is a little bit like colouring by numbers, but um, far more fun. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and if someone gets stuck, they can call, call, con you don't mind people contacting no, you? No, not at all. Absolutely not. We have a Facebook group called Everyone a Maker. And uh, we always have, I, I sometimes don't get to answering any questions because my, my lovely felting community beats me. Oh. But these, uh, we've just released them. So we had them on pre-sale on our website. And now they are now let loose, basically, uh, direct. And they've been so popular, you wouldn't believe it, how, how many of those have oh. thrown out. Literally. Uh, Joking aside, Steffi's kits are brilliant. Generous amounts of wool, topsy. Don't worry about running out. So satisfying to do. Thank you, Kate. That's beautiful. So that's okay. this one. That's this one. Mm -hmm. Quarter of the stock has gone already. And another quarter in baskets. Brand new to us today, those. Brand new to and us today. And you don't have to have needle felted before. Everything's um, suitable for beginners. Um, the instructions are super easy to follow. I think that's one of the feedbacks we always get is that our instructions, if anything, they are just, um, you know, better Definitely. than best. Right, so that's bar now. Kingfisher. Oh, no, I've got another thing. Kingfisher. The thing is, right, hang on, £18, you've got, if you think about everything you've got in there and the fact that then no. you haven't gone to a website where you get things very, very cheap sort of thing. No. You've got everything's top quality right. and eco-friendly yeah, and ethical and everything. If you knew how much the hoop cost, it would be yes, your exactly. eyes water. Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, so there you go, here's your... Oh, bye, Kat. It's not 12 o'clock yet. Yes, yeah, she was supposed to be here till 12, though. <laughs> she, she said this morning. I said, what time are you here to? She said, I'm staying till 12 today. Anyway, look, gorgeous colours in there. They're beautiful, very satisfying. I like that one in there. I should also say that we're bringing out three new birds every three months. So, so a bird a month. A bird a month, but we, we do them in sets of three. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Be in, in this way? In, in this, this way, in this yes. Set. Oh, how so, gorgeous. So if you like a collection of birds, this is great to get your hands on the first Flock. three. Flock. No, they're not always called well, flocks, though, are they? Birds are flocks, yeah. But yeah, no, but if you, if you... Anyway, there's, there's two... Anyway. Well, every bird has got, like, owls are parliament, aren't they? Yes, and, yeah, yeah. And so oh, yeah. that's right. Yes, yeah. of course. Right, so that's all of that. That's your kingfisher. Beautiful colours in there. £18. You're saving 10% still on, the, on these. I should also say I haven't designed them, actually. You they're haven't designed them? No. Well, no, no, because they're drawn by the... No, no, I haven't. Actually, this is one of the kits I have not designed. We've, we've employed um, a, an, an outside designer because I knew I... I it's not, it, sometimes I don't have time, but I also know Agnes, who's actually done them. She's the most amazing artist. And Who is it? Agnes. Agnes is her name. Agnes? Agnes, yeah. A-G-N-E-S-E. -E, Davis. Oh, OK. And um, she, she's known as A.D. Woolcraft. Oh. Yeah, she's she really has done some beautiful work. I've written the instructions, but I didn't actually make them. No, no, of course not. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So then we've gone from Kingfisher. We go on to Robin now. Mm -hmm. Absolute favourite, isn't it, Robin? Beautiful. Mm. Uh, uh, Hannah's saying, could she embroider if she wants to embroider mm -hmm. something? Yeah, you, you can, you you can, can embroider yeah. on over it. Absolutely. Yeah, most Also, people. well, a robin, now, I don't want to be maudlin, but a robin, if you think robin in the garden, they meant it's somebody who's passed, doesn't it? Who's come to mm. visit you sort of thing. 
Oh, yeah. So Hannah, when Hannah sees a Robin in her garden, she thinks it's her granddad, right? Mm. But you put his name or the date of his birth or something like that, or his death or whatever on there. That's it. I went to Clairvoyant the other day and she said, if I see a Robin, it's my dad. Oh. There you go. It's really weird. I've got these two huge cats and one of them, Luther, sits on the <laughs> garden table. What's the matter? And chats with Robin. Reading the story. <laughs> chats with Robin. Oh, really? Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, are we going to do a demo now or are we doing more kits? Robin demo. demo please, okay, yeah. right. So let's get on with that. Um, so I thought I'd show you how to start out because that might be um, if you're already needle felting but you're not used to doing um, something flat, that might be um, lifting some um, mystery. So, oh, wrong one. So as I said before, you have actually got a lovely colour palette here on the back of the list, which is quite useful to get your colours matched up to the different colours because we're referring to them throughout the instructions, but you might not necessarily identify all the colours. So um, if, if, oh yeah, they've even been packed in that order. Clever, clever, clever production team. Well done, girls. So you didn't pack the boxes either? So they, you didn't design it, you didn't pack no, the boxes? No, oh gosh, I know, don't pack boxes. Don't let me lose on boxes. You'll only get half the stuff. I'm, I'm like a, <laughs> I get distracted. We know that in the morning when you turn up, you go, oh, I haven't brought this. Oh, I forgot to bring that. No, that wasn't my mistake. <laughs> not this time, though. So you get um, a, a bit of water-soluble paper in your... Um, kit and that is what you need to um, to start out with the project. So you overlay the water soluble paper, make sure you've got the robin overlaid on the robin template, make sure it's in the middle and then you trace around with um, a pencil. Now I like using a slightly blunt pencil because and a, and a soft pencil as well because if it's, um, if it's quite sharp um, with this fibrous fabric that you're tracing around um, sometimes the pencil tip can get stuck in it uh -huh. and then it, it feels sort of like you're pulling the fabric but so a, a soft slightly blunt pencil works the best and you're just gently going round every single detail on the robin and um, it's it's not so complicated on this one the kingfisher you will take a little bit longer to trace all the lines because the kingfisher has got so much detail yeah. um, on him um, saying that, they, the kits, like I say, have been made and um, the feedback we've had is that they are really easy to make. So it's okay. not, um, don't, don't, if you love the fin kingfisher, I nearly said finkisher. Um, if you love the kingfisher, go for the kingfisher. Um, we always say, go for what you love rather than what you think you should be doing because it, it seems easier. Yeah. Um, because then you've got the motivation to do it. Um, if, you, if you want a kingfisher, you go for the kingfisher. Right, so then um, double check that I haven't missed anything. Looks okay. And, um, and then you're going to, um, if any of you do embroidery, you know this much better than I do because I am really not an embroiderer, but you're basically fitting this now inside. Where's his beak? I know, well it is there, but it's very pale. Okay. So I'm going to just uh, trace around it a little bit firmer. No, you'd missed it out. No, I didn't, it's there. I can, well, maybe it's not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a good job that you can go back. So yeah. that's it. There's the beak. Is it all there now? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay. So then you are going to um, open up the hoop. Yeah. Nearly. And that uh, piece of paper that tells you that it's made in the UK and all the rest of it should just come out. And then hopefully, if, you, if you've if you never worked with a, a hoop before, this will hopefully help you and give you some confidence. So you place it onto the smaller hoop that hasn't got the screw um, first, and then you place the larger hoop over the top. Might have to open it up a bit more because you've got more to fit in now. So just to reassure you that later on you will be taking this out again um, because um, you so it doesn't if if it's if you think it needs to be moved slightly to the left or to the right you can do that later. Okay. Let's just get it in there, and then uh, the felting mat that you get in your kit is actually perfect fit to fit inside. Um, That's handy. The, the um, I think this is not from the kit, so yours will definitely fit perfectly in there. And so now you're ready to start your kit. Yeah. And um, in, in this kit, if you've needle felted before, you would have never had a, a needle like this in your kit from us because we've gone with a recommendation of um, Acne's. You get three needles, by the way. I've just got one yeah. here. And this one is a, a yellow tip needle, one of our yellow tip needle. And that is a, um, a star 
um, a cross, um, sorry, uh, a star felting needle, which means that the normally the, the shape is triangular, but this one has got like a slight star shape and you can felt um, with it really with fine wool. So then right. you go back to your instructions and you start um, with mixing wool. So it's it basically tells you exactly um, what Can you... Can you just pull it down toward... To that's it, that's the, it. Perfect. The text. So there's a lot of text here, but it's really worthwhile reading it because if you've needle felt it before, you'd be absolutely amazed how little wool you're using. Um, so you always identify um, the, the wools that you're using. You take tiny wisps because you can always um, add more. Um, you mix and then it tells you how to mix the wool. So here um, you are mixing um, the mushroom and the dark chocolate, which is two, these two colors and you take small amounts, it's, it, it really is, you have really will have a lot of wool left over. Because the, the secret about this picture is in its, um, in its delicate um, style. So the two wools, you, and it tells you whether you have more of one or more of the other, but this one is equal quantities. Lay them on top of each other, tease them apart, and this is just to um, get the exact right shade for um, the top coat of the, where the wings are and the top of the head. And it's really worth mixing it very thoroughly so that it turns into a new color. It's, it's like mixing paint where you uh -huh. want to get exactly the right shade of, um, of wool. And then you start coloring it in. So the, the, the main thing to remember is that when you color in a bird, you want to do it so that the fiber runs in harmony with the feathers. So you wouldn't do it stri stripey like that but you're going from the top down. And, the and way you've, all, uh, you've already split that in half. You've taken half yes, of the way Yes, because I, I, I want to use the minimum amount because right. I can always add more, but putting too much on, you won't be able to see where you are. Yeah. Um, so you start by stabbing it gently into the, um, in the, into the bit, like this little mask on the forehead. And then you just continue stabbing it on and follow the line all the way. Now the reason why you're using a uh, water soluble paper is because um, you've got obviously got the template on there and later on when you finish with your picture you're going to cut um, the, the excess water soluble paper off which is why you're taking it out of the hoop again. Right. And, um, and then for the last tiny bits because you can't get right between the legs you will have to just dab a little bit of water uh, using your fingers onto the water soluble paper and it will literally um, disappear in front okay. of your eyes and there won't be any residue left, um, any visible residue left. So you just gently stab that on and you do this in... in if you love details and if you like a, um, sitting down and just getting immersed in a, in a, in a little project where you, you can, f as fast or as slowly as you want, you'll absolutely love this. And always remember, you're going to end up with this amazing little um, picture where people will take a double take and look, how has this been made? Because mm. it's not that obvious that it's actually been needle felted. It could well have been painted or um, embroidered. So um, you can uh, keep people guessing how you've made it. And um, I, I would say it's probably a project where you want to take your time. Don't rush it. It's no point. What you do need to do, however, you need to continuously lift your felting mat away from the fabric because, look, you're stabbing all the way through the fabric to the other side. So this is typically what will happen. The whole back, you will have sort of a, a negative copy of the robin on the other side eventually. Oh, it's and like a little ghost on the back. It is, yes. So um, it, just, it just means that you're actually doing the, the thing right. Yeah. So sometimes when you uh, needle felt like this, it might be quite hard, but um, stay away from any drawn lines. So keep um, even uh, minor details just uncovered um, because you, you are going to cover them with, um, with other wool in, in good time. Uh -huh. And the, f the needle is very fine. So if you're not used to using um, this finer needle, there's no reason why you can't use your own needles. I know that my colleague Carol, who's made the robin, she says, oh, I prefer using a green needle. But we've, like I say, we've gone with the advice of Agnes, who, um, who does ex absolutely exquisite work, and she, she likes that really fine detail. Okay. So I need to tell you that half the stock's gone, over half the stock's gone when you've checked out, over half the stock of this one's gone. And, and it, is, it is so absolutely worth it, because you will end up 
with um, an amazing piece of art. This is beyond just making a um, needle felted project. The, uh, the, this, this will be a piece of art that you could um, hang on your wall or you can gift to somebody. It is definitely um, quite, quite something um, to, to accomplish and for you to make. And you, you can make it with love too and then um, people will appreciate it even more. So, so um, I can continue colouring this in, but um, it might be better to move on to something else. Oh, OK. <laughs> <It's> got an <laughs> hour and a half. It takes a while. I know, I know. I've got two other things I can I do. was found again. I can, right, I, I'm happy to continue you stabbing keep going, away. I'll just recap. And then when again. I come to something exciting, I'll, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right, Robin, over half the stock of Robin's gone. Here he is. You get everything you need. Didn't even open this one. Look, everything you need in here. So you've got your instructions, your hoop, your color, uh, your wool, uh, your uh, wool mat. You've got your needles. You've got your eyes. You've got your water soluble paper. You've got your canvas, your cotton canvas. Everything you need there, and very, very thorough instructions to make yeah. a robin. And you get two eyes, even though you're only using one. So um, we always imagine the worst case scenario. Imagine you drop an eye and you can't find it again. Yeah. Then you can't make the robin. So we, we're putting two eyes in there and then you can um, have one spare. You just couldn't be bothered unpacking them, could you? Oh, my goodness. It takes longer to pack two than one. Yeah, OK. <laughs> two eyes, uh, 18 pounds. And they're brand new to us today and you're saving 10%. So that's the robin. Kingfisher next. Beautiful colours in there, aren't they? Uh, everything you need again, including the hoop. All very eco-friendly, ecology, e eco, what's it, sound. Well, we, it, you literally cannot work with the RSPB until, unless you prove that um, yeah. you have those. Well, that's good. Those um, values. And with every kit you buy, you are supporting the RSPB. So the some of the money charity. from the kit goes to the RSPB. 100%, then. yes. Not 100% of the money? No. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to afford to feed their kids. 100% you know? um, there is money going to them. Yeah. <laughs> God. Beautiful. £18. I got you 10% off there. They're lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous. <clears throat> then the owl. A uh, owl. Loads of the owl in baskets. Let me just show you the back as well. Remember I said it said, look, look, you get like a ghost on the background. Oh, That's Hannah's not it. sure about that one. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, 18 pounds, very, very popular, very popular. Beautiful, right. I've got a 3D Kingfisher. He's got a label on him oh, as yeah, well. Oh, yeah, sorry, this is Oh, Jan, one. Jan made this one. That's right, Jan made this one. Jan made, oh, was oh. I supposed to read that name? No, you these? can, you can. I mean, I took it off the sewing mouse, but the sewing mouse was from Karina. Um, so we, we thought we honour the people who made yeah. the make. Why is this one called Second Clive? Second, um, I think it was the second picture that she made. She made one. Clive? No, it doesn't say Clive. Take, uh, love, made with love. I don't know. I need to read it. <laughs> it's not called not Clive. Sure. It's not Clive. Don't try and get up because you'll fall over. <laughs> right, so which box is this in then? Here, this one. 3D. Oh, it's you making all that noise. <laughs> not, not Jimmy. No, it's Daddy Adam. Oh, right, so 3D. Oh, you, oh, hang on. Can you go from the front? There you go. There he is. There he is. There he is. Have they really got beaks that long? They do, yeah. They do. They go fishing. Well, I know that. They, yeah, but they have to fish a, fit a fish in it, don't they? Okay. £22.50, getting your set. Now, this is a, says a small kit. Is that the small one? It is. Well, it's, the, it's to do with the size of the box. <laughs> but it's actually quite a big make. <laughs> okay. This is, this is my logic. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> why is there a dot, white dot there? Is that what they've got? Because yeah, that's what old do. ballerinas used to do in the old days. Did they? A big white dot and make your eyes look more open. Yeah, no, they, they, they do have a white dot. Shh. Yeah, they're just chatting and joking. It'll go in the shift report. It's not Michael. Michael's not doing it. It's just Jimmy and Daddy Adam. Daddy Adam has gone very grey overnight. Anyway, let's have a look inside the box. 
So again, you've got... Oh, now, this obviously is a 3D, 3D one, so you need the bolt to make the body with. Mm -hmm. Oh, now, why have I got this in here? So, um, you are needle felting the wing onto that and then attaching it to the kingfish. Oh, oh, I see. That's it, yeah. So you use that to make the wing? Do. That's right. So you, you make them separate. separately? Yeah, because if you just felt it wool flat, it tends to come out like a, like a quite a thick um, finish. Okay. So if you're felting onto something, you get the nice thin yeah. finish. Yeah, and what's in there then? Um, that is florist tape for his feet. Oh. So you get the bird legs. And if you, um, if you look at the, um, the, have you found the legs yet? No. Okay. So there's, um, there's some There's no legs in there. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Don't say there's no legs in there. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to look like so, that. So the legs, um, the legs are sort of like a, a plain template leg. And then obviously you can bend them into a more natural shape. And you can, um, you can once they're glued in, you can cut the back sever the back so that you've got not haven't got that loop on the back anymore but more to the point kingfishers have got orange feet well i wonder why that is then i don't know <laughs> i'll ask them next time i see one all right all right <laughs> and um and so basically you cover it with florist tape it's perfect to um, make the legs more authentic uh you get your needles in here you get oh, one white needles. one orange one green yeah you get the tape to do the feet, you get the feet, you mm -hmm. get the water-soluble paper, you get That's your stabbing it. mat, compostable, you get your glue in eyes. This is what you make the main body out of. That's right. And then this is what you cover it with, these beautiful... Oh, now mm -hmm. that one's got like an iridescent... It's got a, it's got a shimmer in it, so, um, so sometimes kingfishers, because they go in the water to fish, don't they? they might, you might catch a bit of the... Oh. bit of the water on them. But they're, wet, they're, they're, wet. they are actually quite iridescent. Irid I can't even say the word, that word. And again, you get four, I mean, the instructions leaflets get thicker and thicker by the month, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> Everything in there. Am Are you I still doing your Facebook Lives? Yes. When's that? When's the next one? Um, so I don't actually, I don't plan them like you do. Oh, <laughs> my planning is just Sunday at four o'clock. I did it. one last night impromptu on my way home because the boar were in the field, literally on the bottom of our drive. There were, there were six sows. And, oh, my goodness, I don't know how many humbugs. Um, probably... What are, we talk, what, what are we talking about? Humbugs? Yeah, uh, piglets. Oh. They look like humbugs, don't they? Oh. They're, called, they're called humbugs. It was the cutest thing ever. And the, the, the boar, they make such a mess of the field. You, you can literally see them. They shovel with their snouts under the ground. And there's some, there's some in a farm shop near me. Yes. And they've, give, they've given this thing, and they literally go yeah, they down rotivate. into it. That's it. They yeah. rotivate everything. And then, and then little piglets, they were running around. So they, 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 it's almost like they have a nursery. So the the, um, the families gang up to get well they uh, stick oh, yeah, together yeah, 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 yeah. and they look after each other's pictures. Oh how lovely! Yeah, well, you live in a lovely sweet. place. So that was an impromptu live stream. Well, That's no, where we it, come had I found that at the bottom of my garden, then I would. Know. I was <laughs> no, going to do an so impromptu. Excited. I was going to do an impromptu one this week when I got in my cold water tub, <laughs> but I couldn't work out how to. Hop hold the phone and be naked and oh get in goodness. the water all in one go. And talk and got while you're out of breath. <laughs> and yeah, they're out of breath. And then the bit where you go, <laughs> you have to keep breathing, you have to keep breathing. <laughs> and then I might have swore, think, that wouldn't matter. I think you would have been banned from Facebook. Yes, with and then you have to get out. Don't you? You'd see me struggling to get out the side. Anyway, that's quite oh. fine. Robin next, 3D Robin. Oh, he's cute, this one, 3D Robin. Oh. So the robin also has got the florist tape around his legs. Has he got orange legs as well then? No, he's got beige legs. Oh, they're so gorgeous, these, aren't they? Look, like real, like a real one. So if you prefer doing them 3D... Now this one's a girl. That's a girl, that one. OK, enlighten me. Girl robins are chubbier than oh. boy robins. <laughs> What, even a blow, even one that like puffs himself yeah, up? Yeah, really? yeah. Really? Oh. That's a little girl, that we one. We don't mind girl well, You can tell there, look, you can see that's a girl, look. <laughs> Michael agrees with me. Oh, what's the yellow for? So you're mixing your own... Sorry. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Do you want me to come and get something? <laughs> yes. Oh, Michael's there, Michael's there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I think that's... Oh, she's um, unplugged herself. I know. Uh, anyway, look, so you get your reds that. and your okay. yellows there, you mix your colours, but you get your gorgeous greys and browns. That's your main body. You get your wool mats. Oh, you get black legs. Black legs there. Oh! Oh! Beige florist tape. 
Yeah, the thing is, on the on the um, Kingfisher, they were joined together. I just thought I'd broken them. There. No, no, you haven't broken them. They're just a different type of legs. Beautiful. Oh, oh, and he's fallen over. She's fallen over. There she is. There you go. Beautiful. How much is she? £19.80 with your 10% off. She's gorgeous. Then, oh, little Jenny Wren. Oh, oh, now hang on. Name, name. Kay Crone. Thank you very much for this one. Kay Crone made this one. Now, isn't it funny that the way that wrens fly around in your garden because they have a very distinct way of moving, don't mm. they, wrens? Now, are these beginner friendly? They are, because bird shapes are actually really easy to make. They're just sort of round blobs, aren't they? And then um, you colour them in. And if you follow the instructions, you, you'll get to exactly where you need to go. It's quite ginger, the wren, isn't it? Yeah, they are. They have sort of that really lovely, rusty... Yeah, Steve so you get your colour. coloured wool there. Oh, there's only two colours, plus the... Yeah, because you mix again. Yeah. So you can make lots of shades out of that fo fox rust brown. That's the magic about um, uh, felting wool. You can literally mix the wool so that you can colour, get, get the exact right colour. Now, don't shout at me, because I know the answer to this, right? Okay. But Hannah's asking this. Is there a polystyrene ball in the middle <laughs> of it? <laughs> I'm not even going to talk about it. <laughs> And Hannah didn't ask this. No, no. <laughs> Hannah did ask it. When? Just, Just now. now. Oh. That's what this is. Yeah. In a facetious Have you not got way. Your in? Oh, I, I do, I do. But I was listening to you. I can't, I can't multitask. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lady. You can multitask. <laughs> well. Anyway, that's the wren. Beautiful wren. At 100%, all of that's wool. There's Absolutely. no ball 100% inside. 100% wool. Don't ever is buy a kit with polystyrene. It's not working. Okay. Um, is, yeah. that, is that clay bee? Yeah. We make Maybe. those silk clay beads. Silk clay. It's all in the detail for us. We just, we just love, we just love that um, that level of detail and quality. Oh no, no! I think it's, if it's worth it. Oh, oh just no, killed it, the bird. It does come off because you can. Um... Oh, we're not doing that yet. We're not doing that yet. <laughs> now, do I get the piece of wood? You don't. Oh. So, so the blue tit was also stolen. Oh. So this is this is one that we had on a piece of wood, so we couldn't take him off. Really. Oh, I see. Um, yes. Yeah. But, but so much, you, I don't look at his feet. You make the blue tit, as you can see, without the wood, you don't get that. Okay. Mm. Nineteen pound eighty. Oh. <laughs> Love the colours again in there. I had a blue tit that was in my spare bedroom once. Yeah, it stayed for ages. Look at the gorgeous cut. Colours in there. I get everything. You get the eyes, the legs, the silk clay, all the wool, the needles, the stabby mats, everything. Mm -hmm. Plus the instructions. And they are really easy to make the birds, so um, don't feel afraid going for that for those. I, again, I teach them in workshops, and um, to teach in a workshop, it takes an hour and a half. Oh, okay. Um, but obviously, and that's um, with more than one person. That, well, it's with more than one person, and obviously, I'm I'm teaching it, so I'm people don't have to take the time to read it and then fathom it. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, um, everybody is always surprising themselves how how well they can manage. That's quite them. satisfying then, if you can make that in an afternoon mm. or something. Isn't yes. It? Yeah. But you can take your time as well, and and it has got everything in it that you need to make that project. So the you only can thing, hear her. The only thing we never put in there is glue. So, um, but... Glue, 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 you get glue in here. Exactly, so this is where you need the glue. It is... We'll just see how many of those are left now. So in the, in the kit, if you weren't here at the beginning of the show, in the kit you get the lovely bag, brand new today, F fewer than 20 of these, so you get your needles, your, your stabby match, your glue, your scissors. Right, okay, I've got to tell you, the scissors might be a different colour. Mm -hmm. You get your edging tool, you get your um, handle, which could be any colour of the rainbow. Uh, plus the bag, thirty-five pounds and ten pence. And the oh. bag is can be quite useful for a little project bag. Yeah. That's what I would use it for anyway. I just think it's a nice little bag, full stop. Because it's quite, mm. um, it's, it's quite roomy inside. Mm. Look. Yeah, it sort of stretches and it has got a gusset. Put your butties in there for mm. your lunch. Big word for me. Right, Joe. Now I'm going to the wreath. I'm going to do this from upstairs. So don't don't worry about the the blue tit coming off. It's meant to come off. Right. You can also wear it as a brooch. Oh, okay. So it's it's got a multi-function. 
So you get the um, Blossom and Blue Tit Wreath, mm -hmm. saving 10%, £31.50. It's a the, big box, this one. So when these arrive at your house, basically, you can start making them the minute yeah, they arrive. You've got everything in the box that you mm -hmm. need. And with this one, you um, yeah, this you don't. Different. You need you need a scissors with that one. Oh, they come in that project bag. How handy! Uh -huh. And um, and um, with uh, because you're making those uh, lovely blossoms, they are actually needle felted onto water soluble paper. So you will need a little bit of water to dissolve the paper. Oh, okay. <laughs> <We'd>, <laughs> There's no water, water in, in here. The box. Sorry. <laughs> Or the ribbon to hang it, the needles. Yeah. You get bigger felting mats in this one. You do. All the lovely wool there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful colours. The pink separate... for the inside of the blossoms That's is actually it. multicoloured. And, and then, then you've got you your have wreath. a separate bag of wool um, to dress the wreath, the, the wire wreath. So would I... Yes, you wrap that. Um, completely wrap it Wrap like it that. completely all the way around. Yeah. And then uh, you felt it down. Obviously, mind the wire inside, but yeah, um, um, yeah you, you, you can manage that. Yeah. And then um, and then you start, it's almost like a, a 3D end of picture all in one because you, you colour in the top of the wreath as if you're doing a, um, a picture and, um, and then obviously you do the blossoms and add them like a 3D and also the, the blue tit like a, like a 3D um, addition. And then you can hang it up and um, enjoy it by looking at it. Beautiful. But did you know that wool is water resistant? Well, it has so, to be, otherwise the sheep are drowned. Exactly. So if, if you wanted to hang it up outside your door, you could. It doesn't, uh, get, it doesn't get spoiled. And it won't um, run? The colour won't run? No, no, the colours won't run. Um, I, think, I think the only thing I would be worried about is that the birds might come and pick it. Well, well like, uh, Hannah had one. Know. The squirrels ate the berries off Oh, no. <laughs> and they were oh, plastic, right. not real berries. <laughs> right, I've just got to recap the pictures of the birds. There's um, a couple on the floor. These Sorry. are very, very popular. There's, there's one on the floor, John. Uh, did I not one on the floor? You did, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Rob Info, I didn't notice. <laughs> Rob, oh, and it's really tipped everywhere. <laughs> no. I'd help you if I... If no, I don't you stay there. <laughs> Send the message, though. I won't be able to read it, though. <laughs> Morning, Chris Packham. Didn't know the difference between male and female robins. You're a font of knowledge. Love your shows. Thank you, Glynis. <laughs> I thought she was going to say something rude then. <laughs> right, so there's a Robin, first of all, £18. That one there looks like a boy, <laughs> to be honest. Well, you don't need to turn it over and have a look at the underneath, do you? Oh, while I was up, I should have found out what that said while I was... Oh, that. yes, let's have a look. Clive. <laughs> so, second owl... And oh, owl, not Clive. Oh, sorry, second owl, yeah, sorry. Second, it was as easy as that. <laughs> uh, I'll show it to you in a minute. <laughs> right, but we're on the robin, and the robin hasn't got a label on it. Who made the robin? Um, they are all made by Agnes. Oh, Agnes mm -hmm. made all of these? Yeah, she made all of those. What's say hand, sorry? Oh, do we have, there's not enough of those to go around. Check out, check out, check out. I'll do the owl next, right, have a look at this. Doesn't that look like Clive? Oh, I can see Owl now from a distance. <laughs> Close to it says Clive. Thank you. Michael sees Clive. <laughs> <laughs> On a Friday. <laughs> anyway, look, here we go. £18. Very popular. They still haven't fixed this telly with a line, line across it, have they? It did go black and yellow. You can't see this at home. We've got a monitor in here which has got a big, black, thick black line running through it. And the other day it went black and yellow. And then don't worry, it's going to be fixed. It's back, the black line's back now. Anyway, that's the owl. Kingfisher, very, very popular. They are amazing birds. I absolutely love kingfishers. And when you spot them, it's, it's beyond excitement. Oh, no, no, totally. Yeah. Totally. Oh, no, there, there, there must be one that lives behind me because every now and then it comes on the tree. There's two ponds near me. Mm. Did I tell you I had ducks in my kitchen? No. Oh, yes, I saw that. Um, yeah, it was it's... really weird. I was upstairs doing an email and I could hear this. Rap, 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 rap. <laughs> downstairs, I was like, what on earth? And it was a mum and all her, like, ten little babies in the kitchen. They're terrible mothers, ducks. Someone wrote that. Someone I know. Someone said that, uh, um, <laughs> what kind of... 
Mallard, female mallard, is that yeah, possible? Yeah, they're really, honestly, they, they lead their, their, their little chicks into so much oh, well, ducklings, rather. Uh, we had, so to, had to chase them down the road, or corral them down mm. the road. Then we had to go through Brad's back gate yeah. into his garden, then open the back gate into the field behind. Then they started getting caught up in the fence, so we had to get them out the fence, and they went off to the... <laughs> they're really terrible. Oh, no, but all, it's funny how the little the babies all, all move like as one, don't they? They like do, that? yes. And then my two cats came down. Oh, and no. I thought, oh, no, this is going to be carnage now. Luther ran away. <laughs> uh, uh, and then Ghost was like, oh, can we be friends like this? He was like, oh, anyway. Right, moving on. Lamb. Oh, right, lamb. When Steffi put on Facebook yesterday, she was bringing a life-size lamb. And then we got an email saying, uh, Steffi might need some help getting things out of the car in the morning. <laughs> we thought there was going to be a lamb lamb arriving. But apparently the valet lamb are really little and cute. That's because their mums and dads are really little. There you go. So they're only, they only stand about 70, well, the mums <laughs> stand about 70 centimetres tall. Did you make extra large snowdrops then to make him look smaller? In no, the no, this is, this is, who has made this then? How come you got snowdrops in your, in your lawn? Oh, that must be, I must have taken that photo. That's one of mine. Yes, it is. This, this lamb was also stolen. Oh. I know. He's, he's no more. He's got this, different ears to this. He does, thing. because this lamb that you've got there was actually made by my, my colleague, Carol. She gave it to me to oh. have a lamb to bring. Look, look at his tongue. <laughs> so with, with this one, it's a wire frame and you get some... Oh, hang on, hang on. It's a wire frame. frame. Yeah, it's a wire frame. I mean, you make the wire frame. And you're using um, a yarn, a boucle yarn, to give it that um, lovely curly coat. Where's the wire frame? The, well, you make the wire frame. The oh, wire. oh, I wire thought there was a there. shape out of these. Oh, yes, that's right. Right, that hang on a sec. So I'll show you what's in the box and I'll show you the instructions. You get that. You get some silk clay for the okay. nose. And the hoofs. And the hoofs. You've got your eyes. Oh, they're bigger eyes, aren't they, in that one? They're big eyes. Then in yeah. here, you get your boucle. Your pink, your black, and your white. Mm -hmm. Then let's, now it's called a large valet lamb here. It is, because we also used to have a kid of a small valet lamb. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's the box, yeah. Yes. Uh, right, hang on, let's have a look then. So let's just see how, right. So you start off with your wool, mm -hmm. make the shape. That's it. Then, where so do you make no, the body shape? There's no, there's no wire in the beginning, but then when you, you, you put the wire through the body for the leg. Oh, so okay. It's, it's, it's a leg wire frame, if you like. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's all wool. The body and the head is all wool. Right. And then the legs uh, give it stability by pushing them through the body. So you have one wire for right. you know, okay. legs, basically. So, hang on, did I get any tools you in there? You do get the tools, but it's a separate toolkit. If you remember our packs, um, I don't know, it should be somewhere there. I know, I saw it this morning. It's definitely on your side, but it looks rather messy where you are, John. Yeah, well, it's not <laughs> anyone's fault but yours. But it, where's the kit then? In there? So it, no, it's a separate, it doesn't come inside the box. You get oh, it no, it came in. Yes. Didn't I pick up and you went, that's mine? No, Isn't I that didn't. What it was? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, it's not on my table. <laughs> But you get it anyway, it, so you get what's it in basically, it. Tell me what's it looks, in it. It looks like this felting mat, but unused, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> and you get three needles like these, exactly like that, three, one of each, um, fine, uh, medium and coarse. They're color-coded at the end in a little, oh, no, not that one, in a little um, paper envelope that looks similar to this, except it has got different writing on it. So that's what you get in your toolkit, and that comes with a box. Right. And it was in a little separate bag. It's not on my table. Oh, well. Cat will have tidied it away before she went home. You do get it. You, you do, do get, get it. it. You it's do get in, it. You're 37 it's in pounds. all of our packs that we bring to Sewing Street have got. There it is. Look on your trolley. On my trolley? <laughs> That's your trolley over there, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was I your trolley. I feel bad now. I've got to tidy up. Yeah, yeah, here's the lamb. Oh. <laughs> So you get this with this as well. So your That's needles it. and your mat included in it. So it's not inside the box. No, no, you get it. So all of all of the pink coloured labelled boxes, um, they come. They don't normally come with tools, but we give them to you. you. Uh, they don't have tails. They do. 
Why wouldn't they have tails? Sheep don't have tails. Well, they always are get born with tails. Some people, um, some farmers um, have them, like, they bind them off, don't they? And then they drop off. It's not very nice. Oh, I didn't but, know that. Yeah. Because yeah. well, when I was little, my younger Sorry. brother had a nightmare yeah. about sheep with tails chasing him. Oh, really? And we were like, there's no such thing as a sheep with a tail. No, no, a lot of farmers don't do it anymore. But um, I think it yeah, was 60 keeps, years them, ago. keeps them cleaner. What, to have no tail? Mm. Oh, mm. like a Manx cat. Well, they yeah. chop them off. No, they put a rubber band. Oh, OK, OK. So the same as doing the... <laughs> you did ask. No, 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 no. <laughs> so it's when they, like, when you want, to, you want to stop it having babies, you put an elastic band around them and they drop off. They do the same with the tail. I am like a vet, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, they put, they put a very tight elastic band around their little boys' bits, yeah. <laughs> and then it slowly... Nobody's ever going to buy this kit anymore now. They are. They're loving it. <laughs> you don't do that to this one. No, you just stab it. <laughs> you keep its tail. You do its tongue. That's it. And so you can bend the legs. That's the idea of having the wire in the legs. So you can actually Oh, you bend see, Kat them. kept saying to me, make sure you sit it down, John, because the back legs... Are... But it was just because that's how it arrived. sit down. Did you know that? Do you what? They go the other way. Sheep don't sit down. When they go down... Yeah, they go, go like that. That's it, exactly. Yeah. Yes. I watch them from my garden, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Oh. Afternoon, John and Steph. Great morning, loved everything. Hubby says you've lost the plot, John. Lambs do have tails and there's farmers. Dox them, that's the word, dox them. Well, none of the ones in my... Oh, I'm going to go home now and check. <laughs> While I'm sitting in my cold tub later. <laughs> yes, look at the tail. They don't have tails. I'm going to Google it. Okay, be careful. There's fewer than 20 of these now. Fewer than 20 of these. Now, is there a different way of doing this? Because it looks like he's got longer hair. Yes. So, um, you, you do... You do um, oh, gosh, do I have to show that again? Um, so, you, you, you make bundles of the wool. I'm just, have we I'm done just it already? Have I, gone, have I missed no. it? No. Do I have to show that as well? It's, it's <laughs> fine. I don't mind. <laughs> I mean, you know I, when you had your operation, so, how much thing did feel... they give you? <laughs> I feel so helpless because I can't reach anything. I can't move. I just need the box with the, with the, with the wool in it so I can show it. That's it. Thank you. Oh, I'm telling you, I think my family are ready to get rid of me. So <laughs> if anybody wants to adopt me for a few weeks, I, I, I promise I won't eat much. <laughs> so you get a whole ball of this boucle yarn. You'll have extra left. And um, it, um, instead of doing every single strand painstakingly, that will take you forever, you're actually going to wind it into um, sort of a, a bundle of loops like this. And then you use your handy little scissors from the project bag. From the project bag. And then you are going to put them on my overhead. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Then you're going to um, put them onto the side of the lamb. And then you're going to stab them in at the top. And you're also stabbing them down um, because you need to get them fastened on. You don't even need to cut the loops op um, open at the top or bottom. No. And they sort of just melt into the shape. And it's, it's very satisfying to do this because you get a cover of uh, these gorgeous locks on quite quickly. And that's all you do, basically. And you work your way around it. So you obviously have to do it in the direction of how the, uh, the wool would hang down. Um, and then you build up a little bit more on the head, so you've got a, a bigger head because they do have quite big heads. Yeah. And top, sort of top of the have head. To grow into them, don't and, they? Um, and that's it, really. And they have really squashed faces. So, uh, they have what? Squashed faces. They don't have long faces like some sheep. They have quite stubby, stubby faces. Okay. And, and they, they, um, they have that really squished down little nose as well, which uh, you make from silk clay. And then you do the hoofs as well. Is it hoofs? Which, is it sh yeah, sheep? I think so. Are they hoofs? No, don't they have something else? Oh, I don't no. know. Oh, got another yeah. sheep fact coming up now. Uh, Swaledale sheep have tails, stops the wind whipping around their nether regions. <laughs> when on the hills, well, if you have the elastic bands, Gladys, they won't have any nether regions. Do they? <laughs> hey, excuse me, I've just, I've just put, do sheep have tails, right? Oh, no. They do. 
They they do have, we have to ask Stuart next time. No, it's but saying now, in modern sheep productions, tails are nearly always docked. Mm. So they'll have had got rid of them before they got to the field. Yes. They... Oh, OK. Everyone's saying they've got tails now. I've got two sheep, both of mine have got tails from Sandra in West Yorkshire. Colin? Sing Oh, hang on. Little Miss Muffet sat on the top of it, eating her curds and whey. Along came Spider and sat down beside and frightened that there's nothing to do with sheep's tails. <laughs> <laughs> What's that got to do with sheep's tails? Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, I've got some messages in. Please check out on your sheep with its tail. June says, my gosh, you two are making me laugh. Debbie says, what a brilliant programme today. I love sheep. I need one. Have you checked out? Should I sold you herding your ducks on Facebook? Anyway... Oh, I've got a sheep to show you now. Uh, I've got to do this kit. So, you need your scissors. You need your glue for your eyes. Mm -hmm. And on here, it's been used for the eyes, for the nose. It is a really useful little, little bottle. Love it. Uh, 35 pounds and 10 pence. So you get the bag, the gorgeous stretchy bag. You get this uh, needle holder, which could be any colour. You've got your edging tools to stop you stabbing your fingers when you do a straight line. You get the best glue in the world, according to Steffi. Uh, then you get your uh, wool mat and your needles in there. And you get some scissors. The scissors could be any colour, is that they right? Could, yeah, they could be different. They could, be, they could have flower patterns on them. Oh, OK. Yeah, it's just... What, a, a bird... A stalk with flowers on it. I don't think it's a stalk. It is. It's a mater their maternity. I thought it's a crane. No, it's a stalk. So the, because the midwives used to use them while they went for the babies. Why do they come. call them crane scissors then? Where did you buy them from? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I thought it would make more sense to have a stalk, but yeah, they are stalks. Okay. And then when they cut the umbilical cord, they put the finger in there. So that it didn't cut the mum. Oh, my goodness. They don't, well, it depends if, if you're in the same person's house when you have a baby, maybe, I suppose. Maybe you should say that they're not for umbilical cords. <laughs> they're what? These are not for umbilical cords. Why not? I don't know. They're, they're strong. Now I'm going back to meet, meet the midwife. You should know this, Hannah. <laughs> oh, I can't watch it. What, because of all the babies? Oh, that's one it's, a minute. One born every minute, isn't it? I know. It? It's just too much drama. Oh, I can't watch that. <laughs> Mind you, I have discovered, you know, I love 24 hours in A&E. I've now discovered A&E after dark. <gasps> oh, oh, it's <laughs> gruesome. It's gruesome, but I fantastic. can't bear watching anything like that. You can't I really watch it can. while you're eating your tea. You've got to uh, not be eating your tea or anything at the time. Oh, God, no. I don't need to know what else can go possibly wrong. What, in A&E? Yeah. Well, yeah. anyway, it's fantastic. Friday, Saturday, Sunday nights. Right, Arago Woolies right now. Amigo Woolies. We've got three brand new ones, right? That's right. Frog, elephant and pig. I've got all the others as well, so we'll start. Um, do you want me to move them or will you take a picture of them, Charlie? Which one am I doing first? Frog? Who was, have you got the name of the person who won that thing? Because I wasn't, was I around? Oh, I knew oh, you were going to ask me that. Um, can I remember it? Don't worry, but she knows and she's got it, has she? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's been posted out to her. No, it was, I, I'm sure it was a lady that won. Yeah, oh, it was look at that frog's... They're very pretty I was going to say frog's legs then, but that's not what I was going Right, so what is amigurumi then? So amigurumi is Japanese for making small crochet and um, yes. knitting bits, yeah. pieces animals, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I've got a Mr. So, Parsons. So, Amigo Woolly means absolutely nothing. Oh, OK. Uh, it's your it, version. It, it, to us, it's the art of miniature needle felting. Fine. That's it. So, is it difficult because it's miniature? No, it's super easy. But don't, for one minute, think you don't get your money's worth because <laughs> some of those little uh, little items take actually longer than a blue tit. Yes. And I, I've run the guinea pig as a workshop and it, it definitely it was definitely one and a half hours, if not longer. Wow. So you do get your, you get your full, full session. Yeah. So, so for the frog, you get all your wool, you get your stabby match, you get your eyes, you get your needles, mm -hmm. and you get your instructions. That's right. Again, look at, look at this. Oh, sorry. Look at all of this, right? 
So with the Amigo Woolly, you basically make all the body parts and then assemble them. That's the Oh, okay. Principle. I wonder what that picture was. With so all you of make them. the four legs, the yeah. body, the head and the eyes. That's right. And then you assemble them. That's how all of them are constructed. They're all... Some of them have more body parts than others, like yes. the owl, obviously. It's just the owl with a beak. Yeah. Um, but um, most of the others have got several um, bits that need to be attached to each other. The elephant has got quite a lot. Oh, it's a tree frog. It's a tree mm -hmm. frog. That's it. And that, that also is not the original frog. Oh, has <laughs> it got a name on it? Do I need no, to but this is my second make, um, the second one that I made. Oh, okay. But the original one was also taken. So whereabouts was the van stolen? It or was, the box No, the stolen? van wasn't stolen. No, the van. Just, Where was the box stolen? It was stolen? parked outside at, um, on, a, on a private drive. In? In Glasgow. So if anyone sees any Amagdawoolies or any of these being Hola. sold in a market stall in where? Glasgow. Glasgow. They're mine. Yeah. <laughs> Give them like back. them back, please. <laughs> right, so that was frog, tree frog. Next. Pig. Amigdawoolie pig. Have you got a picture of the pig? Mm. Oh, there he is. So now, have all of these got bases then that they sit yes. on? Are so, they in here? Yes. So basically, the base is um, is half of the felting mat that you get in there. Uh, so if you look inside the kit... What, so you, you chop that up? No, that's already half. Because you use them on top of each other. So you yeah, 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 yeah. half of it. So only... Uh, there's, say there are two now. Yeah. You use one. That's it. Right. And you cut the corners. Yeah. And then um, the, the, egg, the, the wool, the other large amount of wool that's in the kit is for the base. So, oh. Um, and that's for the tail. <laughs> that's his tail. This green one's got freckles yeah. in it. That's it. They're cotton, little cotton um, dots. Oh. Yes. In fact, the pink one's got little dots in it. So. Beautiful. Uh, you get the needles and the eyes there. Mm -hmm. £13.50. That's it. And, that and there he is. little pink um, pipe cleaner end is his tail. Oh, look. Yeah, they're, they're really, really easy to make, but... You but make they take small, your time. You, well, you make small body parts and then you put them all together. Yeah. So it is... It is, it is um, I think it's one of those um, projects where you don't need to think very much because there's a lot of repetition. You know, if you make one leg, you've got to make another three. If you make one ear, you've got to yeah. make another one. Uh, can you have more operations? Everyone's loving the show today. What, because of my operation? <laughs> John and Steffi, I'm in fits of laughter and I'm a massive fan of all the A&E programmes. Here you go. I watch them all. You're definitely my favourite presenter. Oh, shh, Mary, don't say that. Uh, I am laughing so much. Vet tips, umbilical cords, what's next? Well, who knows what could come up? Me in a cold tub? Uh, hi, I did the workshop at West Point last Friday. Was she this funny last Friday? Was she still doing a judge operation last Friday? Yeah, I did. Yeah? And made the mole. It was fabulous. Thank you, Steffi, from Sally in Devon. Oh, thank you, Sally. And um, yeah, Sally would have seen my leg. And you get about if you're in Glasgow about. and Devon. I know. <laughs> I get about. Well, no, no, because if, if you think you're <laughs> in Glasgow and then you're in Devon. Yeah. Anyway, look. Definitely a city. What's checker. the next event you're doing? Um, that is a good question. We're going to Wonderwall in Wales. Wonderwall? Wonderwall in Wales, yes. Oh. It's an amazing wool festival. has where, been going for many years. Whereabouts in, in Wales is it? In Bills, Wales. Which oh, is yeah, the yeah, Royal, yeah, yeah. Um, Welsh Royal Showground. Yeah. And it's two days, and I love it. And I'm going to check all the sheep out if they've got any tails. I am now as well. <laughs> and where, um, where, uh, when's that? When is that? It's um, the weekend, uh, the last weekend in April, which I think is the 26th and the 27th. But if, I think if that is a Saturday and a Sunday, then <coughs> it's the right weekend. Are you going to have I, a stall at Festival of Quilts? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. I'll be at the Festival of Quilts. I'll be teaching workshops. So huh? I'd be teaching workshops there. So oh, brilliant. I'll to a workshop as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, Right, OK, so in here you get the yellow, the grey and the white. Uh, you get the eyes. Now, are the, are the tusks made of wool or are they made of silk clay? The tusks are made of wool with a little bit of glue. Oh, a little bit of glue that you need That's from it. the kit. That's it. I love that one, yeah. Beautiful. Lots of people checking out on that one. Oh, now Leanne wanted this desperately, didn't she? She was like giving so yeah, it's many so hints. It's so funny. I go to these different shows and there's always one 
that people love. Like the duck has been really popular recently, but the guinea pig was it before. And I'm always intrigued which, which of those kits will sell out loads. Oh, well, it's, uh, oh look. It's not See, my dad used to say, if you pull a guinea pig's tail, its eyes drop out. <laughs> they don't have tails. <laughs> they don't have tails. I had a very trying childhood. Is that what you're saying? Oh. <laughs> She's got that little triangle tail at the back. This no, they don't have tail. anything. <laughs> Hannah has a degree in art and she would draw a triangular tail on a guinea pig. Mind you, didn't we, didn't, was it Joe Carter that did a koala bear and put a tail on it? It hasn't got a tail. <laughs> anyway. So there's all your templates there. You make all the bits first, mm -hmm. and then you put the whole thing together. That's right. And I, I, I run that guinea pig as a workshop, and it is definitely a good hour and a half if mm -hmm. you are, uh, yeah, if you know what you're doing. Oh, he smelt something. He's got a whiff yeah. of something there, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. It's very popular. And, and the other thing is, I should just say, the brown that you use on the base of the guinea pig, you could actually um, switch it round if you want to make a guinea pig with a with darker brown markings, because obviously they have all different markings. Yeah, well, I'm using the, the sandy colour yes, as your base. That's right. That's what some people did in the workshop. Oh. Mm. And you can make the, the markings in different places. So yeah, you can make it like your guinea. Pig. Make it a mini guinea pig, mm. mini me guinea. Mini pig. me guinea pig, mini mm. me. Lovely. Next. Sheep. You got a picture of the sheep? Oh, I'm terrified now. Has it got a tail? Oh, has tail? it fallen over? I don't think it has a tail. Oh, no. <laughs> he's probably thinking, get me out of here. Oh, here. Oh, he's coming off his base, that's why. No, t no, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, dear. I knew you were going to find that. I was just going to—I was going to stab through to to, to to make him stay on the thing. Does he need to be? I stabbed can do through? it if you want to chuck it over. <laughs> right. So in here, he's gorgeous, and he, there's your base, there's your white, there's your grey, there's your black. There's your, these are lovely, aren't they? Thirteen pound fifty with your ten percent off. <clears throat> Fran made the guinea pig, and she put her picture on the Facebook page. Nice. I can confirm the guinea pig is a lovely kit, made as a gift for a friend who has guinea pigs. Uh, I'm literally crying watching you two from Louise. I hope that's good in a good way. Happy, happy tears, I hope. Happy tears. <laughs> that green's a gorgeous colour. What mm. colour is that? Um, that green is, we call it lichen green. Oh, okay. Okay, do you want it back? Yes, please. Oh. Now, she, she, the, she, the maker, threw that. Oh. I think he might be my favourite. It's only because he hasn't got a tail <laughs> and he <it> proves <laughs> your point. <laughs> Lovely. Right, here, yeah, got to move on. Look, it's cutting. Yeah. Loads of people coming in for the sheep. Lovely. Chicken, they've gone out of order now. Here we go, chicken. Now, is it a boy or a girl chicken? It's, it's a girl chicken. It's what? not a cockerel. Okay. Cockerels have got, like, they're, they're more, like, bigger and they've got bigger cockerels. Oh, okay. And, yeah. I didn't know girls had the red thingy, the cocks come and everything. Yeah. I don't hold, I don't... It's called, it's called a wattle. That's it, a wattle. <laughs> I used to call it waddle for a long time. Huh? I, I used to call it waddle until somebody felt sorry for me and oh. said, no, you actually mean a wattle. A wattle. Yeah, but wattle and daub is a completely different thing. A wattle and daub is how Elizabethans used to melt, build walls in their houses. Right. Oh, she's not interested. Have we seen the chicken? Oh, yeah, there it is. Gorgeous. She, her, 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 her. Duck, Michael. <laughs> Duck's been very popular. Um, I can see why. Have you done the picture? Oh, look at him. Sandra, Sandra the duck, isn't it a boy duck? Oh, I don't know. Don't ask me now. No, all right. You're tired. No, I... I She's been here. No. Poor old Steffi's been here since I was six this morning. 
And we were like, why are you here so early? She went, I was told to be here this early. I was at seven. I was meant to be there at seven. Yeah, you got here yeah. early. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well. Anyway, have you eaten? Did you bring some food with you? I had a smoothie. Oh, is that I enough? made myself a smoothie. This I've been up since three. You made yourself a smoothie? Where, yes, I where's did. the blender? At home. Oh, I thought you meant here. <laughs> to say you're lucky to find a cup here, let alone to make a smoothie. <laughs> right, amigurumi duck. I love the colours in there. They're beautiful colours, aren't they? Mm. I haven't got either of those. To, I've done those. Oh, yeah, okay. Penguin next. Here he goes, the penguin. He's up there by the sheep. Oh, the sheep's getting a bit too friendly. Though. Yeah. Oh. Lovely penguin. Now, the pink in there has got a bit of shimmer for the pebble, hasn't it? Yeah, for the base. Don't they give pebbles to each other as presents, like engagement presents? What, penguins? Yeah. Oh. And they give it to their loved oh. one, don't they? I thought it was otters who carry pebbles. Yeah, otters hold hands oh. when they're sleeping in the water, so they don't float Looked away. away. Oh, shut up, Anna. <laughs> right, oh, and then I've got, what else I've got? Owl. An owl. So the owl and the penguin of all of them are probably the most straightforward because you don't have to make so many body parts. Oh. Because the the owl is very very it's just one round shape, isn't it? So do you not make the wings then? Yeah, you do, but it's um, well the wings are um, are, are just coloured a coloured. Oh, they're not separate. They no. put on like the kingfish. That's right. You just have to make the beak. That is a separate shape. Oh. And with the penguin, you do make the the feet and the the wings and the beak. So that the green's lovely. It's like he's sitting on. Well, it's not seaweed. Is it like bark or something? Anyway. Moss. Moss. We call it moss. Moss, yeah. Could yeah. Be moss. Hannah's done a whole MA on moss. No, mm. she did a, a research into some moss somewhere, didn't she, in Iceland. Right, and then we've got the snoozing bear. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's happy, isn't he? And then we've got the snoozing bear. All your gorgeous colours in there. Right, we've got a few minutes left. Would you like to do a bit, a bit of a demo yes, for us? Yes, so I, um, I thought I'd prepare the frog because, like I said, um, doing so many body parts can actually take quite some time. So I've made, I've made the body um, shape. I've made the two eyes. Um, I've made the little, little snout that goes on top. I've finished one leg and I've got a second one here. Actually, that's a foot. And um, I thought I'd show you how to make the head and the final leg. So you, um, you have your wool and um, making basic shapes, which is one of the reasons why I always get so grumpy when people say they're felting with polystyrene is because it's really not necessary. Yeah. Because wool does... Anna. The wool makes so easy, makes an, um, a shape. And you, all you need to do is just wind it into a ball shape. Um, John, while you're here, can you pick my eyes up? <laughs> <laughs> They've just fallen on the floor. You Thank like this you. at home at the moment? <laughs> I am. Child, pick this up. Child, pick that up. Oh. <clears throat> so then you just felt it together. With, with these little makes, you've got to watch your fingers. So sometimes what people do, um, remember you get three needles in your, um, in your kit. Sometimes when you do really tiny things, they pin it down with one and then stop with the other and then obviously turn it, pin it down, and stop with the other. If, if you are notoriously um, stabbing yourself, then maybe this is a good way <laughs> to keep your gr fro frog green rather than turning red. So, um, once you've got a shape, then you, um, you make sure that you check against the templates. So here, um, I've done the body, that's that one. And then there's the head, there's the eyes, there's my little nose. And then um, this is the leg before, or the arm before you um, make the fingers or the, the, um, the little toes. So um, there you go. That's basically my, some of my shapes done. The head's quite softly fel felted, but I'm, I think I'm, I'm going to get away with that. And then you make um, the leg. Um, 
It tells you obviously in the instructions how to do it. Yeah. So you roll it into a sausage. Nice and tight. Felt it down. So the, the thing with the legs, you have to, and the arms, you've got to felt it down really, really solid because it gets turned. Um, you have to cut into the, into the end. Oh, to make cut. the toes. Yes, that's right. So you want to make sure that you felt this down really solidly. I think sometimes the challenge can also be to make the same size. Uh -huh. um, you know, once you've done one, you want to make obviously the second. Just do it like a chef does it and, and if weigh, weigh each one. <laughs> weigh each one, yes, you could. Well, actually, the way that it tells you to split the wool should make sure that you have got oh, okay. the um, same right. amounts. Okay. So um, we don't ask you to weigh it. We, we basically tell you split this wool into half and then split this oh, into yeah, half yeah. again. And then, yeah. yeah, that's it. And, um, and then hopefully you get to get all your bits done. So I'm, I, I'm, I won't have time to show you how I cut into every single yeah. um, foot, but I will show you that I can assemble it. So I've got one leg and I've got here one um, arm. And then you cut into it so that you literally split the toes off. And that's why you have to felt it really solidly so that yes, it's yeah. really nice, neat little um, shape. Then you color in, like paint the fingernails orange, so to speak. That's not fingernails. Yeah, because the bright orange frogs at Chester Zoo are the most poisonous ones. They are. They're <coughs> the poisonous tree frogs. <coughs> they what? They're the poisonous tree frogs. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you color in every single toe. That on here as well. So say you do that with every single one, and then it's a question of assembling it all. And because you are um, you're needle felting everything, you've got to put it together now. Yeah. So imagine that was on there, and I'm going to just look at the instructions so I don't okay. start a new one. Uh, while you're doing that, I just need to round up because we're going to run out of time. Just need to round up at the sheep. This one does have a tail. Loads of these in baskets. Make sure you check out, check out, check out. £37. You do get the little toolkit with that. As well as all the wool. Brand new hoop, hoop pictures. Which one first, Han? Robin first. Way too many people in baskets. Way too many of you in baskets. That eighteen pounds. Brand new today, and you're supporting the RSPB as well by getting those. You are. Then I've got owl. There's your owl. Oh, there's your owl. Beautiful. Eighteen pounds. And then we've got the Kingfisher. And then that lovely bag and toolkit. Here we go. Yeah, if you want to uh, get your little needle felting kit on, on the go. So you get this lovely stretchy bag. You get what Steffi says is the best glue for e ever. You get an, uh, an edging tool so you don't stab your f uh, fingers when you're in a straight line. You'll get the little holder. Now, this could be any colour. You get purple, pink, red, yellow, green, blue, yellow, anything. You get your felt... Oh, hang on. Got these muddled up now. You get your uh, needles and your pad. I think yep. it's the same, isn't it's it? It's the same, yeah. yeah it and then you also get your crane, <laughs> but they might be floral scissors. scissors. Or there might be a stalk. There'll be, there might be a stock. Thirty-seven pounds. There will be a pair of scissors in there. That's it. Right. And and can I also just say to quantify about the glue? The reason why it's, it's <laughs> good glue is because it's the little things that we crafters love. It's because it clears, it dries completely clear, which is good when you spill over a little bit. Yeah. 
you also have a really fine nozzle at the end and sometimes you just got to get behind um, an eye to um, to glue it in so say with a mouse you don't take the eyes out you just pop a dab of glue behind the eyes and and so you have that little nozzle and the other reason why I like it is because we don't use a lot of glue in needle felting so you don't need a massive big bottle and it fits in your bag and it, but it um, fits in the new pieces. bag and it's refillable as well so you, oh, it's refillable yeah because well, you can good. open it up and you can pop, pop lovely when so. you're next um so i'm 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 in, on next in May, but I don't want to give you the date because I've got to change it. <sighs> Fine. Uh, let's have a look at tomorrow's menu then. We'll see you in May. <laughs> menu for tomorrow. That's today's. Tell me what it is then. Tell me what it is. Liberty Fabrics at 8 o'clock. A launch on my own. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, keep going. Oh, there it is, there it is. Liberty York Fabric Launch. Sample cushion with Delphine Brooks at nine o'clock. So she'll arrive about 10 to nine in a bad mood. 10 a.m. bag making essentials. 11 o'clock William Morris Quilt with Delphine Brooks. 12 quilts you will love. No. I've got the whole of a hobby maker in here for some reason. <laughs> and they're the noisiest people. Sorry, Steffi. That's all right. Yeah, all right, thanks, Jimmy. Have you not left yet? Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, make sure you check out your basket. Thanks for... Sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>